Rebirth and Remake. I've been playing those a lot this week. Except for when the holiday came up. But then I was like, while I was doing my Zer video this week, I said, you know what? My new goal now is to collect strange coins every week so I can show you guys what you can potentially get. Potentially get with, um, with the legacy engram. So this we have a primary legacy engram. So I'll show you and then I will gather some strange coins. I need 31 strange coins. I've been messing around a bit on Instagram as well. Um, I do have an Instagram account. You always know it's me if you see, well, okay, no, no, that's not entirely fair. There are probably some people out there who also have Instagram accounts who use Corpus pictures as their profile pic. But if you see T the guy I call Tav, who's me on, on X, then you know um, it's probably me. Because that guy, I captured his picture. Basically, I am such a crazy Corpus fan that I basically screenshot. I went through the trailer with the, with the, the with what's her name? Oh God, I can't remember the name. The one with the Kavat, I'm freezing on her name. Uh, the purple, that prime trailer. I basically scream captured like every few seconds, everything I can. So that guy, there's no picture of him like online. The only way you can get his picture is either from me or if you do what I do, is to screen capture everything. And I keep, I have like second by second pictures from that trailer. See, so he's got 31 strange coins. I don't got any strange coins. So one great way to get strange coins, ladies and gentlemen, is, um, all right. Oh, by the way, Destiny is on sale for 20 bucks for the whole collection. All right, pick it up, 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 pick it up. All right, so one way to get strange coins that people don't know about. Well, so you get strange coins through faction packages, right? You get them through the faction packages, of course, right? Hey, Henry, happy I eat. Thank you very much, happy I eat. It was on Wednesday, which was awesome. It was wonderful to have eat on Wednesday. I am not fasting today. I will probably not be fasting next week. I depend, I wanna start fasting alternate days again. I didn't do that for a while, but I wanna do it again, but we'll see. Um. We went out for dinner on Thursday with my brothers at Meat Moot, which is spectacular. Like I post pictures of it on Instagram and I haven't been on Twitter in two days because I've been kind of busy and avoiding it because sometimes there's just, you get a lot of alerts and like I need to respond to all those alerts. And it's like, oh dear God, there's a lot of alerts. And then I delay it and I get even more alerts. It's like, there's so many people I want to respond to and I try to respond to everybody I accept if you're being annoying, then I tend not to respond to you. Um, then I won't. Uh, like, telling me stupid you kip and stuff like that. Uh, stupid you kip, then I'm like, alright, I, I don't care, alright? Alright, just not gonna waste my time. Um, Zenny, how is it like now that you have been baptized? Feel, feeling cooler? More hip? More awesome? Because I'm sure that's part of the experience. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to go with that's part of the experience. Why the hell not? Let's just call it cool being cool and hip and everything. Right? Let's do that. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So, like I said. We are going for the strange coin experience. So, we're going with Cat's crazy theories on how to uh, expand on strange coins. Ooh, sunrise or sunset. Alright. So one way to pick up some awesome strange coins is to go with the gunsmith. People forget about the gunsmith all of the time. They're like, ah, why? All right, why? Let's get the mitre. So what do you got? You get four strange coins from doing that. I will do this on all my characters. All right. So that's four already because I did pick up my last faction package. So then we got here. We got. Crucible, no. Crucible, damn it! Double kills. Uh, oh, I don't need this. What am I going to do with this equip? I knew someone who was a nun. She was Irish. Actually knew someone. Good luck with that. That, I'm sure, is not easy. I, but I did know someone. Uh, damn it, I won't have enough. I won't have enough to get another faction pack. Um, so I have enough space for a third one. Right. 
I'm pretty sure there's a lot of work. I am no expert on the matter, I will admit. Um, I know the ordination process is also ridiculously hard and brutal. I, I knew someone in it, and it was just brutal. It was like, so what we got we got double kills, and we got Vex. All right, Vex, you go to Mars. This one. You know what? I might dump this and just do Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Crisis Core is a lot of fun. Uh, I am enjoying Crisis Core a lot um, because it's very cool to see. Oh no, uh, I was, no, 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 we all have lives. I haven't been streaming on Sundays because honestly the fasting has been kind of, was kind of wearing me down. And I try to get things done, like real. All right, I'll admit it, I did my laundry. My laundry spread out all over the floor because I separated it into st stacks, but I did do my laundry, all right? So, but no, yeah, we all got lives. I got life, you got life, we all got life, all right? And I will admit I've been playing video games all week by myself. Uh, I did play, I've been playing Final Fantasy Crisis Core primarily, because it's cool to, it's been cool playing it. Um, I want to go back to Borderlands 2 as well, I want to finish Borderlands, but I've been playing Crisis Core on the PlayStation 5, I want to get the Platinum. I'm trying to get better at like action combat like that with swords and stuff and dodging because I'm not very good with that. I keep telling myself oh, I should check out what's going on in Destiny 2 since they've added stuff in. And then I'm like, but there's so many other better video games to play. Like, 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 why am I going to do that to myself? Being good at Destiny 2 doesn't mean you got skills. It just means to. So we're going for the Vex, right? Now, as you can see, I suck at driving. And there we go. That's, that's me. All right, and we're going like this. So this is how you do weapon tests with the Vex. Best place to give, find yourself some Vex, all right? We are looking for Vex. All right. Yeah, I've been keeping up with her. Honestly, I'm getting tired of all the insanity going on in the world. All I want to say is this week, I've been feeling kind of vindicated. It's summer. I still haven't even installed the demo for Stellar Blade. The problem is I don't think I have enough space on my PS5. It's like everything Final Fantasy is on my PS5. And it's like, oh shoot. So I'm like, oh great, now I gotta look into... And it, I had to do my taxes, which cost... Hey Rez, hola! What's up? <gasps> Cultural appropriation, wow! I, yeah, I heard about the whole shit with Tomb Raider. I, I know. Look, I have I have a shocking piece. So I heard about the whole thing with Tomb Raider, all right? I'm going to blow you guys' mind because, you know what? It's a, These people treat video games like reality. Oh, my dear God. It's like, dear God, woman. D d what? 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 So, uh, so if you raid... You know what? You're not asking the right person. I mean, I'm in the state of still, I am still in the state of severe mental, de like, I want to go to medical school. I have wanted to go to medical school since I was like 10, no, 14, because 13 I wanted to join the Air Force. I wanted to go to medical school. And the worst part about doing anything medical personally related, all right, don't go into details, never go into my medical details, all right, never go into my own personal medical details. Help Papa Carry, take care of your Papa Carry. That's the priority. That's the number one. Papa Carry is on my top priority list too. If I were ever in the area and I and Papa Carry needed something from me, I'd be like, all right, I'm dropping everything for Papa Carry. If you were closer to me, if you, I were closer to you and you were to come knocking on my door and be like, hey, cat, Papa Carry needs something, I'd be like, 
All right, Papa Carrie gets the priority, all right? So, you know, you're the next day. No, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to join the Air Force. I 100% wanted to join the Air Force. When I was 13, I wanted to join the Air Force. Or was I 12? I was 12 or 13. So, like I said, Papa Carrie's priority, since I'm not close enough to do anything to help with Papa Carrie, uh, you're going to have to take my place. But he's, like, at the top of the list, all right? Everyone else, anyone who's in the vicinity of Papa Carrie, if he comes to you and says he needs something, you drop everything, okay? Cool? We're good. We're good, all right? Yeah, I put down the controller. Um... But I did want to join the Air Force. I don't have the letter anymore, but I actually wrote a letter. I didn't even email or any of that. I wrote them a physical letter, and I said, look, I want to join the Air Force Academy. What do I got to do? I was either 12 or 13. After that, I decided I wanted to go to medical school, and I'm still in that slump of I never made it into medical school. Whatever, puddle pirate. I wanted to be a sky monkey. Yeah. I wanted to fly planes like H.M. Murdoch from the E-Team and kick ass and fly planes. It didn't matter what I was flying. If it was flying supplies, I don't care. I just wanted to fly stuff in the Air Force. Got it, Puddle Pirate? Good. Good. The only reason I didn't end up in medical school is I had one of the shittiest college experiences. I won't deny it. My college was like a hell. At one point, I was commuting like three hours each way, taking organic chemistry and like physics and calculus there's no way any human being can handle that kind of course load and commute and commuting that kind of crazy insanity i was also only 16 when i graduated from high school so i was far too young and i wasn't welcome in the pre-med office so my college experience was trash and it took me a long time to finally get my bachelor's degree in liberal arts which i'm going to say and people don't like me saying it sucks all right you know, same. I've been in love my entire life. But at the same time, which I'm surprised, Zenny, you're much nicer looking, more creative, more wonderful person than me. I'm just going to flat out say it. I'm amazed nobody's like picked you up because everything I've seen of you makes me go, if I were a guy, you'd be on the top of the list of cool. Okay? Like, like, let me put it this way, all right? A couple years back, while I'm doing the retail job I have now, I took a human anatomy class. I still have the textbook around here somewhere. I think I'm using it for my computer. I took a human anatomy class. I was so top of the class that the professor based their curve on my grades, all right? So, like, one exam, out of all the exams he gave, I got a B on one exam. He turns to the class and says, yeah, that one is hard. She didn't get an A. I'm dropping that exam because I got A's on everything in human anatomy, which is why when I go to a doctor, you know what? I don't care what my pronouns are. I don't care what you call me pronoun wise. I probably got better in human anatomy than you did. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. He got booted off of X at one point. So yeah, you know what? I don't care. You don't, I don't care. You don't need to know my pronouns. All you need to know, doc, is I probably got better in human anatomy than you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Now the secret to doing double kills. All right. I haven't seen him, but he says he doesn't get alerts sometimes. And, I mean, he's working a million jobs. I got to get my resin printer up and running because he wants me to make him miniatures. Let me grab the second, the third gun. Though I don't think I'm going to advance a level. Um, yeah. So, doctor, I don't care what you call me pronoun-wise. Just know my, my brain um, I was probably smarter than you. So... I am, like, this close to contacting the medical school I wanted to go to. I used to, when I was in college, because the medical school I wanted to go to was, like, connected to the college I was going to, right? I would walk into the medical school and walk around and dream of being a do of going to medical school, all right? And then I volunteered in an operating room, which always drive like, every time I've told doctors that, they've, like, double take. they have like, wait, what? Like... Let me put it this way. I've spent more time volunteering in a hospital than as a patient in a hospital. You have, I have that disconnect that doctors have when they become patients, even though I'm not a doctor. So it's like just this, this, this uncanny feeling. Uh, this uncanny disconnect where it's like I'm looking at something on the outside where it's like, oh, EKG. Yeah, I assisted in EKGs, right?
I haven't seen the first episode of Fallout yet. I'm planning on watching it, of course. Um, my biggest issue, I will say this, I'm going to keep saying it, is I'm pissed they didn't hire Oxhorn. Okay? They should have hired Oxhorn. Flat out, they should have hired Oxhorn. He was talking about it, and he has a couple lore issues with it. Then I saw Archcast's video. Arch says he hates it. So we got Hive, and we got... So, how do you... Here's a little trick, by the way, everyone. If you get double kills, all right? So, I know all the tips and tricks for weapon tests. So, we got here what we got. got make double kills with this weapon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The secret to making double kills in Destiny. I, I probably got all the spoilers. Go to Crota's End. I heard that they made... Uh, okay, I will say spoilers as well. So, if you don't want spoilers for the Fallout show... You might want to go. What is this? All right. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right. Spoilers for Fallout TV series. From what I've heard, Shady Sands is nuked the same year as Fallout New Vegas. Makes no sense. Yes, I agree. Which is why Oxhorn. They should have hired Oxhorn. All right. Oxhorn is a massive fan of Fallout. The guy knows stuff about... Hey, Rocky the Black Dragon, what's up? Uh, this is a little trick, by the way, again, for all the new people. This is a trick on how to do double kills for weapon tests in Original Destiny. Because I want to get strange coins so I can get that primary a legacy engram. So we got to do it all. So, right? so um, like I've heard some people... Oxhorn seems to like it. And I think there's a part of me that, like, just seeing it, um, like, there's going to definitely be something cool about seeing Fallout, like, as a live action. Like, you know, you grow, you see all this stuff? Like, what I mean is, all right, all right, all right, all right, let me see this, okay. Don't get me wrong. There's always something cool to seeing in live action, stuff that you've seen in video games, okay? Won't deny it. So, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I will plan on seeing it, of course. But, uh, I mean, there's certain things that if they put it in the show, you even, like, not even lore-wise, there's certain things that, to me, break... Immersion. For example, just simple practical things. This people aren't going to like to hear it. But if you have too many gay characters, you automatically turn me off. Why? Because human civilization cannot advance without straight people. So if you tell me you have a dystopian world and you have out of ten people, five of them are gay, I'm going to look at you and be like, yeah, that makes no sense. For no other reason than practicality. This is how, by the way, you do it, all right? Right, come on, you guys. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Look, the people who wrote Destiny 2 probably think they're legit fans. You know, the people who, who, who ship Saint-14 and Osiris. By the way, this really legit works. Look. I think one of the ways they would have gotten a lot of goodwill from fans is if they hired Oxhorn. Okay? Oxhorn knows everything about all of the fallouts. He has played every single one of them multiple times on stream. This guy... What the hell? What else just got? Wait one sec. 
No, right. If you want. This is how you get, by the way. Because if you're doing double kills on the on, on patrols, you're gonna run in with, to people. So this is what you do. You go, this will work. Now, important thing to keep in mind, this doesn't work with all guns. Hive kills will not work with this. Even though this is technically hive kills, Like people I didn't even know know who Oxhorn is. I was surprised. I haven't played New Vegas. All I know is I've listened to a lot of the lore. I haven't played all the games yet, but I have listened to a lot of Oxhorn's videos. I don't know anything about the violence is funny. I know he knows the lore though. He knows the lore thir like he points out details that like he's going in on the years and this is this takes place here. By the way, see I told you it works. Nobody knows this. This, by the way, again is a secret that most people don't realize, alright? Let me just be clear. Most people don't realize you can do this. So the only time you can do this with Crota's end is double kills and I think precision kills. I don't remember about that, but double kills work. So any weapon that requires, that's a weapon test, that requires double kills, all right? You go to Crota's end. Most people don't know this, all right? This is a little trick of mine. I have a whole bunch of tricks when it comes to weapon tests and this one is easy. I want to know though more about Oxford. I mean, like I said, I watch most of his lore videos because I found them interesting, but I'm surprised that like, I mean, I know people got mad at him at one point because he was playing Fallout 76, but I can't blame him. Oxford just likes Fallout. Anyway, that aside, so this is a little, that's a trick. There's a couple of tricks I have for these weapon tests that most people don't know about because I do them so often. Uh, my dad is just making things complicated. But, um, yeah, um, let's see. So, now we're doing hive kills. Careful around the, helmet, the trick, there are two places to go to go for hive kills. Alright, you can either go to the moon, or you can go to Venus. Not Venus, no, the Cosmodrome. All right. Right now I decided to go to the moon this time first. But yeah, you could go to the moon. Oh, damn it, I, I went off the rock. I went off the rails. Yeah, that's my stupid. <laughs> God damn. But, all right, so first off, Fallout Show. Have I watched Fallout Show? Not yet. I've watched, I didn't finish Shad's video about it. I've watched Arch's video about it. Arch didn't like it. Shad I didn't finish, so I'm not sure. Um, Oxhorn liked it, but he had issues with it. He had issues with the continuity. Yeah, out of bounds, I jumped out of bounds. Uh, 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 he mentioned one, I mean, he, the issue he had, most people would be like, oh, that's a minor issue. But it's a single date that they got wrong. Um, another thing they pointed out were the, uh, the, um, oh god, my brain is, my brain is freezing right now, right? The, the, but there were a couple of issues. I haven't yet watched it, like I said. Um, the Tomb Raider thing is the thing I wanted to bring up because, look, first off, I won't deny it. E one of the reasons why a lot of the Egyptian artifacts have survived is because the, uh, the British came and saved them because Egyptians were dumb 
and would steal them and sell them and melt them down and stuff like that. But I also have family members who, who are obviously not happy. Okay, not happy with, you know, Egyptian artifacts being in other countries. All right, look, look, I'm, I'm not going to weigh in on all that. I'm just going to say this. Capcom. Capcom, I had to break it to you. Tomb Raider is an effing video game. I mean, seriously, if you're gonna get butt hurt over a video game where you raid tombs, get over yourselves, people. It's a, it's a, it's a video game. Uh, if you were to base all of, all of, like, how many Grenier have I killed in Warframe, and I'm not even a big, as big a Warframe player as other people. I'm pretty sure UA probably has a kill rate of several million at this point. So I was like, okay, I actually like it where you get to go explore Egyptian tombs and, and find mummies that are attacking you and stuff like that. So no, what the hell's wrong with you people? They act like video games are reality. Oh my God, we can't read tombs. We're truth seekers now. No, it's a freaking video game. The whole point is to have fun. Doing stuff you can't do in real, in real life. What's the point? I have a kill count in the bajillions in, on Warframe. All right, what are you gonna do? And, and again, I, I'm one of those, like I said, I, I especially love tomb raiding and going into games with mummies and stuff like that in Egyptian tombs because it's not real. It's a video game, I bet you. I mean, I'm sorry, people. I had to bring it to you, but it's a video game. You you know that, right? It's a video game. Hi, honey. Honey, I'm home. Bye, honey. Ooh, that was not fun on your part. I'm sorry, darling. So. So as for, all right, I'm 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 mixing things. Okay, Fallout, haven't watched it yet. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Husk of the Pit. I don't need that. Cool. I got another Husk of the Pit. Husk of the Pit is used to get. How close am I? I am so ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. I am fifty. I'm twenty five away from going up a rank. Twenty five away from going up. I can't. So I'm gonna switch. First off, let's go to the reef. Um, I mean, seriously, I'm listening to these people talking about Tomb Raider. And it's like, oh my gosh, you can't raid tombs now because it's cultural appropriation and disrespect towards cultures. And how dare she? And Laura Croft is feels guilty about raiding tombs. And we, we need to respect all cultures. It's a video game. That's all you need to say. I mean, think about it. Warframe were reality. Ask yourself, do you really think if Warframe were reality, <laughs> um, okay, if Warframe were reality, we'd really get away with half the stuff we get away with? Probably not. I'm pretty sure if Warframe were reality, it'd reach the point where people would be like, all right, we got to stop these Tenno. I'll tell I, I mean, just, just, just seriously, seriously, seriously. Do these people not understand? It's a video game. I, I, just, I, I, I my brain is broken. I seriously, I'm listening to these people. It's like, and, and again, and you could say that of all people, right? Talking about this. I'm Egyptian, all right? What, 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 what tombs group? Who's had their tombs raided? A lot, okay? Egypt, and you know what? I have no problem with a video game going after Egyptian tombs and you have mummies and scarabs. I love the movie, the Brendan Fraser movies. Yes, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I love the mummy and the mummy returns from Brendan Fraser, all right? I'm sorry, I had to break it to you. I liked them. Okay, that's just, just, that's it. I like them. 
Okay. So that that one, I just I want to shake people by the shoulders and go. It's a video game. What next? Are we gonna have like a summer of love for NPCs? I'm just I'm just I have to ask. Are we going to have because if we do, then I demand to be a part of it. I'm gonna get fully dressed up as a corpus and corpus lives matter, alright? Above everybody else, corpus lives matter. Why is this not working now? This was working yesterday. Bungie? Come on, Bungie. Come on, Bungie. Come on, Bungie. Come on. All right, come on, come on, Bungie. What are you doing, Bungie? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on here? Come on. So yeah, I, I'm just saying, I, I, this one, this one I found the dumbest of all because it's just like acting like a, uh, it's it's a video game. I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it's 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 unless nothing is working, and that's why nobody's yelling at me. And this everything's like dying out. Hi, Bungie. What's wrong with you, Bungie? Why are you not behaving, Bungie? Come on, Bungie. By the way, Destiny Original Destiny is on sale for twenty bucks. Yes, it is. Buy it. Buy Original Destiny. Play Original Destiny. It's better. Alright. Let's do my Titan. Now, my Titan is female. Because at one point... So, I originally started with a male character. Alright. On both Xbox and PlayStation. Then one of my brothers... Oh, come on, Bungie! Why? So then one of my brothers told me guys play female characters because they think guys will go uneasy on them if they play a female character. No, that's not why I decided to do a female character. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, because I had a male character. So I was like, you know, I should have a female character just because. Now I don't play female characters. I only play straight white men. Yes, you heard me. I only play straight white men. All right, so. Going to the tower. Does this character have any strange coins on her? All right. No strange coins. You absolutely suck. I am so disappointed. Oh, what have we got? We got modes of light. Okay, that's good. Pay your respects in the eye. Uh, who's? Oh, I know what that's for. So if I could get four, that will bring me up to eight. I don't think I could do weapon tests with my third character. Wait, what is my... How many... Oh, good. I will go up a rank here. That's good. Ooh. Nice. 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 Even better! House of Judgment rank two. I better go grab that. I have a strange coin, so that will bring me up to five. Let me see if Varrocks will give me strange coins. Because I need 31 so we can get that legacy engram. So everyone can see what you get with a legacy engram. Then during the week I have to earn strange coins so that on Friday morning of next week, when I do my reserve video, I will have enough strange coins to pick up a legacy engram. Alright? I will do this. Then you can predict if I'm gonna get sucky stuff every week. I'll even make a poll. Be like, will I get garbage from the Oh wait, no. I think I played a female character. First of all, because I had a male character. Hey, Caucasian Sasquatch, what's up? I also wanted to see where that whole idea of playing as yourself in a video game. And I was like, nah, it sucks. Who cares? So, and if I do this, again. He's got stuff to do with Papa Carry, And as I've said, Papa Carry gets immediate priority, right? So we get double kills again and vex targets. All right. So, double kills again. For all of you who didn't see this before, ladies and gentlemen, here is a secret to, again, helping you with weapon tests. Because I've got all the tricks when it comes to weapon tests. Because I'm like weapon test level 60 on my other guardian, alright? What you do when you got double kills for weapon tests, alright? Alright? 
it just doesn't work for everything, but it works for double kills. Again, what do you do? You go to the moon, you go to Curtis End. All right, you go to Curtis End. Um, sure, I guess. Now that Ramadan's over, I've got plenty of stuff to do. Um, I just need, uh, I'm doing something, uh, I just need, like, I'm, the not next week, the week after I'm off from work, though I'm secretly trying to sneak my way back to work, even though I get a, you know, even though I put in for vacation time from the 19th through the 26th, because I never take time off, I'm secretly trying to go back to work again, so I probably, even though technically I'm off, I'll probably sneak into work during the week anyway, and just not care. Because I don't trust anybody to do my job other than me. I am obsessively detailed about my job, all right? Look, my inventory in my store was good. All right, one of the best inventories in the area, all right? So yes, I don't care. Oh, no, cat, take time off. You should take time. Use your PTO time. No, no. Everyone's like, why not? You should take time. Don't worry, we'll get somebody. No, no. Green screen! I got a green screen. No, I don't trust anybody with my job. Anybody. Like, 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 at one point, they were doing some inventory thing, right? I wasn't even, like, in charge of inventory at the time. I was, like, one of the lower... I was contacting my job from Egypt. All right? Okay? So, even the... Tech... No. No. I can literally have my appendix burst, which it hasn't, I'm just saying. Like, I could be in the operating room about to have my appendix removed and I'll be like, wait, I gotta check in with my job. Look, I'll be like, eh, 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 it's Anna? Okay, well, Buster, but Buster's too, no, actually, no, Buster's too lazy. I could literally have had my appendix burst and lying on an operating table and there's a surgeon above me going, we, we gotta remove your appendix. It's burnt. And i would be like, I gotta check in at work first. You're like, are you insane, woman? I'm like, I gotta check in at work first. Make sure they're doing it right. Again, I've never had surgery. I've never had my appendix removed. I do not know what the experience is like. I've been a volunteer in the operating room, as a, a but I've never been a patient in an operating room, and honestly, I'd rather not be. I'm just saying, if I ever found myself in those circumstances, I would probably pull out my cell phone and start checking in at work. Again, here's the proof that this works. Double kills work in Coda's end. All right? All right? You need to keep, remain aiming down sights. Yes. Buster on the other end, I absolutely do not trust her with my job. You want to know why? That lunatic will sleep through. They'd be like, you're having, you just had your appendix go. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. They'd be like, you're crazy woman. I'm like, yes, but my job is important to me. My inventory is important to me. I would be like, no, the inventory, the inventory. So, yeah. One sec. So, yes, everyone again. This is a secret trick. There we go, see? Now. See? That's it. Piece of cake. All right, see? Now you've learned something from me, okay? No, you wanna know why? Because to say Buster is like Sleepy Joe is an insult to Buster. Buster may sleep 16 to 18 hours a day, but she still sleeps less than Sleepy Joe. And when she meows, you know she's meowing. All right, it's not like with Sleepy Joe. If Sleepy Joe were a cat, he would be, he'd be like, 
Whereas Buster, you know it's a meow. With Sleepy Joe, it's like meow, meow. You would not know what he is saying. Buster, you at least know she is meowing. All right? We know she's meowing. All right? So let's, let's just be clear about that, okay? Let's be clear. Now, here's another location. So we went to Mars for the uh, Vex, all right? Here's another location you can go for Vex kills, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Let's go check it out. She still sleeps less than Sleepy Joe, and she is comprehensible. When Buster is hungry, you know she is hungry. She also does not pee pee and poopy in her pants. She still goes pee pee and poopy in her box. She knows where she's supposed to go potty, and she goes potty where she's supposed to go. Let's be clear on that. So comparing Buster to Sleepy Joe is actually insulting to Buster. All right? So how dare you compare my cat to Buster, my cat to Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe, it's an insult. It's an insult. I am seriously considering contacting that medical school, being like, all right, so what do I gotta do to get into medical school? I will do it. Though, contrary to popular belief, because I got into a discussion with somebody online. I was talking about the fact, Gellan, that Buster knows to go pee pee and poopy in her box, unlike Sleepy Joe. Buster will go pee pee and poopy in her box. She's a good girl. She's not a young cat, don't get me wrong, but she still has more energy, more cognitive abilities than Sleepy Joe. To compare my cat to Joe Biden is an insult to my cat, all right? Here we go, see? 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 There are Vex in this location. I'm not in the mood to deal with you guys either, so we'll get rid of the Fallen as well. Anybody with a sane brain would vote for Buster over Biden. The cat may be a cat. But even the cat is awake more than Joe Biden. I don't think there's a single person. I don't understand how there's anybody who's seriously like, yeah, I'm voting for Joe Biden this year. Uh, yeah, you're out of your freaking minds. What has this guy done that's good? They're like, you are a Trump. Yes. So. But yes, anyway, 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 right. The, the three hardest, apparently the three hardest medical fields to get into are anesthesiology, dermatology, and plastic surgery. Didn't know that. I, I, seriously, I, there's one person I forgot she doesn't like Trump. So as a joke, I was talking about when I got my new computer and how I had to put more money on my desktop. And like, I forgot about Biden, the wonderful gift of Biden. And she's like, it's not just Biden's fault that there's inflation. It's not just his fault. Uh, yeah. Okay, no comment. I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm not gonna question it. Why should I question anything at this point? I, I say, I'm just listening to the, the YouTubes and going, I feel a little vindicated, but that's what I'm going to say. Certain reports were released that make me feel very vindicated. But then every time, I'm so tired of this, every time I'm right about something, nobody. Though I have convinced a lot of people in New Jersey that New Jersey, yes, shooting at me from all directions. Damn, this is me being dumb. Where is he? 
Where is he, fallen scoom? Yeah, yeah, you see me? No! Okay, okay, here I go again on my correcting the... I swear I need to start billing plastic surgeons. Seriously, I need to start bailing these guys for all the good I've done for them. I can't believe I keep getting dragged into this. All right, all right. This may come as a surprise to people, but not, in fact, a lot of what plastic surgeons do is not breast implants, liposuctions, cosmetic surgery, boob implants, and all of that. Because, okay. Or gender care, because you wanna know, you wanna know, all right, first off, first off, you wanna know if somebody knows any idea what they're talking about, ask them who does the gender affirming care surgery. If they say anything, anyway, that aside, all right. I swear, I, I I really need to start billing these plastic surgeons. All right, I'm just just gonna be, like I'm billing you guys for this because I am doing you guys such a freaking favor. Okay, this may come as a surprise to people, but not all that plastic and a lot of them don't do that. Plastic surgery is about limb reconstruction. All right, I don't want to. First off, let's be clear. I never wanted to be a plastic surgeon. All right because I really just didn't care for it. I wanted to be a trauma surgeon. What is a trauma surgeon? Trauma surgeon is the person who's pulling bullets out of you and stuff like that. All right, let's first, let's first be absolutely clear. All right, I didn't even want to be a surgeon. I decided I wanted to be a, I decided I wanted to be a surgeon after I volunteered in the operating room. And I, there's a lot of advantages. People don't understand. One of the great things about being a surgeon, okay, and it's very great for people who are antisocial, all right? In fact, I would argue that being a surgeon is a lot easier than being, say, an EMT or somebody dealing with conscious patients. Think about it. The person you are operating on is sedated. They can't feel any pain. So it's a lot easier to deal with an unconscious patient. So honestly, I didn't want to be a surgeon because I thought it would be too grim and gross and whatever until I volunteered in an operating room. After that, I wanted to be a surgeon, all right? Uh, you know, it's, it's you have your staff deal with the patient before the surgery. You have the staff deal with the patient after the surgery. You see the patient for the five minutes they're conscious before the anesthesia knocks them out. And that's about it. You're dealing 99% of the time you're dealing with someone who's unconscious. Great, great if you're someone like me who likes the, that, all right? So I wanted to be a surgeon. I never wanted to be a plastic surgeon. However, I cannot deny one of the most important things people don't understand about plastic surgeons is the stuff you see on the internet is the stuff that gets the attention, the scandal. But what do some of the stuff that plastic surgeons actually deal with are things like limb reconstruction. You know, in reconstruction, let's say, because there was an article I saw of someone who half their face got burned, right? They do reconstruction that involves that. I got stitches in my chin, which you can't see, because I was in an auto accident when I was very, very young. And the teeth went completely through my chin, like completely through my lip. I had a hole right here where my teeth went through my lip. The person who did the stitches on the inside and the out was a plastic surgeon. So they seem to make more money. One reason they do make more money is they limit the number of people who are allowed to become plastic surgeons, right? So there's a lot less of them. But it's sort of like certain, if you specialize in certain things, you'll make more money than if you specialize in other things, all right? If you specialize in, yes, who does a lot of the um, gender stuff? Plastic surgeons. That makes a lot of money. All right. If, on the other hand, you deal with like like limb reconstruction and things of that nature, you probably make less money. They seem to make a lot more money because a lot of the surgery, like the cosmetic stuff, is not covered by insurance. All right. Like, let's say, um, I mean, OK, who does? Let's say you are a woman who has cancer, right? Chest cancer, breast cancer, right? The person who's going to do that surgery to remove breasts for, for breast cancer is a plastic surgeon that's covered by insurance 
The other part is if they want reconstruction after the surgery, that's covered by insurance. But if you want a enlargement, that's not covered. So that you pay out of the pocket. They make a lot more money that way. So yes, a lot, some of the, depending on what you're going to, for, what they specialize in, a plastic surgeon can make a lot of money. I'm not going to deny it. I'm just saying we cannot say that. I seriously, I really need to, I need to start charging plastic surgeons for this. <laughs> the amount of times I have now been forced to, I don't even mean to do it. But people are like, every, because it seems to be a big thing that is becoming hyped up on the internet. I've seen a lot of people bringing it up and a lot of people talking about it on Twitter. Where they bring up some poor actress who's done something stupid or some young person on TikTok who's showing off their cosmetic surgery. So that's getting a lot of attention. So I, it's like everybody's looking at plastic surgeons going, oh, you disgusting garbage human being, right? Why did you do this? It's like, but that's not all plastic surgeons. You have to be fair to plastic surgeons. There are actually good ones who do stuff. They don't, not all of them do the gender stuff, right? So, again, I did not want to be... I did not know that. But I'm just saying, one of the advantage, one of the reasons why they, they, the plastic surgeons have the... is because who is covered by insurance? Out of network is much more expensive. And stuff like cosmetic surgery or liposuction is going to be paid out by the patient. They don't have to deal with insurance. They don't have to deal with lower prices from insurance. So yeah, they're gonna get a shit ton of money from that. On the other hand, the other question I have to ask, and that is one that I was thinking about because I was thinking about the whole idea of somebody going to a plastic surgeon, right? And doing way too much cosmetic surgery. And I'm like, okay, fine. So. So then it, it came to me, right, should we blame the doctor for doing that, right? I'm like, well, on the other hand, the question is, all right, I work in re... So then you're like, oh, well, anyone who does some of the stuff they do, right, with the plastic surgery and they go too far might have a mental issue, all right? Well, I work in retail. People have retail addiction, right? People shop way too much. If someone were to come into my store and spend $10,000 on garbage or on stuff I don't know they don't need, all right? And, like, I'm not a salesperson, but let's say there's a salesperson approaches somebody and oversells them, right? And this person is addicted to shopping. Is it our fault that we didn't turn to the customer and say, aren't you going a little too far? Wait, AOC, it's horrible, Jerry. It's horrible. I can feel her presence. It's, it's unbearable. Why do you remind me that she exists? Thank you for that. Speak. No, no strange coins? Damn it. So every, so, so my question is now, because like I said, I'm going through my head. I'm like, all right. Someone goes to a surgeon, right? Plastic surgeon and starts, um, all right. And goes too far with the plastic surgery. They have a ton of money. Let's say it's the, 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 the trophy wife of some multimillionaire, right? Trophy, trophy wife of some multimillionaire goes to a plastic surgeon and demands surgery after surgery after surgery. Well, the question is how much of it falls on the surgeon to be like, whoa, whoa you're going too far. On the other hand, like I said, if somebody were to come into my into a store, all right, let's 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 go with I, I'm not gonna go with where I work, all right, I'm not going with where where I work, uh, Apple store, all right. Someone goes to an Apple store, maybe I work at an Apple store, who knows? Uh, go to an Apple store, right, and they buy like an iPad 12.9 inch and an Apple pencil and AirPods Max, right? And a brand new MacBook and Mac, you know, MacBook Pro and an iMac and they go all out and they buy everything and they spend several thousand dollars. How far is it before the retail person has to say, aren't you going a little too far? So I don't know. It, it's like, but as I said, one of the things that people don't take into account, and I cannot believe I'm doing this. I swear, I really need to start charging plastic surgeons for this kip. <laughs> I just start billing every one of them. I'm not even, I, like I said, I didn't even, I'm not interested in plastic surgery at all. Okay, maybe a little, because some of it is fascinating on the side that 
like the, the like I've been reading a couple because because I got into an argument, remember, a while back about top surgery and anesthesia. So I started looking into top surgery to see the details about it. And it's actually pretty fascinating. Even if you're not interested in just the idea of nerve preservation and all of it, how it's done is really kind of fascinating. So plastic surgery has is actually far more interesting than you realize because you have to deal with nerve preservation and micro microstructures and like all of that because you don't want this you don't want a lot of scarring, right? Because there's a difference between you going to a surgery to get an a I can I'm God I'm I really need to go to medical school. <laughs> you get an appendectomy, right? Okay, you're going to get an appendectomy. You're going to end up with a scar. It doesn't matter. No one's going to see the scar. Yeah, they want to minimize the scar, but it's not that big a deal. You get a nose job, you're going to have to minimize the scarring because it's going to be right on your face. So I won't deny it. There, there's a slight interest. I find it fascinating. But I wanted to be a trauma surgeon or an anesthesiologist because um, anesthesiologists are awesome. Anyway, a lot of, like... A lot of the stuff that they do is limb reconstruction so that you can get function out of it. Because they deal with a lot with like nerve endings and re retaining sensation in the in the nerves and preserving nerves. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's actually really fascinating. So, that's your lecture today on plastic surgeons. If you know a plastic surgeon, tend the, tell them to send me 500 bucks. Alright? Like, I should Google it and just be like, alright, all of you... I just, uh, so that's four, five strange coins, all right. All right, so I have five strange coins so far. There isn't enough space. Let me take something out of here. All right, let's take this. Do I have any strange coins in here? No. Anyway. So anyway, that's that's my my I don't know the, th the other thing I have I have I have one of my very big personal pet peeves I will not deny is um I got a serious you can only get one appendectomy you only have one appendix one appendix and it can be removed only once okay. And honestly, I think the corpus probably have genetically engineered so they don't have an appendix anymore. As I said, I think most corpus doctors are uh, trauma surgeons because they deal with a lot of trauma. Okay. Of course, flaming hammers are flaming awesomeness. Except I don't like having a girl character. I'm going to switch to my other character now. Wait, let me check one other thing first. So, yes. I, like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves is medical stupidity on the internet. I, I, won't, I won't. You need to level 38. All right. So, let's. How many. Wait, you have to go to. Uh, you have to get an appendectomy to go before you go to Antarctica? Most people never develop an inflamed appendix. That doesn't make sense. Why? I mean, I guess you might be concerned, but the chances of you developing appendicitis are very, very slim, unless there's something about Antarctica and the food in Antarctica or whatever that causes people to develop appendicitis. Appendicitis, like most people never... Ha Let's see. One sec. All right. One sec. Five... Let me see. Uh, ch uh, rate of appendicitis. All right. So appendicitis occurs in seven percent of the population, with an incident of one point one cases per one thousand people per year. So one point one p per people, one point one cases per one thousand people per year, and only about seven percent of the population. That's okay. Cause yeah, I mean, only seven percent of the U.S. population has had appendicitis. It's very, very rare. The reason, the reason I use appendicitis is because it's one of those rare instances where, yeah, you're going into the operating room and you're getting surgery whether you want it or not. So it's like one of those things where you have no control over it and it's like you might develop appendicitis and that's it. You, you're getting surgery whether you want it or not. You are 
That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That that that's why I I usually use appendicitis. Um, I mean there are other reasons why you'll get surgery, but appendicitis is the easiest one. Because, yeah, the primary, I mean, there are ways, it's harder and it's more risky. I think I read where you can use antibiotics, but it's very unlikely they're just going to remove the appendix. Just flat out. It's a lot easier. It's only if you're a doctor and you're wintering in Antarctica. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, again, the chances of developing it, but hey, it's not like it's a deadly surgery. Um, it's not like you're getting your appendix out is going to like um it's not like i mean unless you have a very strong fear of surgery which uh, honestly i think of it as like flying an airplane like okay okay you know you're more you're really nine i need right. what are my factions looking like I'm not going to be able to raise it. Let's go check out future war cult. But yeah, um, I said, I, as I said, I use appendicitis just as an easy catch-all. If I'm going to be talking about surgery, I'm like, all right, just appendicitis, piece of cake, nothing complicated, nothing serious. Right, I've never personally seen it. I've seen like a hysterectomy. I've seen a total knee replacement. But uh, yeah, um, I mean. I don't know. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, when you can put materials in your vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what was I doing? What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I want to go to Future World Cult. Look, you know, people, um, so by the way, Destiny is on sale again. Let me just remind people, Original Destiny is on sale for 20 bucks. You get the entire collection of Original Destiny for 20 bucks. All right. I actually bought it, so now I can remove the disc and not have to worry about replacing the disc repeatedly. I could just install Original Destiny now on my Xbox, and then I can play other stuff. But I have a physical copy of Original Destiny. It is on sale. Um, I mean, so anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I should. No, I have not. I have not played. I played a little bit of Destiny a week or two ago, and I'm out on it. Uh, look. There, there's a couple of reasons why, okay? I think one of the two biggest things that are driving me now away from Destiny 2, because I keep telling myself I should go check out what's going on Destiny 2. One, there are so many better video games than Destiny 2. I, I'm sorry, people don't like me saying this, but there are so many better games than Destiny 2. Why would I play Destiny 2 when right now I'm playing Final Fantasy Crisis Core? Final Fantasy Remake and Final Fantasy Rebirth. I'm playing Atlas Fallen on Xbox. I'm, I'm playing... There are so many vid better video games. Like, I'm playing Original Destiny right now because I said that I was going to try and get enough strange coins to show you what you get with a legacy engram. That's it. Then I'm going to switch to Final Fantasy Crisis Core. So everyone's like... I, I don't... I don't... Why, though? What am I going to get out of... Go I'm sorry. Tell me. Why? I got into an argument with someone last week over Destiny 2 because he's telling me, all right, Zellner, I got a question for you. Dungeons and Nightfalls in Destiny 2 are designed for one person or three people. Because this guy got really pissed at me for pointing out that the primary reason, the primary, what Bungie expects when you do a Nightfall or a dungeon is three people. I had, what's his name, looking it up online, uh, Hail the Lore, and he's like, it's designed for three people. It's like, even if, and he's like, well, you can get a achievement or whatever for soloing a dungeon. So, you, yeah, yeah, there's a ton of stuff you don't have to do in a video game that the game isn't designed for that you can get an achievement for. I, I don't, I got a lot of issues with Destiny 2. Okay, first off, there's a lot of better video games than Destiny 2. Why am I going to waste my time? Second, what am I going to get reward-wise out of it? Okay, and third, the aim assist in Destiny 2 ruins the experience. There's no skill needed in Destiny 2. There's no skill. That will come in handy. Good. 
could probably bring it down to like uh, I mean I, 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 like I said first and foremost okay let's grab some spin metal first and foremost right there are first off because I seriously was considering again playing Destiny 2 this week. No, I'm saying, okay, I, 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 all right, I was arguing with the guy about the champions, okay? I was soloing something in Destiny 2, okay? I was soloing something in Destiny 2 and I got up to a champion and people could tell you, I got pretty, like I managed to get through an area that, that Bungie does a lot of cheap tricks with Destiny 2, all right? Champions suck. I thought they got rid of champions. All right. I may, I was now. First off, let me be clear. I know I was under level. I was doing something at 1762 that was designed for 1830. I won't deny it. I got decently. F I got. I beat the beginning section, and then I got up to a champion. Once I got up to the champion, I was stuck. I hate champions. Champions to me are cheap. It is Bungie being lazy because they can't do anything else but come up with stupid champions. The champion I came upon was a barrier champion. The only way I could fight that barrier champion was with a sidearm. Okay? So he's telling me that the content in Destiny 2 is designed for solo play, but it's better with three people. And I'm like, no. Night falls in Destiny 2, and dungeons are designed for three people. They may not have certain mechanics that make it impossible to do solo, but they are designed with little tricks because they want you to do it with three people. He didn't believe me. He got really pissed at me. Honestly, I get tired of the people who come in here and think Destiny 2 is perfect. All right? He didn't believe me. And I'm like, no, they are designed for three people. Did I solo a dungeon? I soloed a Destiny 2 dungeon. I don't remember which one because it's been several years. It was an old Destiny 2 dungeon. I did solo a Destiny 2 dungeon. All right? So he's like, okay. So he's like, no, no. I mean, there were other people. I don't know if there's anybody who was in the chat today that was in that chat when I got really, really pissed off. All right? The problems are this with Destiny 2. First off, I'm going to flout say they've turned the game into Fortnite. Destiny 2 has been turned into Fortnite. It is an experience where 90% of the experience, you have to do it with other people. Whether it's randoms or non-randoms, you have to do it with, not, with other people. All right? People are like, well, Destiny was always multiplayer. No, there's a lot of stuff that you can still do in original Destiny by yourself. I go into Destiny 2 and nearly everything I match made with somebody which is a pain in the butt, okay? On t so, on top of that, it's just, it's all about cause... Oh, sorry, I'll keep Thank you. All right. I'm gonna go over what my issues are with Destiny 2. At the top of the list of my issues with Destiny 2, and I gotta go through slowly. At the top of my issues with Destiny 2 is the game sucks. Flat out, at this point, one of my biggest problems was, okay, I only played Destiny and Destiny 2. When Destiny came out, I played a few other video games, but I primarily focused on Destiny. Then Destiny 2 came out, and I was ridiculously hyped. And you know what's crazy? Because this shocks people. I liked Destiny 2 at launch. Most people are like, what's wrong with you? Red War sucked. I hate the fucking champions. I hate the champions. The moment you tell me champions are involved, I want nothing to do with it. Because the champions are cheap. The champions are a lazy mechanic because Bungie has no creativity left. Flat out, that is what the champions are. I wanted them to remove them years ago. This one of the biggest turnoffs for me. For me, soloing content in Destiny 2 isn't worth it. When I fail to solo something in Destiny 1, it's not because of a mechanic in the game. It is because I didn't have the skill. In Destiny 2, it's because there's a mechanic in the game that's cheap. Flat out, champions are cheap. Because they, it's, it's horrible. There's no, you, you, th th flat out, they are cheap.
Okay. All right. Champions are trash, and they prove to me that 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 Budgie is lazy. All right. You have to use a specific weapon, and yes, I know there are certain exotics that have the same. Oh, oh, shut up, woman. Fuck you. I don't give a damn at this stupid story at this point either. You ruined the story back from Season of the Splicer. See, from the Season of the Splicer onward, the story sucked. All right? Flat out. The Witness was a stupid idea. The Neomuna was a stupid idea. Making, uh, turning us into oppressors was a stupid idea. Okay? None of this, uh, uh, there is, from Season of the Splicer onwards, basically from COVID, Destiny 2 sucked. All right? So, all right. One of these, I'll just make a video about it because honestly, I'm tired of going over why I hate this game so much at this point. I love, okay. First off, first off, when I first started playing Destiny and Destiny 2, they were the primary games I played. I did not realize because all I, f I, I started with Halo and played through Halo, Halo 1, 2, and 3. Then I discovered Destiny, all right? So I played Halo. Then I played Destiny, and then I played Destiny 2. In that, at the same time, I played some Borderlands, I played some um, Division, Division 2, Remnant, but my primary focus was Destiny and Destiny 2, okay? I didn't realize that compared to so many other videos, that first of all, there are so many other video games out there that are so much better than Destiny. I was so focused on Destiny and Destiny 2 that I didn't realize just how many better video games are out there. In fact, I thought most of the stuff in Destiny was created by Bungie. Imagine my surprise when I played Final Fantasy XIV or any other MMO game like Guild Wars 2 and I found out that half the stuff that's in Destiny isn't new at all. That they did it themselves. That they, they took it from other places. Even the colors of the weapon drops are not new. I thought, oh, purple? Apparently it's in other video games. The exotic yellow or, or yellow color, that's in other video games as well. The blue, the green, the white, the same thing. The white being the common. Still, in the... Same with uh, every other video game. So first off, why the hell do I want to go back to Destiny 2 so I can grind and grind? Hell, the grind in Warframe is less and more rewarding than the Destiny 2. If I want to grind a video game, if I want to grind, you want to know what video game I'm going to grind? Warframe. Why? Because the rewards in Warframe are still so many and so varied. Why am I going to waste my time with Destiny 2? Even when I do the weekly circuit and I'm getting Warframes I already have. You want to know why I'm getting Warframes I already have? So when my brother finally starts playing Warframe because he wants to, I can give them to him. The blueprints. I can give them to other people. I enjoy playing the circuit and I get a good reward for doing the circuit. Destiny 2. All right. You want to know why? I One of the first things that they should have changed this ages ago. All right. What are the rewards for grinding in Destiny? All right. Quests. This is a pet peeve of mine among many. All right. Seasonal challenges. I said this last week. All right. What are the rewards for doing seasonal challenges? It's crap. I'm sorry. It's crap. You get Bright Dust and Challenger XP. Destiny 1 had it. Destiny 2 does not. Destiny 2 does not. Okay? Destiny 2 no longer cares about solo players. Doesn't care. They just want to give you a superficial experience like Fortnite. Destiny 2 is designed for casuals with a few extra things in for hard hardcore people. But the majority of Destiny 2 is designed for casuals. I can tell you, you want to know what made me realize Destiny 2 was for casuals? Two things. The Cabal shields, because you can shoot through them. Because only an idiot can't shoot around a goddamn Cabal shield. If you can't shoot around a Cabal shield like in Destiny 1, you suck. Alright? Fuck you, you suck. Alright? If you can't shoot, but what did they do in Destiny 2? They made it so you could shoot through the Cabal shields. Wow, because they knew that the idiots, the, who, the casual, lazy idiots, don't want to try and shoot around the goddamn Cabal shields. Even the Grenier in Warframe have actual shields. They have a piece of metal that you can't shoot through. 
okay? Even the Grenier, who have single-digit IQs, have better shields than the Red Legion Cabal. That was the first sign to me that Destiny 2 was made for casuals. The second is the aim assist. And at first, I thought it was like, maybe I was wrong about it. You know, I, I couldn't believe, I wasn't even aware that it was the aim assist. But I noticed whenever I played Destiny 2, if I went back to Destiny 1, I couldn't shoot for shit. All right? Because the aim assist on this is so egregious that you get used to having the game aim for you. You can't aim. If you play Destiny 2 for a while, and then you go back to a game that actually requires you to have skill in aiming, you got to get back into the habit. Why? Because Destiny 2 aims for you. Because it's designed for casuals and losers. And people who think, oh, C14 and Osiris is so sweet. Mom, come now. I'm going to play it because it's C14 and Osiris. Because, yeah, I dealt with those people on Twitter. All right? The women losers who couldn't shoot for shit. So they played Destiny 2 because if they played any other video game, you want to know the, the women and the non-binary land whales who want somebody to notice them. So like, oh my God, look at me. I'm playing Destiny 2. Because now I can finally aim. Otherwise, I suck. Destiny 2 is designed for casuals. All right? Now, as I was going on about the seasonal challenges, all right? Because the seasonal challenges are a particular pet peeve of mine. Because it takes a lot of work to get through these seasonal challenges, right? And what is the result reward for seasonal challenges? Bright Dust and Challenger XP, all right? Every, almost every, look, Bright Dust, okay? And so, then here, okay, you get a trials weapon. Why? Because you're doing trials. It's not even like, okay, you're doing trials, so you get a trials weapon. Everything else, it's more Bright Dust and XP. Bright Dust and XP. Now, everyone's like, oh, well, Bright Dust, isn't it great? You want to know what Bright Dust is? Bright Dust is a gimmick to get you into the store. That's what made me real, uh, what made me even more disgusted with Bungie. And nobody else has even mentioned this, okay? Most of the other people, even the people who were criticizing the monetization in Destiny 2, never brought this up, all right? You want to know why they give you Bright Dust? All right? So you, where do you spend it? Okay, how much bright dust do I have, all right? Because I still have a garbage ton of it. 14,000 bright dust, all right? Where do you spend the bright dust? There's only one place you can spend the bright dust. You have to go to the store, all right? All right, all right? You got to go to the store. Well, you got to go through, okay, all of the good stuff to find the stuff you can get with Bright Dust. Because all the best armor isn't for Bright Dust. Look, all the cool stuff. No, what do you get with Bright Dust? Every week you get a limited selection of Bright Dust options. Might as well take this because I haven't spent it. All right. Why do they give you Bright Dust? So you go to the store and you go, oh, my God, that looks so cool. I want to buy it. That's why. They send you to the store to spend your free currency and you see all the nice stuff that you have to pay money for and they hope that you will buy it. Now you can tell me, okay, you can tell me, oh, I never bought anything. That's maybe not you. Yes, casuals have a lot of effect. Destiny 1 is not for casuals. Absol I, and, and, and Destiny 1 is still pretty easy. Destiny 1 is pretty easy, but compared to Destiny 2, all right, Destiny 1, on top of that, Destiny 1, you have a fighting chance to do stuff solo. No, Destiny 2, Destiny 2, I think one of the biggest worst influences on Destiny 2 is Fortnite. Because it's basically Fortnite. It's basically become Fortnite. Where you go in there to get all your cool armor and your cool looks and you, yeah, you play like an idiot because you can barely play. But then, yeah. I mean, at one point, I'm telling you, at one point, remember the season? I call it the season of the cheap Railjack copy, where you're basically doing their copied version of Railjack. There were points where there were more, more allies on the map than enemies. It got to the point where I was talking with Lord Tachimi. He's like, yeah, I don't do anything. I go AFK. There's no point. Because there's, so, there's, two, there's like six people and ten uh, NPCs fighting on your side, and there's like five enemies. It was so stupid. It's like, yeah, it's designed for casuals. It's so easy that it's like pointless. And the handful of difficult things are difficult because Bungie is cheap. 
There is a lot of challenge in Original Destiny. Original Destiny is a lot simpler than Destiny 2. It's sort of like comparing original Super Mario Brothers to Super Mario Brothers Odyssey, all right? Yeah, Super Mario Brothers Odyssey has its own challenges. It's okay. It's pretty good. I played the beginning of it. I never really got far into it. But original Super Mario Brothers is way more simple. There's a lot more simplicity to original Super Mario Brothers, but there's a lot more challenge. It's the same with Destiny. There's a lot more challenge to original Destiny, and it's a lot more simpler. You don't have half the mechanics in Destiny 1 that you have in Destiny 2. You have, I mean, one, one primary difference between Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, I have a trait, I have, I have scout rifles with solar damage. This didn't exist. In Destiny 2, for your secondary, the only things you can equip for your secondary are shotguns, fusion rifles, sidearms, and, um, hand, and sidearms, okay? None of this fancy ass opening it up to everything. Easy, makey, so much, yeah. So Destiny 1, I enjoy Destiny 1 because it's simple, but it also has a real challenge. Thank you, Lithium Hybrid. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're getting my angry rant about Destiny. Another thing about Original Destiny is you got decent rewards. I mean, I'm sorry, but the seasonal ch You haven't changed. You literally haven't changed anything. You have literally copied every season. Everything about the season you have copied. Okay? None of what what has changed? Bright Dust and Challenger XP. On top of that, you're 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 this, alright? Most of the stuff is stuff you earn in game anyway. Every now and then you'll get something extra. But most of it, I mean, why? Wow! Oh, you get a vehicle. Like I said, it's like they drop in a few little things to try to get you, encourage you. But the rewards are what? I mean, I'm sorry. It's downright, and look, when I play Warframe, all right, there are guns I haven't earned yet. On top of that, the guns in Destiny feel like, I mean, I've said this multiple times during my Xur location videos, right? I look at the exotics in Destiny 2, and I'm like, compared to the stuff in, Dest in, in Warframe, it's like sad. So, I, I mean, I, 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 that's why people are like, why don't you play Destiny 2? There are a bajillion, bajillion video games I can play right now. Look. My games and apps, all right? You want to see my Xbox? This doesn't even include everything I have physical. I have so many games physical. That's why when Grums is like, don't buy any AAA games for the next two years, Habibi, that's a piece of cake. Habibi, thank you. That is, I, uh, you know what? Grums, thank you. Give me two years off from buying any new video games. I will be overjoyed. Look at this. All right? Look at it. And most of these games I haven't even played yet. All right? So when you tell me, okay, why aren't you playing Destiny 2? This is why. I mean, there are points where I'm playing, where, where I, I, that's why I realize I'm like, Destiny 2 is designed for casuals. They, 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 they have turned it into Fortnite. Where's this game where you go, where, what is your rewards? I mean, I have cloaks in Destiny 1 that you can only earn by doing a Nightfall. I have rewards in Destiny 1 that you can only get from actually doing something with skill, all right? The only way to advance with Varix is to do Challenge of the Elders. On top of that, I'm gonna tell you flat, they have no creativity left. Because I also have Game Pass. One of the things you have to keep in mind is look at all these games that say Game Pass. I have a lot of games on Game Pass. All right? I have a lot of physical games. I have a lot of games on Game Pass. All right? Every now and then I'll get an alert and be like, this game is on sale for from, from $30 to 5 bucks. So I'll just buy it for 5 bucks. All right? Why am I going to play Destiny 2? I mean, why? Why am I going to play Destiny 2? There's absolutely no reason to play Destiny 2 at this point, okay? Even first-person shooters, there are so... Look, Bungie's good with first-person shooters, but even Destiny 2, they ruined that because of... <laughs> well, that's new, but again, w w are they good weapons? Or are they reskins of the same stuff all over again? I mean, compare the weapons, again, compare the weapons in Destiny 2 to Warframe, all right? Compare the weapons in Destiny 2 to Warframe. 
you know? So Onslaught is a multiplayer thing, right? So again, like I said, it's all about, it's, it's, it's all Fortnite. It's basically Fortnite. So on top of that, okay, right? Warframe. I don't know. I, at this point, it's like, why am I going to do it? Why? Why am I going to play a shitty game with god-awful aim assist that's not fun to play to grind for a bunch of weapons that are probably reskins from two or three years ago? Okay? That's my thing. Why? And for what reward? So I can get bright dust and guns that are reskinned from a couple of years ago? All right. Whereas, I mean, the guns in Warframe are different. Okay. So let, let's let's see. All right, I got the ambassador. Right, the Mara Detron and the Oma. All right, let's go. Let's go have let's do a quick mission with that. All right. All right. I mean, yeah, finally, maybe they're finally doing that, but again, what skill is needed in Destiny 2? And you can tell me I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's been a couple weeks. I haven't played Onslaught, but I'm not. It's like, why am I going to play it? I have such a massive library of games, of better games than Destiny 2. Like I said, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, Crisis Core. No Grenier can be left alive. All right. Even the movement. So the ambassador. Wait, what am I using? Picking sides is never easy. Yes, honey, it's you very, very easy. What you feel is right. Absolutely. Keep in mind, this is only one of over 50 Warframes. So, why am I going to play? I mean, I would rather play Warframe than Destiny 2. Alright, that's because I have it in charge mode. There we go, now I got it. See, this gun has two modes. I didn't even realize that. This has auto mode, which is this. Alright, then it's got, I switch it to charge mode and watch this. So this gun has two, di what, what, what am I doing? This gun has two different modes. Stay focused, there's a heavy unit approaching. I didn't even realize this gun has two different modes. Bang. I'd only use the ambassador in. In auto mode. So why am I going to do, why, why am I going to play, why am I going to play Destiny 2? Why am I getting, why? The only people who are playing it, like, the thing is, one of the things that encouraged me to play Destiny 2 for a while, I would go, keep going back, was FOMO. Fear of missing out. And like, why? What am I gonna miss out on at this point? I might as well play other video games. I have no skill at all with games like Melee Combat. Like, uh, like Final Fantasy Crisis Core. All right, so like, you know what? I want to get better at those games so I can play Elden Ring. I haven't played Elden Ring. I haven't played. And I'm not even very good at Warframe. You should say UA play.
And there's Archon shards to forge. And on top of that, why am I going to play a video game from a company that insults me? That's the other thing that's completely turned me off of Destiny 2. That dude, the, 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 the first thing, the guy, Thickest Yosh, and then the community manager going after players. It's like, well, fine, bitch. I ain't playing your game. Oh, you don't like me? Because I'm a game, I, I'm on the side of Gamergate 2.0? You think it's okay for you to go around insulting me? Yeah, which is why I, I know I need to get better at games like that. It's like, okay, honey, yeah, yeah, or, or thickest Yosh, you think it's okay for you to insult me? And then you think I'm gonna go back and play your game? That alone has put me a lot of sour taste in my mouth at the thought of playing Destiny. I, I mean, I, I mean and flat out, yeah, Bungie, you can blame thickest Yosh and, his, and that, that former community manager of yours who thinks that it's okay for them to go around and insult me. Dude blocked me. Calls. Uh, says. No, actually, no. Do Destiny 1. Don't do Destiny 2. Don't do Destiny 2. Destiny 2 has a really bad aim assist. You're not going to get better at first person shooters with Destiny 2. Play Destiny 1. Because Destiny 2 has an aim assist. Your aim is good. I noticed it. My aim sucks after I play Destiny 2. I lose all ability to aim if I play Destiny 2. You know what game gives me, it actually helps me play better? And I'm not even good at it as much as I would like. Warframe. You have to be fast with Warframe. You have to be very fast with Warframe. Warframe is designed for parkour and fast. And yes, I'm not good. I need to get better. But I would definitely not recommend Destiny 2 for aiming. I would go with Destiny 1. Destiny 1 does not have as strong an aim assist. But you can tell the difference between each gun I'm using, all right? You can tell the difference, all right? Right here, this is the ambassador. This is the ambassador in, in auto mode, all right? Then I go like this. This is the ambassador in charge mode. And this is the Mara Detron. Completely different gun. And you can tell. I mean, another way to put it is this way, all right? There are more weapon enemy varieties in Des in Warframe in a single faction than Destiny 2. I'm not I mean the list of enemy variety in Des in Warframe. I was blown away by the list of enemies in Warframe in the corpus alone. And you're like uh You have broken their ranks and they are on the run. So you can see, uh, this is the Oma, which are Tonfas. I think they're called Tonfas. Which has... But you can see the difference between the three guns I'm using. Maradetron. Dishke! Japote! Okay. Ambassador. And ambassador in auto mode, all right? Three different we mo three different weapons. All right. Now, let's try something totally different. All right? And then add the fact that, all right? Yeah, whereas Warframe doesn't reskin weapons. Every weapon they've now added. So they started, they added Incarnan weapons. They've added 
uh, the the Kuva Lich weapons, the Tenant weapons. Okay, okay. So that's Clarva. Let's pick a totally different. Let me think of a where from there. Don't suck at that. We can use. All right. Let's go with um. Where is he? Do I have him? I do have him. Let's go with Zaku. All right. Zaku's pretty cool. All right. And then let's go with a weapon I really like that I've been using, the Baza. All right. Baza is pretty cool. And then let's go with the Lata, the Latron. The late, no, the Latum. The Latum is an incarnate weapon. Incarnate weapons got two modes, all right? Then, let's go with, what, 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 which one of these, all right? Which one of these should I go with, all right? I haven't used the Hespar in a while. Let's go with the Hespar, all right? So we're going with Zaku. Totally different Warframe, all right? All right. Baza, all right? Let's do that again. All right, Corpus. It's an exterminate mission, which are piece of cake, so. All right. Zaku has one of my favorite abilities, which is why I like Zaku, all right? I like Zaku because Zaku's got a cool ability, all right? Zaku has this ability where he can take the enemy's guns and use them against them. That's the only ability I know about with Zaku. I don't know Zaku very well, because you could spend ages learning how to master every one of the Warframes. There's like 55 Your of them. Sense of duty compels you to help Honey, it always today. compels me to destroy all Grenier forces to help maintain now the Latum which is my secondary weapon has this ability right every headshot I get builds up underneath all right Keep in mind, I didn't do any new mission. I did to the exact same one. Now watch this. Easy. Honey, it's very easy, all right? What you feel is right? Yes, of course, whatever. All right. What Zaku does, that's pretty cool. Let's get to it. There we go. I'm trying to... Watch this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but it's a little late at this point, and are the guns any good? So the, but are they any new? I mean, like I said, look, I just picked. There's a heavy unit approaching. All right. And don't get me wrong, not every Warframe is, is spectacular, all right? But they have managed to make 55 different Warframes alone that are different. Now, they also have what's known as Incarnan weapons, which is what I'm using right now. This is an Incarnan weapon. It's not easy to get an Incarnan weapon. An Incarnan weapon, every Incarnan weapon has two modes as well. All right. I gotta fill up that underneath. Do it, do it, worth it, worth it, absolutely worth it. Cause you can play PS4 games on it and you can play PS5 games. Keep your PS4 games. All right, it's almost there. All right. But, yeah, but the guns. So basically they uh, re they sunset them and brought them back again, is what you're saying. You're saying the recluse, you can't use it in highlight activity compared to the new one. So basically they brought back an old gun that they sunset. Good on them. Very good, Bungie. Oh, that's a load of shit. All right, watch this now. This is an incarnate gun, watch. I've entered incarnate mode. You get 200 shots in incarnate mode. 
All right, this is the other gun. This is the Baza. Now the Baza actually has a reload ability. It also has a like, if you go all the way down, it takes longer to reload. Stay focused. Here we go, let's grab the grasp of lock. Now I have also a melee weapon. On top of that, I will say this. They have been giving more rewards in Warframe. Totally different guns. You can tell each one of them is different. You know what they release? They release mods for guns. And I'm only using one of Zaku's abilities. On top of that, one of the brilliant things is, all right, I miss, I, I am allied right now with the corpus, all right? You notice one thing? The corpus aren't shooting me because they actually... Oh, and they did finishers first. So no, I, I, I mean, do I even trust Bungie at this point? No, no I don't, because it's the same goddamn story over and over again. Uh, we promise, we're getting better. And then they, they, they feel the stress, and then they get lazy about it, and they go, oh, well, yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't care anymore. Damn. Damn. Yes, Warframe, but one other difference between Warframe, okay? All right? They don't get rid of the old content. So that's why when you're like, okay, you're like, all right, you're like, but the guns have come out before, but the guns like recluse, you can't use it anymore. So basically they made the guns obsolete. All right, and then they re-released them. Nothing in Warframe is obsolete. That's why, to me, that's another scummy move on their part. That's lazy on their part. The guns, th that, that one thing you said, the guns are very good, come with different perks. But the guns have come out before. But the guns, like Recluse, you can't use it in highlight activity compared to the new one. So basically, from what I understand, what you said, they released these guns, they maxed their light level, so basically they sunset them, then they re-release them again. So that's cheap on Bungie's part. I lost all risk. That, that does not incentivize me to go get them anymore. Why? Because you sunset them and re-release them. You couldn't come up with anything new. There are literally hundreds of guns in Warframe. And there are guns with multiple abilities in addition to that. So there are some guns where you have two modes in them. And they are different. There's no reskins. Even the Warframes... The ones that are slightly similar are still very different because... So why the hell, why? You, you don't care about your game. They don't even add new enemies to the game. With the whispers in the wall, we, not only did we get new, we got new enemies, they used radiation. So you know what they added? A mod. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, before anybody says, I think Warframe is perfect. No. And for someone like Yue, who's played it for a hundred, it's, it's different, but there's 
just so much. This isn't very good high. This is like level 28, but I haven't modified modded it good enough. I should have modded it before. They merged my accounts. Remember when Destiny, you probably, I don't know, not everybody remembers when Destiny 2 did cross save. You're someone like me who played Destiny 2 from launch, all right? When they did cross save, you had to pick an account. Warframe, you wanna know what they did? They allowed you to merge your account. It's still a rare, it's a reskin. So yeah, at the end of the day, it's just reskins and it's lazy on their part. But another thing that kind of lost me with, with Destiny was when you took away hundreds of dollars worth of content from me. Warframe gives me content for free and doesn't remove it from the game. I'm sorry. They made the guns more grindable with shader exclusive, shader exclusive gun. Again, it's another way of fancy way of saying reskins. So you get it with a fancy color. That's why I'm saying War Destiny is War is is Fortnite. It's all about. Uh, uh, and you know what? I'm going to flat out say it. I'm going to say it. You suck at fashion frame, Bungie. You're never going to be Warframe. Look, I'm I suck at fashion frame. All right, I won't deny it. I'm not a cosmetic person. But even I know Warframe has better cosmetics than Destiny. I mean, you're not giving me any encouraging reasons to want to go there and get a fancy-ass reskin of a gun. Oh, uh, or to repeatedly grind for the same gun to get... I mean, look at this. This is one of my favorite, coolest things in this. All right, normally the corpus these guys over here are my enemy. However, they set it so that their shields, because I'm allied with the corpus, work. So at the corpus, because I've allied with them, their shields work for me. I love the fact that they even remember that little detail. Did you know everything that the corpus is saying is actually a language? They even go down to little details like that. Everything you hear these guys say. I can't, I don't, uh, nothing Bungie is doing is giving me any reason to be confident with anything they're doing, all right? There's absolutely nothing to encourage me to play Destiny 2 at this point, all right? Every, in fact, in fact, on the contrary, you're showing me that they still are lazy about their goddamn game. That the that the more time pat the more lazy they are about their game and they don't even care about the community anymore. In fact, they don't have you want to notice who hasn't said anything about GamerGate 2.0? Wanna know who we haven't heard from? And I hope we don't hear anything. I hope they keep their mouths shut. But so far, who hasn't said anything? DE! We haven't heard a single person say, DE has stepped in and commented on, on um, 
and they're in Canada. We haven't heard anything from DE about about Sweet Baby Ink or any of that. Why? Maybe because they're not stupid. I have not now. Maybe it, maybe because I wasn't perpetually on Twitter. I have not been insulted by somebody from DE. I have not been insulted by anybody from DE. I've been insulted by people who worked for Bungie or still work for Bungie. Why am I going to play your game, Bungie? I mean, you, you, on top of that, every week they have gifts of the Lotus, all right? There was a couple last week, gifts of the Lotus. At one point, they realized that the grind to level up with Solaris Okay, ever since, at one point, I don't know, Christian, do you remember this? They were saying that the grind for Solaris was too hard. So for several weeks, they had Gifts of the Lotus where you could earn um, bonds or whatever it was to level up Solaris, right? At one point they were giving you, they gave you every week a corrupted mod. Right now you've got this one here where you could get the Dex Furus, all right? Every week... There's an excavation here to get an Orkin reactor and 50,000 credits. They randomly this week said, hey, all right, check this out. One day, 20 hour event credit booster. Just randomly this weekend, we've got an event credit booster, okay? So what, what, let's see what have I got available to me right now, all right? I've got the Gifts of the Lotus. I've got all oh, this. Yeah, okay. Then we got this. These are quests I haven't even done yet. Then we got the arbitrations. Okay, I can do an arbitration, which will get me Vitus Essence, which I can use to get better mods. Okay, so you got disruption, so that's an arbitration, right? All right, then you've got the, the invasion missions. Okay, then you've got the syndicate missions. All right, then you've got the void fissures. Then you've got the sortie. All right, once a week you got the sortie to do. Okay. Then you've got the Archon Forge hunt. Ordis wonders. Why okay. is he here? Ordis supposes everyone has Look to at be this somewhere. is the sol and here's another part with Warframe, alright? This is the solar system in Warframe. Alright? Because they never take anything out. Every mission is available to you. Something to learn, Bungie! Eh? Every mission look at this. Every planet. Look at this. You got the open world of the plains of Eidolon and Cetus. You got Venus with Fortuna and the Orb Vallis, which is not small. These, these open worlds are very big compared to, oh, Destiny 2. Then you've got Deimos. And you've got over here, you've got the Cambian Drift, which is another open world. But this isn't all, because if you're a psychopath with a desire to a masochist, you've got the Steel Path. What does the steel path do? It raises everything by a hundred. And it gives you better rewards. So you got the steel path. Then, all right, another thing that, des that Warframe has that Destiny 2 does not have. All right, you got living space. All of this stuff is stuff I have collected, bought, or earned in game. It's Viso, Viso by here. Oh, by the way, okay quests you can replay all of them all right okay all of these completed quests i can replay them if i want to okay every single one of them the only one i wouldn't recommend doing over and over again is the new war because if you start the new war you have to finish the new war all right look at this every one of these quests they have never removed a quest you can go back and replay them okay You can go back, and they have great characters. One of the other things that, you know, one of my early criticisms of Warframe was that the characters suck. Even the Lotus, who to me, I did not like the Lotus, has actually grown on me and has developed into a really interesting p character. You've got Parvos Granum over here. Really interesting character. Okay? You've got Vala Glorious. You've got, I like Call. 
and I'm a corpus person. I like call. Honestly, if you want me to be honest, call is the better choice. If you had told me I could choose who to survive the new war, call is by far definitely the better choice. His snark, even though he has a limited intelligence, his snark with the blue lady is just brilliant. I love the back and forth between call 175 and the blue lady. It would not have been as good. No, I, I, I don't know at this point. I, I really don't care. I, I don't. Why am I going to get reskinned guns? It's the same guns. Why? 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 I mean, then you want to know something that they really threw up there that just completely took people by surprise. Because that's the other thing. Warframe keeps introducing new ideas. The new war was phenomenal. Wait, cause you want to know what they did in the new war? They had you playing as a corpus and a grenier. You got to play as a corpus and a grenier. These are the enemies you have been fighting against since the beginning of the game. And what do you get to do in the new war? You start out as Call 175, a grenier. And then you play as Viso R, a corpus. Something you have never done. There, there. So this is the first living space you get in game. It's called, it's your orbiter, all right? It's pretty decent size, all right? It grows as you play the game, all right? You can decorate it, all right? This is my corpus section. So you got Viso, you got all my little corpus noggles. There's Viso, because he's the only regular corpus. Then you got the, the, the poster with uh, Latrox, Un, and the Grenier. Okay, then you have over here. You can, these are fish I caught that you can put in there. Then I got the new war noggle. So I've got Ortis. Of course, I have another Viso because Viso is um, from the new war. You got Era, you got Call, and you got Teshin. All right, then you got this thing, which you can modify. All right, you get the floofs. You get, I mean, this game is so big and there is so much you can do. So, all right, you saw my, my orbiter. Then, all right. What else do you have? Personal space, you got, all right, what's called the dormy zone, which I have barely decorated my dormy zone. All right, I have barely touched the dormy zone, but I like the dormy zone, actually. Um, so this is the dormy zone on the Zaraman 10-0. You, I have not decorated this at all. And the amount of decorations they, they add, and the amount of decorations that you can earn in game, that's one of the important things to keep in mind. What does that portend? You can inter there are so much stuff that you can earn in game. It is obscene. Like, okay. All right, the amount of stuff, like when they added the Zyraman, what's her name? The girl that you can get stuff decorations for the shit, for your dormy zone. The amount of decorations you can earn. I think it's her. Bore, browse dormy zone items, all right? Look at all this stuff. I still haven't even ranked up, but look at all this stuff. You can earn this in game. You don't pay any money for this. All of this. All of it, all of this, okay? All of this. Decorations, and you probably want multiples of some of that. Zaraman Spoon. You can earn all of this in game to decorate your dormy zone, okay? All of this is earnable in game. All of it. The amount of stuff you can earn in game, in this game, is phenomenal. So that's the second one. Then you can, okay, you can either join a clan, which I didn't, you, or you can do something stupid like me, but I've had much success with it, and create your own clan. I, I renamed it, I paid the plat. It's called Corpus United right now, all right? I 
I probably don't because I haven't played. But why am I gonna? But they're reskins. The problem is, I get it. Okay, they're cool guns. But the fact that Bungie is so lazy that they 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 sunset guns and then they brought them back again. Oh wow! Why? That, that's the thing. Why should I feel incentivized? You are so lazy in the in your game's content that you what you reskinned game you made game guns obsolete so people couldn't get them or if they got them they were useless and then you brought them back again because jolly, because wow so you're basically regrinding for guns that they made obsolete i mean the absolute laziness of that this is has my my, my dojo all right, which is poorly decorated. You know what to hell with it? My dojo sucks to look at. You want to see someone else's dojo. So no, I don't have them. Why should I care? Because Bungie doesn't care. Bungie doesn't put any effort into their game. They don't care. So why should I? If all they did was remove guns, make them obsolete, then bring them back again, that tells me what? What kind of image does that give me? You, you don't care. Okay? You don't even bring in new enemies. We got the latest update here with the Whispers in the Wall, and you know what the Whispers in the Wall brought? New enemies called the Murmur. There are, I mean, how is it that there are more enemy variety in Warframe? So no, I don't care. Here, you wanna see someone else's dojo because my dojo absolutely sucks. Let's pick, I don't know. A random one. So no, wh why? I pre-ordered the final shape, but I did not pay for it. So if you pre-order final shape on Xbox, you're not charged for it. But honestly, I'm seriously considering dropping it. I don't care. Bungie doesn't care. Look. Somebody created this. Look at this. Somebody built this. Okay. And I'm returning it because the collector's edition was crap. I'm going to flat out say it. It sucked. It was, I'm returning it. I have to box it up today. And on Monday, I'm taking it to work and I'm sending it back. I didn't get a chance this week. I have three weeks to return. I had four weeks to return it. I'm returning it. It's garbage. It is so cheap. It, I, I, like, you look at it. The problem is you look at it and you're hit by all the nostalgia for original Destiny and the original Tower. But it is cheap plastic and it is cheap. And all these people who got it a week or two advanced, of course they're going to compliment the goddamn thing. Bungie sent it to them for free. And probably sent them a code for Final Shape for free too. Oh, and you have a ship in the game too. That that's their 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 um railjack. I mean the amount of content in the, in Warframe is obscene. So wh why? Every time they add something new in Warframe, they genuinely add something new in Warframe. Something new to go after. Something new to get excited about. They have a new Warframe that just came out called Dante that you can grind for, okay? We, 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 I mean, you're not encouraging me to play Destiny by telling me that they just brought out reskinned guns and raised them a higher level. I, I, I mean, come on, that, 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 that actually confirms why I'm sick of Destiny 2. That they are so lazy they couldn't do anything new. And you want to know what else Warframe has that Destiny 2 does not have? You know, one of the reasons why I tried to get so good at Destiny and why I wanted to solo Nightfalls and all of that was because Bungie used to run raids with the community. I remember people talking about it. 
where they're like, Bungie will run a raid. Bungie devs will play Destiny with players from Destiny. Okay? Original Destiny. They haven't done it with Destiny 2. You want to know what DE does? Now, I haven't watched any of the live streams recently, so, I mean, Christian, correct me if I'm wrong, but Rebecca Ford would play Warframe with people. She will go to a relay and jo have people join them. They play Warframe with people. Every week, they have an update. A, 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 what is it? The shorts, the 15-minute shorts. Every week, they have that. Every week, they are constantly updating and getting involved and alerting people to new stuff. And when the community was unhappy with something, they are involved, okay? On top of that, here's something that Destiny doesn't do. All right, what is Tenogen? All right, Tenogen, okay? Tenogen, you wanna know what Tenogen is? Tenogen are cosmetics Look, it says right there. It, 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 yeah, but again, it shows me how little they care. They reskinned guns. Oh joy, that's all they did. Look at this, all right? What is Tenogen? Tenogen, all right, let's go back, all right? Tenogen is content a collection of cosmetic items designed by fellow Tenno. All of this stuff here that you see was designed by players, okay? And they get a portion of it. They will pay you when people buy it. That's why you don't get th this all, all of this, okay? Was designed by players. That is how much they interact with the community. Okay? All of this. Now, I'm not exactly sure how, you, I think you apply or you like, they, they, there's a contest. Yeah, because that's the thing. The standards they have, like I said, when I played Destiny and Destiny 2, that's all I played. So my standard was very, very low. Once I started playing other video games, I realized how garbage Destiny 2 is. When I started playing, I mean, Final Fantasy, wow! Final Fantasy 14, Guild Wars 2, which I'm told isn't even that good, okay? Once I started playing other video games, then I looked at, yeah, they're satisfied because, oh my god, Bungie's finally doing something. Even if it's the bare minimum. But it is the bare minimum. But there are people who are so desperate for anything that if Bungie does it, they're going to be happy. Whereas me, I, like I said, I'm fed up. Why should I care? Oh wow, you reskinned old gu old gu brought back and reskinned old guns that you got rid of yourself. You made them obsolete and then you brought them back again. That's that's not something to be proud of. It's absolutely not something to be proud of. And again, I'm not, let me be clear, Warframe isn't perfect, okay? Don't get me wrong, Warframe is far from perfect, all right? For one thing, it's very hard to get into. But you cannot deny that they, first of all, they care about their game. They absolutely care about their game, 100%. More than De Bungie ever did care about Destiny 2. They definitely care about their game. Two, they are involved with the community. The fact that this is all, look at it, hundreds upon hundreds of items that was created by players. So the majority of the fan base is satisfied because they have low expectations. And Bungie has trained them, they even admit it. Bungie has even admitted that they want to give the player a low expectations so they don't have, so they don't have to do anything. That's why when one guy came here, what, a week ago, two weeks ago, Christopher C. And the moment I said Bungie employees are lazy, he's like, I'm not going to hear this. And he walked out. It's like, dude, if you work for Bungie, I'd like a conversation. Otherwise, you know what? No, they have gotten lazy. They put minimal effort and they even admitted they put a minimal effort into Destiny 2. Most, a lot of people don't even work in the office. They put a minimal effort. 
okay? Even the platinum, which is the premium currency, you can earn in game by selling. You earn f stuff and you can sell it to other players for platinum. So even if you don't want to buy platinum, okay, you can earn it, okay? But even if you don't want to, you don't want to buy anything from the shop. The amount of stuff that you can earn in game, okay, is obscene. I mean, I haven't even gone. I haven't even shown the rail jack. I haven't even shown. Let's go to let's go to see this. See, this was their first open world, so it's not even like it's the best open world they have. So yeah, like I said, the, the, the majority of the fan base is satisfied because they have low expectations because Bungie has trained them to have low expectations. Whereas me at this point, yeah, I, I, you're not going to win me back by telling me that you reskinned old guns that you yourself, because of what you did, made them obsolete. I mean, look, look at these people. These are people who are better at me than fashion at fashion frame. These are all other players. This isn't even the open, this is like the, the social area, right? There's my Corpus brothers. Brother, brother, what are you doing brothers? I expect you to earn much profit, brother. Profit. Profit. Um, right, let's see. Who should I go to first? Uh, you can make Zaws, which I haven't even made a Zaw. You can make Zaws. I have never built a Zaw. Today's special is a thing of such beauty that I had to slap head like for looking at it indecently. <laughs> All earnable in game. All right. I mean, just the amount of stuff that you can earn in this game is just insane, okay? So that's why it's like, I'm, I'm sorry. Ooh, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Do I have a, I don't have a tusk, a tusk thumper floof. All right, do I go with the bull floof or the floof? Which one do I go with? Ooh, the red one. Which floof should I go with? They all look pretty cool. All right, which, which floof do I need? Which one should I go to? This one. Oh wait, no, I don't have everything I need. Do I have everything I need? 22, am I missing 60? No, I don't have everything here. 18. Yes, I can get this one. I can get this one. Let's go with this one. Yay! I got a floof. Wait, can I get this one too? I got another floof! Okay. I didn't need that. But I had earned everything. Alright, let's check out. Fine, well, let's just go. Wow, you want to see the Plains of Eidolon? Let's go check out the Plains of Eidolon. This is their first open world space, alright? Let's see how big their open world space is. All right, this is the first one. This is my favorite. I like the Plains of Eidolon, all right? Let's see the Plains of, oh, by the way, you can fish and mine, all right? And now, a massive oh, and it's nighttime, so there's probably an Eidolon around. I, advise you to be I could go with my, oh, and not only that, let's see the multiple ways I can travel across the Plains of Eidolon. Oh, I can go with my uh, K-Drive. Oh, that was just bad. Okay, that's one end. Be 
basically, here's the map of the Plains of Eidolon, all right? It's huge, all right? Plains of Eidolon are huge. And there are caves. Okay, let's, let's go out of that. Let's go with what? All right. Oh, and then they have the weather, which is amazing too. I love how when it rains sometimes. I mean, I mean, I think you can bring your cape at one point, or do you have to like level your cape up to a certain level before you can use your cape? I don't know. I, I, I keep seeing the option. Oh my God, I can use my cape. My flying horse works on the plains of Eidolon too. Y yeah, yeah. I also have a flying horse. So, so, so yeah. Um, I have what is it? What do I have in Destiny? Two? A, a sparrow? I have a K drive, an arc wing, and a K. Of course, he goes. And that's the basic horse. So again, why? They like said they. I, I, like I said when I play Destiny Two, I feel like they don't care. They don't care. perfect. No. It definitely, it, it has its grindy parts, but I think one of the things that really woke me up was at one point Warframe had bigger grind than Destiny. Now, I will say this, Destiny 2 has far worse. I, I was doing, I used to do the ch seasonal challenges religiously. All right, I used to do, and then I realized these seasonal challenges had a ridiculous amount of grind. And I'm like, why am I doing this? And I'm like, okay, what am I getting out of the insane amount of grind for these seasonal challenges? Bright dust and XP. I'm not even getting anything cool to do the seasonal challenges. You want to impress me? Change the re re rewards for the seasonal challenges to something worth grinding for. They're not worth it. I've got 14,000 in Bright Dust because everything you get with Bright Dust is just like, okay, nothing special. I mean, it's not even like, no, it's a limited amount of stuff. Look at, look at this. I just... I, I don't know. You know? And every one of the open worlds is unique and different. All right, very unique, very different. It's more, it's more rewarding. Yes, that's one of the things that turned me off of Destiny 2 lately. It's, all right, the rewards are more worth it. If I, okay, I can grind out a Warframe all right by killing a boss what two dozen times maximum and i get a whole new warframe all right i can grind out seasonal challenges i mean at one point it was like you had to do the same thing like 50 times and i'm like why here is deimos now deimos is smaller but it's a totally different open world than the Plains of Eidolon. I have a terrible weapon. Here. 
The number of secrets in Warframe are so much more than Destiny. The, mon the amount of things you can find out and discover are so much more than Destiny. And then people are giving me all these excuses, right? All right, when they come to defend Destiny 2 and they're like, oh, well, well, it's not their fault they had to cut the, the content. It's because of the servers and all that. It's like, how is that my problem, all right? When you, what, what, you had to cut the Red War, why? It's not my problem, I don't care. Why, why should I care about why you had problems? Okay, and so it's now my pro my fault. I need to suffer because you were dumb. Or, they're, it's not their fault, they're bored of Destiny 2. They've been working on it for years. Warframe came out a year before Destiny. At least they had Destiny and then Destiny 2. All right? Warframe came out in 2013. They have not removed any content. They still are passionate about their game. In fact, I've heard people say 2023 was like the golden year of Warframe. That people are thoroughly impressed by what's going on in Warframe. The fact that they, 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 they are involved. They know when, like, like when they did the whole thing with the, we were like, yeah, we were wrong about um, the grind for Solaris. So we're gonna make these weekly rewards so you can easily make up for it. You can track and hunt animals. You can catch fish. I, I, it's just, I can't even begin to cover everything in this game because there's so much in it. So I'm like, I'm, I, I mean, They, that tranquilizer will stop the infestation in its tracks. I mean, just the, the fact that you've got Tenogen. And you know what, as I said, I didn't even like the Lotus, but as she grew as a character, the, you want to know one of the ways I also judge Destiny versus Warframe? Viso's fight. All right? So Viso, in the new war, okay, let, all right, let's, let me go over this. The Corpus are known for using robotic proxies, all right? The Corpus have less manpower and they use a lot of robots, all right? Viso is Corpus. When you play as Viso, you use robots. He has MOAs with him. Why? Because Viso is Corpus. The, the fight style and combat style for Viso, when you play it as Viso, hello, Zeron. When you play as Viso, fits the Corpus. You look at Viso's play mechanics, you go, yeah, that fits the Corpus. They didn't change anything about the Corpus. They made, gave you a unique gameplay. I, oh, I can't hear you. Um, oh, they, I know, I just, didn't, I just wanna, didn't wanna talk over you, that's why. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm comparing De Destiny 2 and Warframe. I'm, like, I'm putting out, okay, Viso, and I, I, I can't show it because I'm not starting the new war. Viso's unique combat was fit in-game lore, fit in-game what we know about the corpus. It fit. It was unique and it fit the corpus. Viso fights a jackal. It's a unique fight. It's different than other boss fights. I judge a boss fight in Destiny 2 based on Viso's fight with the jackal. Viso's fight with the jackal wasn't easy because you're fighting as a corpus. It's a lot easier to fight the jackal if you're a Warframe. They used unique combat to a corpus and to Viso that you don't use with the same fight as a Warframe. Viso uses his MOAs to go after the jackal. Okay? And that's why, even in the new war, what did they do? They made something unique. Call is very different than Visa because he's a Grenier. It fits, he's got all of the combat features that fit a Grenier, that make it different than a Corpus. You know the difference when you fight as Call versus Visa. You could feel the difference in the combat. But the thing is, they don't even introduce anything new. To me, one of the most disgusting things with Lightfall is you have the city of Neyamuna. 
which shouldn't even exist, but fine, you put in Neyamuna. There are no people in Neyamuna! <laughs> are you that lazy? Who are you fighting on Neyamuna? You're fighting Cabal and Vex! You never meet anything new! <laughs> what the hell? You have not brought in any new enemies! You're fighting Cabal and Vex on Neyamuna, and there are not even any n natives to Neyamuna. They were so lazy, the ships, the, the pyramid ships, are empty. <laughs> when have they last introduced a new enemy type? <laughs> Whereas Warframe did the murmur in the whispers in the wall. And they're different, and they use radiation damage. And to add to that, they added a mod for radiation damage. They added the whole new thing with the melee combat. I, I mean, I mean, my God, the level of lazy in Destiny 2 is disgusting. What the hell? Like seriously, the more I think about it, the more disgusted I am by just how lazy they are. You are fighting Vex and Cabal on Neyamuna. You couldn't even come up with- On the plains outside Cetus, you may derive- You couldn't even come up with something new? Which the Ostrons call Ito Da. Uh, just, just. Also never form a consonant again. I mean, just, just. Together. Think about that. You couldn't add any new enemies in the game. What were you thinking? I just, I just. I, 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 what? What were you thinking? <laughs> that just blows my mind. Pause a moment. Why? Why? I, so that's why when you say, okay, the Destiny people are happy, yes, because they have such low expectations at this point. They have so low expectations and and i mean i'm not even touching on what you can do because at the, honestly when i'm live streaming i don't i don't want to no there's no new enemies they constantly put you either against the cabal or the fallen or the vex or the taken i, I, I mean i mean i just i just I just, they have not added any new enemies in the game. They are all the same factions that have been there for years. There is more variety in the different types of corpus. Because there are a ton of different types of corpus. I'm just. We're here in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. I mean, now you have the Archon shards, you got... I just... So no! That's why you're not... It's like... you t They're like, oh, well, we're doing better. You... How? You can't even do some very simple, basic stuff to improve on your game. is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. I'm just, uh, I'm tired of, I don't know, I, I'm tired of being disappointed by Destiny, and I, 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 I don't know, I just, like I said, it's like, they, they, they think, they, they put in the bare minimum, I said, they, they, they added reskinned guns, that they made themselves obsolete, oh, oh okay, good job, good job. You want me to clap for you? Excavator oh damn! I just, what? What? 
Destiny? Yeah, well, everybody, I, I, I mean, people ask me, they're like, why aren't you playing Destiny 2? I, I, they're not giving me any reason to want to go back. They are not giving me any reason to want to go back to Destiny. There's, there's, I mean, seriously, why, why? Why should I go back to Destiny? At this point. What have they done? Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts Reskinned guns. So guns that they sunset that are being reskinned. Okay. Power cell for the excavator. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. I don't know. So yeah, that, that's me. I, I, I've reached my. I say I until I started really playing other games. I thought Destiny was the height of amazing, and then I started playing video games, and I'm like, uh, wait, what? Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. Oh, now they send me power sources. So now it's like, okay, I mean, seriously, why should I? They don't care about their game. They've not given me any motive. No. If they, like you said, you want to impress me? First off, Change the seasonal challenges. Flat out, change them. Give me a reason. I, I mean, at one point, like I said, I haven't finished a seasonal challenge in at least a year. Like, I haven't come. I used to try and complete all of them. And then the grind got so much, and the reward was not worth it. I've been playing Final Fantasy Crisis 4. I've been playing Final Fantasy 7 Remake and Rebirth. Um, Those are better gaming experiences than, like, I, I don't even find it fun anymore because, like I said, the aim assist means that And then, and then to have the, 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 the lead narrator start insulting game players. And it's like, okay, you now want me to, no, no. And I mean it. I think a lot of these companies need to develop a social media policy. I'm going to keep saying it. You need a social media policy. You need to tell, if you have the name of your employer in your bio, you need to shut up. And I get it. We all know why you have your employer's name in your bio. It's because that gets you more attention. Then you need to shut up. But no, these people... Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites.
and I, I told Bungie this, and every single one of these companies, Ubisoft, okay, every company, if you are going, if let's say you get a new job at Bungie, all right, you create a new social media account that's separate. No, but it's, it's just, it's flat out, all right? Okay, when you, when you have the company name and, and people like freedom of speech, no, because you are representing the company. Yeah, you, you want, you want freedom of speech. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. You want to be able to say whatever the hell you want, remove the company name or create a private account. My account does not have my employer on it. And the funny thing is, I actually would say a lot of nice things about my employer. I love my job. But I know the moment I put my employer in my bio, regardless, they're going to see me as a representative of that company. So, you know, yeah, I will tell you one thing that has turned me off of Destiny 2 is getting insulted by Thickest Yosh and finding out that a former community manager at Bungie is insulting people and who now does the Fallout show? Yeah. You insulted me. Why am I going to care? Okay? You want to you want to espouse your political nonsense online. You keep it private from your work account. Yes. You're not an individual anymore. You represent the company. That's it. You, they, you, they need. destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. Again, why? I, and and it's, it's like I said. I, why? I don't. I do not put my employer, and I'm very clear. I if. if the one rule I have, if you try to guess, even if you get it wrong, I'm going to delete your comment. Period. No guessing who my employer is, whether you get it right or wrong. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. No, well, my issue is this, all right? Again. An artifact has been located. Proceed all right? to the dig site. That woman worked for Bungie. And then you have Bungie employees coming and defending her. You think it's okay for you to insult your 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 audience? I mean, I, I I'm I'm tired of it. It's okay to insult white people. Another part of your audience. No, no, it's not. You shut up, or you get a, and you make a separate private account. It's like my medical stuff. I'm not gonna follow like my, my doctor on Instagram, okay? Because if I follow my doctor on Instagram or, or Twitter, people could be like, okay, why are you following doctor so-and-so? I'm not gonna put my doctor on Instagram. What if I have something embarrassing? Like, I don't know, my gynecologist. I'm not gonna follow it on Instagram. Or, or, or any of that. Why? Because it's none of anybody's business. It's going to stand out. The moment you follow a doctor on Instagram, they're going to be like, Oh, interesting. That must be the doctor she goes to. My medicine. I represent the corpus. All right? 100%. Okay? Profit is good. Give me money. 
money good. That is the corpus way. I will never badmouth the corpus. Absolutely, 100%. Have I ever badmouthed the corpus? There's nothing bad about the corpus. The corpus is living perfection. We are highly recommend you join us in our profitable endeavors. Absolutely. I will never badmouth. I represent the corpus. And at one point, they're like in the Lavarian. Christian, the Lavarian. I want to know how I can give my Lavarian to Parvos Granum. Because, of course, I want to make a rich man richer. He is our holy leader, Parvos Granum. The moment we find out that Parvos Granum is alive and well in the void, we will devote ourselves fully to Parvos Granum. No question about it. All great and mighty Parvos Granum. How dare you think otherwise? He is, he is Parvos Granum. I don't want it. No, I don't want to do it. I mean, I mean he is Parvos Granum. Okay? Do you doubt my undying loyalty to my corpus bro? Absolutely not. There is no, absolutely no cracks in my undying loyalty to my corpus brothers and sisters, to our board of directors, to the mighty Parvus Granum. And I have nothing but pure hatred in my heart for Alan V, the traitor who betrayed us. Okay? Your target is the system mainframe. Deliver the payload. Die, Grenier scum! Absolutely. There's only one way, and that is the corpus way. All right? Never forget that. Okay? Remember that, all right? Corpus way is the only way. I'm trying to come up with a model for corpus medicine. Like, you know, profit, pain is profit. We turn profit, we've turned pain into profit. Suffering is profitable. On the other hand, I might follow a doctor just to test with questions. That, so, just a just heads up. If I do follow any doctors, it might be because I also want to ask questions and be a piss. But, as I said, it, it just... So don't always expect that if I'm following a doctor, it's because it's my doctor and it could just be me, you know. On the other hand, this location's computer system. I need some Find some faces for um, corpus characters. I need to figure out how to use AI art because I got to start creating my corpus characters. Which, by the way, I changed uh, Kai. Originally, Kai was based on Tim Pool, but it just didn't feel right. I like a young Liam Neeson for Kai because that just fits Kai. Like young Liam Neeson kind of look for we Kai feels more Kai than then um the reactor will have tight security then uh Tim Watch Pool. Out for enemy patrols on the other hand I, I hate to say this even with all the controversy um Tezen is absolutely Jeremy boring I'm sorry it just fits him I created Tezen based on one line all right I was like I need a chief medical officer for Viso's ship <laughs> okay excuse me and that turned out to be Tezen. And it was based on one line from the Jeremy's Razors ad. The line, I am a svelte silver fox, but the, the, no, it's like this. The exact line that Jeremy Boring does, that was the, that was the, in, the incentive for the creation of Tezen touring. All right? I, I, but Jeremy, you say, you're a svelte silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that is the envy of lesser men. And for Tezen, it's, but Tezen, you say, you're a svelte silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that is the envy of lesser corpus. To which Viso responds, you have the exact same beard as all of us. And then Takat goes, technically that is called a goatee. And then he gets smacked on the back of the head and told that until he can grow facial hair of his own, his opinion on facial hair doesn't count.
because he's still too young. All right, but that, that there's no changing it. I don't care. I know there's a lot of controversy going on with the Daily Wire, et cetera, et cetera. Tezen is based on that line. I love that line. But Jeremy, you say, you're a svelte silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that is the envy of lesser men. Which is funny because none of the corpus, even the oldest corpus, have gray hair. So it's a joke where Tezen's like, you guys stress me out so much, I've developed gray hair, and I'm a corpus, and we don't have gray hair. So how do I have gray hair? It's like, because you guys drive me absolutely nuts. He then dies in the new war, which is really sad, because that is by far my favorite character. I absolutely love Tezen. More than any character in the game, I absolutely love Tezen, because he's over a thousand years old, he's a medical officer, and, 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 and he's just cool. All right, let's just go with that, all right? All right. Okay, we got that, we got that, we're good, all right. There, and now you have proof I'm not fasting. But Tezen, you say, you're a salt, you're a svelte silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that is the envy of Lesser Corpus. Yes, he is an absolute envy of Lesser Corpus. Now, what have we got here going for me? Who have we got oh, I need one more mission. Let me just do something quick. That's all from me. Ah, Habib T, you, you, you annoy me in so many ways and yet you have so much more class. All right, wait, I gotta do this anyway. Cause I get it, Orkin Reactor Blueprint. Ooh, so two more. Let's do this quick, two more. All right, but yes. I The other thing though that is great about, one of the other things I really love about Warframe is how they, like, I think one of the things, I've said this before, one of the things that has impressed me so much about Warframe was at one point you have the Halloween event, which is called Nabarus. And the story of Nabarus okay. is brilliant. The because it's the story of Nabarus is so mission. creepy but it fits the lore. Everything they they do, it fits the lore. Everything. They take it into account their different cultures, their different cre like like when Viso says for profit. It's because he's a corpus. And what do the corpus worship? Profit. It fits him to say for profit. The board of directors, the way he talks about Alid V, most lucrative and sagacious Alid V. Everything they do, the music. I love the song Sleeping in the Cold Below. That line where she's like, there's a man on high with the devil in his eyes and a golden hand. It's just, it's, you gotta love it. They still, clearly care about their game and the world of the game. And again, is it perfect? Absolutely not. They probably have retconned stuff that I don't even realize. They've retconned. But when you play as Visa in the new war, there's no question in your mind, you are playing as a corpus. It fits everything. Down to one of the most impressive things about Viso, because a lot of people were surprised. They're like, Our wait, so when you look at Viso, right? Find and access the terminals. He has a strip of hair here, two on his sides, and in the center of his head. And everybody thought that was tattoos. But when you look at Viso, it's actually hair. And people are like, what, wait, that doesn't mean. If you look at older Corpus characters, like the uh, the trailer for, I think it's Valkyr, you can clearly tell it's hair. A five-year-old trailer still remains. So they made sure Viso's hair, beard, and goatee were facial hair and hair on the top of his head just like it was in the beginning, down to that detail. They, 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 they kept, they said, when you play as Viso, you have no doubt you are playing as a corpus. 
The creativity is... Target destroyed. Proceed to the extraction point. But one of the, like I said, one of the best parts was the story of Chris, of Halloween. Or their version of it, Nabarus. Oh my god, that is so creepy. You have to just look it up online. Look it up on YouTube. The uh, grandmother telling the story of Nabarus. It is brilliant. Because it's a creepy story that takes place and fits the world of Warframe. It's not them going, okay, let's throw Halloween in. Okay, let's just throw. They don't just throw in a cheap reason for including Halloween. No, they actually, they don't throw in a cheap reason for including Halloween. No, they actually give you a lore, excuse me, that fits in universe. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And... Where is it? Yeah, I need to do this one more time. So anyway, that's, that's my whole thing. I, I'm, I mean... But yeah, if you look, like I said, because people were, were they're like, wait, that's his hair? Because, like I said, if you look at the corpus, you see on the top of their head, it has a strip of black. And no, you look at the Valkyr trailer, is the system mainframe. and you Deliver can see it's actually hair. It's not a tattoo, it's hair. And with Viso, it's his hair. In fact, I love the improvements they did on his work suit. On the helmet, on the, it's it's brilliant. Uh, Visos, one of my favorite parts of the new war, absolutely beyond a doubt, which people think I'm nuts, is Visos, not his not his mission, not any of that. His equipment looks so believable. They improved the appearance of the corpus for Viso. It looks brilliant. It looks down to the padding on the shoulders and the neck guard so that he can support his, so that it, it supports his helmet. Because if he was wearing a helmet, it would, it, there's a neck guard built in. It just, I love Viso's work gear. Down to the, 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 the metal is scuffed from working. The, it's brilliant. I said there's padding on the shoulders because that heavy chest piece and back piece he's carrying would t weigh down on his shoulders, so there's padding on the shoulders. The chest piece doubles as chest protection because if you look at it on Viso, it's actually wider. The chest part he has in front of him with the Eximus mark is wider, so it protects his chest and his lungs and his heart. It makes it harder to shoot at him in the chest. It's, it's just, the whole thing is brilliant. You can see the pockets. The reactor will have tight security. Watch out for enemy I, It's just me being crazy, corpus obsessed. But I, I love the detail they added to Viso. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's my those are my thought. I should make a video about it. One of these days, I'll make a video about my my issues with the destiny at this point and you know I think one big problem is just the fact that I've played so many other games and now it's like what I, I used to think destiny was the height of cool and that the best of the best until I started playing other games and I'm like uh no it actually kind of sucks damn it really does suck you know Muggsy telling me about Final Fantasy 14 and all the stuff you can earn in game. That's it. Now get out of here. I mean, I don't even mind repeatedly doing invasion missions because I just like to see if I can drive everybody nuts by constantly running corpus missions. Mm. Testing out different guns, testing out different warframes.
I mean, it is so hard to master this game because there are just so many Warframes and so many weapons. So see, three of three corpus. And, and, and again, the attention, like, people don't realize this, but if you're playing and you listen to the characters talking around you, the NPCs talking, that's actually a language. So the corpus are actually saying stuff. And if you know what they're saying, you can, like, for example, I was doing a mission, right, and there's this corpus who's like, That means we are the corpus. He's like, Je yetepke yotkoi. We serve the corpus. And you can hear him walking going, Je atepke yotkoi. It's like, dude, we, we know your corpus. You're wearing the helmet. We get it. Je, a, je yetepke yotkoi. I ser we serve the corpus. Okay, Habibi, Habibi. And if you free them, they say, ISP, IST. I think it's IST, which means I am free. There actually is a corpus language, even in the ads, where it's like, apayak, which means attack. And so I love Corpus ships. And that is our great leader, Parvus Granum. The infested while a lone Tenno operative hunts for supplies. Set off the alarms to start. If that was a juggernaut. They were lured out by the death of infested. Okay, they honey. We should go away. No, I don't want it to go away. To draw it out. Come on. Where am I going? The infested are releasing toxic spores into okay. the area. The emergency life support I am delivering is your only chance for survival. Ah, woman, person. that sucks. I mean, just the movement in this game alone is just. Oh yes, ninjas in space is definitely ninjas in space. Life support incoming. I love this bow. So you get this bow from playing the new war. Have their own unique take on the flood and zombies. Oh, mighty Parvus Granum. This is all Alan V's fault. I delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. Yes, I know, honey. You suck. I got this. I got this. You should have warned me. I mean, like, Tenno, Tenno, they, you should bring your own portable life support systems. Instead, you don't tell me anything. I secretly think you're trying to kill me, which is why I've signed up for the Corpus, because almighty Parvos Granum definitely appreciates me more than you do. He doesn't try to get me killed, because I provide him with profit. What am I at? 41%? I'm not that bad. I'll 
honestly, when I play Warframe, if I go back to Destiny, it feels so slow. I've delivered another life and again, I am not even good at the parkour. You should see someone, some of the other people who play Warframe. You're like, damn, you guys are good. They just like fly over the map. I gotta get better at that. Alright, honey, I need to grab this. What's for dinner tonight? I have no clue. Life support activated. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not even thinking about it. I mean, I think my brother's the yeah, is still here. No, I will say this, my uncle is the best doctor in Neil of Egypt. And yes, I will follow him on Instagram if he has an Instagram. Alright. Oh, shut up, woman. You piss me off so much, woman, sometimes. Yes, woman, you piss me off. Additional life Obviously, I'm not talking to you. Unless I'm misgendering you. Life support has been I will always misgender the great, beautiful, stunning Justin Trudeau. She is such a stunning and brave woman. Because I like to misgender Justin Trudeau. Because it makes him hurt. Because of all the laws in Canada. Yeah, it's Justin Trudeau. I have misgendered you. You are a stunning, gorgeous, and brave woman. I will also misgender Homza Youssef, the idiot in Scotland, who's also a stunning. Is off to a successful start. When you are ready, go to extraction. Yes, I will misgender you, Homza Youssef, in South in in Scotland. You know because Egypt still has the T65. What Egypt has what? I mean the T62 main battle tank. Oh well, I'm gonna be surprised if they have something old. No, I'm just saying, uh, no, 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 that guy from, from Scotland who has those new hate speech laws, right? Homza Yusuf? Yeah, Habibi, support. you're a stunning and brave woman. And your law is only going to harm um, Muslims, you idiot. I mean, seriously, dude, who do you think? Uh, no, no words. Just, just pause a moment, Habibi, and ask yourself. You really think Muslims? I guess you clearly don't know Another anything. Another life support capsule is now available. Life support activated. I mean, that's like. I have a very big problem with any kind of speech laws. All right. I'm even, I don't even have a problem with, with people, you know, incentivizing things. Because I believe very much in personal responsibility. So if I tell you to do something dumb, okay, and you do it, it's not my fault you did something dumb because I told you to do it. It's your fault for being dumb enough to do it. If I were to go and be like, everyone. In the name of the cats, you must do this. If you support felines, you will do what I say. And you do it. I hate to say this, it's entirely your fault. Not mine. Hey, if I, I say go right ahead. I mean, as I said, it's part of the whole misgendering him. She is arrived. a stunning and brave woman. Hamza Yusuf. What a stunning and brave... Are, are you going to come after me now, Habibi? Are you going to come after me, Mr. Scotland man? Huh? Are you going to come after me for calling you a stunning and brave woman? You and your free speech, breaking free speech laws? 
That nah, nah, Habibi. Come on, come on. I I called you a woman. I say we hand, send him one. Send him a couple of them. Be like, hey, Habibi. I didn't get any. No, I got one. That was fun though. Hey, I, like I said, all right, look, look, look. If I tell you in the name of the feline army, all right, you need to go and do this and you do it. I'm sorry, you did something you know is illegal. I, it doesn't matter, okay? If you do knowingly do something that you know is illegal because I told you to, it's still on you, not me. Yeah, that's me, okay? I'm very much a big supporter of personal responsibility, all right? Well, it is simple. I also uh, have little poopies following me. See, look at the little egg poopies. I thought feline army rise up against Humza Yusuf. The idiot who doesn't understand free speech! Yeah, even my family don't like my at least my dad don't like him. Ah, that must have hurt, I bet ya. So this is basically like roguelike Warframe style. Where they give you a bunch of warframes you can pick, and then you get. I just love. I mean, just the movement alone in warframe is enough to make you go. Yeah, this is just sweet. And they don't hold you back. It's not like, it's like, yeah, if you can break the game, they won't stop you from breaking the game. I mean, just the, like I said, the movement alone in this game beats in any other game. Okay, flat out. Hey, Lone Hawk, what's up? I mean, just, just the movement in this game alone is enough to make you go, yeah, this game is sweet. I mean, I, I would play this game just for the movement. And then you add the variety of weapons and the, well, and the variety of warframes, and you're like, okay. All right, what, 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 what more do I need? Ah! Oh no, here she comes. Here comes the demon. Uh-oh. Here she is. Hello. Hello, princess. There she is. Hi. Do you know you Egypt marks uh, 18th out of 100 on the Freedom House score? The what? I, I the guess. Freedom House score, have you heard of it? No. It basically marks uh, a country's uh, rights and everything. And it political rights is 6 out of, six out of 4. Land. Civil liberties is 12 out of 6. Begun. Well, I bet you Scotland is pretty low on that list. Well, I mean, they probably haven't updated it for the new stupid law they just came out with. game alone is just worth it. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, I'm not even good at it. Hey, hey Vor. Did you know Vor is also voiced by uh, the guy who voices Alad B, who's a DE employee? Yeah, I, I like you guys voice actors, but I hate to break it to you. You're, you're, you're going to be out. Uh, 
is when the first few years can go. Do not count on it as a sole source of income. Hi, boo. She got a brand new treat. With each shot. Paradox has drawn void angels to besiege the Undercroft. Undo what their claws have done. Mm, I'll think about it. Buster has claws too. Yeah, they probably also haven't updated it for the new crazy ass law that they should not have passed because freedom of speech is freedom of speech and hate speech is free speech. I don't even know what this melee weapon is, but it's cool and weird, and probably I'm using it wrong. They even. What is thoughts of a different president? Well, what? What is thoughts of a different president? I have no clue, but I thought he's in. Isn't it that some Mexican guy or something, or isn't? I mean, according to Biden, we don't even know who's who anymore. I will be honest, I'm not very much involved in Egyptian politics because I spend most of my time in America. So, I haven't been to Egypt in a couple of years. And honestly, I don't want to take time off from work. Everyone's like, are you crazy? No, I like my work. Like I said, I have a week off. I'm probably going to sneak into work. Anyway. Oh yeah, that, that was ages ago. And Tahrir Square, yeah, that was ages ago. Well, my cousins were at the whole Tahrir Square thing. Oh yeah, I got into an argument with some guy who was going on about how he knows Egypt better than I do. And all his Egyptian friends, and I'm like, dude, 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 shut up. He's like, and he's telling me how, because it was in response to the Cleopatra video I made, and he's like, black is beautiful. What does that have to do with anything? No. Everybody knows that she was uh, either Greek or Mediterranean. Uh, no, but then he's like, all the Egyptians, all I, it's like, dude, you talk to any actual Egyptian in Egypt, they'll tell you, you know what they, they identify as? Egyptian. Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, Not even Mediterranean, Mediterranean, because Egyptians are proud of their history. It's not they identify as black. They identify as Egyptian. The only Oh yeah, no, no, no. I know. Wait, you don't know about Hosni Mubarak? He was like the dude no. who was in. Wait, wait, Hosni Mubarak was like the one who they ousted ages ago. The day he died, he was like, "Wow, I can't believe Hosni Mubarak is dead." Really? I yeah, mean, Mubarak is the one everyone knows about. Not what's his name? No, Mubarak. I'm definitely gonna have to watch some uh, modern Egyptian history. Yeah. No, Cleopatra was not black. On top of that, Egypt Egypt does not look like South Africa. That's one of my biggest pet one of many of my pet peeves where they're like, these people think Africa is this just same place. And it's actually because I was talking to someone on X about it, who's actually from Africa. And he's like, Yeah, that's the problem. It's like you you you've you've diminished Africa into one culture. It's like, it's insulting. It's like you are insulting everyone from Africa. Because it isn't just that Egypt. I mean, even Northern Africa is different. Egypt is very different than Morocco. And that they're both Arab countries, more or less, in Northern Africa. But you know Africa. I, I mean, these people who are like, I have all these Egyptian friends. Yes, Habibi, good for you. My family is Egyptian. Please tell me what I don't know about Egypt. Habibi, I went to school in Egypt. Only one year, but I did go to school in Egypt. Shut up. I mean, wow. Your reserves of healing like, energy are full. Who, who, who are you? I mean, I just, I find these people who come in 
and like they like to talk to respond to co comment on especially that video where they're telling me I am wrong about Egypt people who have never been to Egypt in their life right who are like well I have Egyptian friends good for you have you been there oh no you haven't then shut up because I can also tell you that the pe the then when you talk to Egyptians who were born here, they're very, and even more second generation Egyptians, so Egyptians whose parents were born here, they're gonna sound very different than people in Egypt. Like I said, you ask any Egyptian in Egypt, they'll tell you they're not black. They won't tell you they're black. They'll tell you they're Egyptian. I, I, I just, I, I, it blows my mind. And he thinks that his argument is valid in any way. And I'm like, uh, you've never been there. I just, it just, it blows my brain. And you think somehow that I, I should take what you have to say seriously. No, no, shut up. So finally, after like three or four responses, which was way, way too much, I should have just told him, you've never been to Egypt, shut up, I, you're nothing, you, it's valid. Um, I was like, yeah, shut up, you have nothing to say that's valid because you're talking about somewhere you've never even been. Like you know more. Well, my friends who are from, yeah, shut up, dude. Do you want, all right, you want to know who I would love to see a story about, a documentary about, you're never going to see a documentary about her. I've said this before, all right, and I'm going to say it again. Sayyida Khadija, all right? I would love the them to, huh? Can you type in the chat? Uh, it's K-H-A-J-I-D-A, -I, I think. Sayyida Khadija. Sayyida Khadija was the first wife of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him. His first wife. You want a strong feminist because everybody looks at Islam and says, oh, you guys hate women, you don't have strong women. You want a kick-ass woman who will put every woman to shame, all right? This woman was born 1,500 years ago. Like I said, she was the first wife of the Prophet, all right? This woman was an independent, independent business owner. She had a caravan trade, okay? She was wealthy businesswoman. The prophet, you know, the most important person in all of Islam, right? The prophet Muhammad, right? Okay? Worked for her. He worked for her. He was 25. She was 40. When she asked him to marry her. All right? She was a hardworking woman who asked the prophet. At the time, he wasn't. He knew the revelation hadn't come to him, but she was. She was impressed by his honesty, and, and, and he was a good man. So she, asked, I mean, she was forty, and when he was married to her, he was only. This was the one time where he had only one wife, and he was only married to her. Do you need any, I mean, seriously, 1,500 years ago in Saudi Arabia, Sayyida Khadija, I, I would love them to make a documentary, an accurate documentary about this woman. But of course they won't. It doesn't fit their narrative. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But I'm not making this up. This, you can look it up for yourself. Her name, Sayyida Khadija. Amazing woman. And again, not making up, he worked for her. It was his first job. He worked as a, it like he ran, he, he, he ran caravans for her. So, yeah, it, 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 amazing woman, amazing woman. I mean, even my namesake was a revolute, was a firecracker. She died in uh, 1619 in Mecca, Arabia, and was now Saudi Arabia. Yes, she died when, so after, initially when he first came, he, initially, he, um, 
they practiced Islam in secret. But eventually they, they came out into the open and at one point they what they did was they basically shunned them. All the Muslims, they told all the non-Muslims in Mecca, you will not sell to them, you will not, you know, do business with them, you will so they had no food. And it, at one point they were so hungry because nobody would sell to them that they would eat the leaves off trees. And she was by that point she was sixty years old. She was I older. Put the full name in the chat, yeah. yeah. And she finally, it was a terrible year for him because she died and his uncle died. You, you want to know my favorite female historian? Who? Joan of Arc. Oh, she's cool too. But don't you know she's non-binary? And she didn't identify as a woman. And she was trans. I'm being sarcastic. I, I, I hate what, what, what the woke left have done to her. Well, because it also takes away with what she did as the amazing phenomenon of what she did. Because oh, yeah, the fact that she was a woman who still did that, it would have, at that time, it would have been difficult for a woman to do what she did. But to call her non-binary and all that, 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 that diminishes the fact that she was still, she was a phenomenally strong woman. You know, I think the Japanese can do a way better interpretation of Jonah Hark than what the West has done. Oh, of course. Is uh, the Japanese can do a better interpretation of almost everything Secrets at this point. Deep the undercroft. The paradox provides the means no, uh, you must Jonah Hark, it's funny how they, they, they think they're being so progressive, but in fact, they're actually being very insulting. Yeah. Like I said, turning Joan of Arc into a non-binary, which didn't even exist at that time, takes it, diminishes very much what was phenomenal and amazing about her. A woman who did those things. Absolutely. Do you want to know what's surprising? Is that they didn't judge Mulan. I'm surprised. And I'm sure there, at, I think there were some people controversially, yeah, no, at the time there were some people in those stupid garbage like the Mary Sue and Pink News were calling her trans. I wouldn't be surprised. It's like, no, you again take away from what she did and the fact that she then married and had a family after that. Uh, yeah, no, she, no. Another person would be that I, I really, this is one of the people I do not want them to find out about because if they do, they're going to ruin it. And I, I, you know what, I, you know what, given what the Egyptians did over Cleopatra, on the contrary, I dare you little shits to do something. Who's this other person? Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut was a woman. Oh, I know you're talking about Jesus. Uh, I know, I know. A pharaoh. The... Ancient... Yes. Yes, uh, she was... I believe the first pharaoh. First female pharaoh. And what she did yes, was, uh, she at times, because of the role of the pharaoh, she actually had statues made of her as a male. She also wore a fake mm -hmm. beard, because at the time it was women weren't pharaohs, so to, to, to earn respect. And But she never said she wasn't a woman. But you know, these Wokies got their hands on Hatshepsut. She was trans. She was non bot No. Again, you're taking away from what she managed to accomplish being the first female pharaoh. And you know they probably will have top surgery and everything in that because it's idiotic. Do you know another thing that uh, Netflix did not just screw up? Uh, a documentary on, I believe, Alexander the Great. Uh, let me see if I get this right. Hold on. But no, no, no. And this isn't meant to be mean to anybody. But again, when you do that, you take away from the accomplishments of the people. Because at that time, yes, it was difficult to be a woman. And for her to do what she did and be female pharaoh, like she did, to say, no, she was trans, takes away from what she did. Because on top of that, the concept didn't exist. I bet you they'll tell you that she had, mis she had top surgery scars. And, and, and it's like, no, that didn't exist. And that's why I'm now on the, uh, the phobe list on, on uh, Twitter, because I said that that doesn't make any sense at all. I wonder 
wonder how Shadow's doing. He, he, I, I haven't been on Twitter in two days and I have... But he's, I know he works a lot. And school. Like I said, a part of me is like, I want them to do something because the Egyptians will throw a fit. I mean, of all th th that's the best part about the Egyptians, right? Where they're like, oh, they're making whatever, they're, they're race swapping all these other countries made. But Egypt was like, hell no. And the thing is, she wasn't even Egyptian. She was Greek. So the Greeks didn't do anything. Who did something? The Egyptians. They're like, yeah, come on, Netflix. We'll sue you. Because we're Egyptians. So, yeah, I dare them. Come on, go after uh, after Hatshepsut. Would you return to Azerbaijan? Huh? Would you return to Azerbaijan? No, I, I don't know. Wait, no, I agree. So in, in fact, Mary in the Quran is has a whole chapter from the Quran named after her. And there's a, ho a huge amount of respect for her. Absolutely. There's a massive... In fact, in the Quran, he's called Son of Mary. Ace of Nemerian, the Son of Mary. We... But the, she's... The reason I bring up Sayyidah Khadija is because nobody knows about her. Nobody has done a documentary about her. Nobody has spoken about her. Honestly, you want to know who... One of the reasons why... And I posted this on Twitter. And I was surprised certain people didn't like it. But I guess I kind of made people question things, right? Why do I like Viso so much? And I, I, I made this whole long post about it. Because I like people who do what is right, even when there's all this pressure around you to do to be, to the easy way. Like with Viso. Viso had the, was faced his, what basically was to him a leader, a religious leader. leader. And what did Viso do? He still did what was right. And that's why I like Viso so much. Oh, no, I want the woke... No, I, I, the way, I don't want the Wokies touching Sayyida Khadija. They absolutely... No, they do not touch anything in Islam. In fact, I effing dare you because... The, 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 just do it. You wouldn't dare. You would not dare. The Muslims will... I mean, every single time they have some kind of controversial thing, right? The moment the Muslims go, no, we don't like that. They immediately... I mean, I remember at one point there was a poster, I think, in Canada where they had two women in hijab kissing. And the Muslims were like, nope, we don't like that. Don't do that. They apologized. I, I gotta say, massive, I, I, you know what? Maybe it's wrong. I love it. Where it's like, you know, I agree. They need to leave every religion alone. That I will not deny. I do not like what they're doing to Christianity. I do not like how they treat Christians. Uh, I don't like a lot of this stuff. And I was on the side of, you know, with Easter and everything. No. But I just, I mean, there's one person has point. several people point out, Muslims show more or are willing to take less when it comes to them insulting Jesus. Will not tolerate it. Um, I would. I wish they would leave all religions alone. No, they, they stomp all over them. They, 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 they it's like, well, what the hell? I, I mean, come on. We stomp, the funny thing is, they expect us to respect them, but they don't respect us. It's like, why the hell am I going to respect your pronouns if you're going to stomp all over my religion? It's a two-way so street. Yes, it's a two-way street. You want me to respect your religion, you got to respect mine. Well, you don't respect mine, so why the hell should I respect yours? I, if you want me to call you Zizemzir, then I expect you to come up to me and be like, yes, Islam is the one true faith. Absolutely. You want me to call you Zizemzir? I want you accept to to admit that I'm right and you're wrong about religion. Not, not I mean, come on. Oh, 
But one of the things, like I said, one of the things I gotta say, you know, what, what, who, how many other people did they race swap and everybody just rolled over and were like, we're gonna accept it. What, Anne Boleyn or whatever, and everyone's like, oh, right, we're gonna accept it. The one time when they race swapped somebody in the country that they, that, that, that person belongs to, right, said, hell no, was when they tried to race swap Cleopatra. And then the Egyptians were like, no, absolutely not. You don't mess with our history. I mean, how many times have you heard of anybody going, we're going to sue Netflix because you race swapped somebody important to our culture? Only the Egyptians. You got, I, I, that was the best part about the whole Cleopatra controversy. Because everybody online was like, damn, the Egyptians. Amazing. Like, even people like, like Archcast and all that were all like, got to hand it to the Egyptians. Great job, Egyptians. For a couple of days. And I'm sure that and I'm sure Netflix lost that lawsuit too. But uh, absolutely. But I just, I just, I loved hearing people because you never hear about Egypt. You never, in pop culture reference or any of that, right? No, but uh, uh, no, yeah, true, true, true. Culture is in religion, but so it's like you just, you want to. No, but the thing is, the woke is a religion. It the way they follow it is a religion. They, they even have their religious garb down to everything. They, it's basically a religion. Um, it feels like a religion. There's an obsession and it's in a, right, a right way to think and a wrong way to think. And if you break the rules of the woke, you're booted from the rules of the... They're more strict than some religions. But, I, like I said, gotta hand it to the Egyptians, which is like, all right, you, 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 you're gonna come for hot chip soot? Yeah, do it. Come on. Egyptians will throw a fit. Yeah, the, the colored hair, the facial piercings, the tattoos all over the body, the nose ring. If you do not have a nose ring, you are not part of the woke. All of the... I have a phone call. All right. Well, I don't know. I'll probably still be here. No, but okay. I mean, they have like... They're, they're, uh, and the funny thing is, right, these wokies go on about uh, averting the male gaze. And they look ugly. They're like, okay, we're going to make ourselves so ugly that we avert the male gaze. You know you can not look ugly while averting the male gaze. I mean, it's almost, I'm almost tempted to say that you are culturally appropriating my religion. Because who are the masters, beyond any doubt, of averting the male gaze? Is there anybody better at averting the male gaze than, than, than Muslims? Just saying. Muslims are by far, we are the masters of averting the male gaze. And we don't even look ugly doing it. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. And Muggsy's pointed out, I, I, I'm not the most best dressed. I'm not the most feminine. Like, people look at me, they're like, um, like they, they, this weekend during Eid, I got so many family members, family going on about how I dress. They're like, you're wearing your work clothes on Eid. You're wearing your work clothes on Eid. Yes. Yes, I was. I was wearing my work pants and a work shirt. Not the uniform part, but I was wearing work clothes on Eid. The only clothes I wear are work clothes all the time. I totally agree. Unite the Abrahamics. Totally. And and I think I think one of the things is the Muslims need to be to stand with the Christians and the Jews. And we all need to stand together every time. That's why when, when they did the whole thing, the attack on Easter, you'll notice I posted about it. And I wish I could do more to stand with the Christians in that one. Because I know that if they start attacking Christianity, it's only a matter of time before they come after us. And we all need to unite together um, to defend our religions. So yes, when I, saw, when I see them attacking Christians, first of all, I will not deny it's happening. I'm not one of those people who are being like, no, it's, not, it's happening. I have seen attacks on Christians. I've seen attacks on Christianity. I won't deny it's happening. And I will stand with Christians on that. Absolutely. Uh, I wish I could have gone to California when they did that whole Dodgers thing and protested to that. I wish my only frustration with the Dodgers thing was there were no Muslims there. There should have been Muslims at that protest with the, the Roman Catholics when they were doing the Sisters of Perpetual Indul Indulgence and you had more people outside of the, the stadium than inside protesting it. Um... No, but I let's just say I, I, 
But it's about getting new clothes. You know, you're celebrating the end of Rumble on. You get new clothes. You get new stuff. I got, by the way, two new video games for Aid. I got, um, I got this. Dragon's Dogma 2, which I still haven't even opened because I need space on my PS5. And the Princess Peach game. Um, but, uh, no, I wish there were more Muslims at the... I wish there was a Muslim who stood up and said, we will not tolerate this either. There should have been a Muslim, a couple of there, there are Muslims in California who should have been at the protest against the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Absolutely. And I would say this again, Hamza Youssef, the guy in charge of Scotland, the only people, are, one of the biggest victims of his new law are going to be Muslims. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Okay? There are going to be a ton of Muslims who are probably going to be victims of that. You call yourself a Muslim. Clearly, you, you, you've got problems with Muslims, man. Okay. But no, I, I think we, we they, are, they are going after Christianity right now because that is an easy target. But they are going to come after us and Jews eventually as well. And we need to stand together because, yeah, it's going to happen. And I, I, like I said, I, if, if when I see attacks on Christianity, I will stand up and defend Christians. Um, just because I'm not a Christian. I, like I said, I have a huge amount of respect for people who actually are religious and stick to it even when it's difficult. Like, Master of the TDS and the Writing Raven, how they, every time the Sabbath starts, they immediately turn off their, they, they log off of Twitter. Huge respect. They, and I mean, Master of the TDS does so much of what he does online. He's constantly on Twitter. But the moment the Sabbath starts, what does he do? logs off immediately his religion and writing ravens priority is their religion they will choose their religion first and foremost massive respect for them so no that's why uh mass i mean watching the master of the tds and writing raven has made me you know they, they're a great example for people who are you know who want to be better at their religion because they seriously they live their religion and they will put that as a priority. And I have a huge amount of respect for them. Okay? Massive respect. Um, though I also secretly think the writing raven is my Jewish clone. Um, I could be wrong, but the way we sometimes think so much alike, I think uh, she's my Jewish clone. Um, no, I, and when I see Muslims and Christians working together, Muslim, I, when, when I see the Abrahamics working together, yes, I totally agree with you, Lindsay. It gives me a smile. It, it, it's a really, it, because we have so much to lose and so much to gain by working together. We, I mean, as long as we respect each other, I know that, in fact, my dad at one point told a priest, he's like, if you don't pray for me, you know, pray for me. Because, yeah, you know, different religions, pray for each other. Why not? Shows that you actually respect the person. You want, you care for the person. You know, we each have our own religion, but we should work together. Excuse me. I, I'm, I, yeah, I, I consider myself an American, which is why when it comes down to it, which is why people are always asking me, like, I, I view my politics based on America first. Which is why I'm a Trump supporter. I'm a Trump supporter because I'm America first. I want us as Americans. Do I agree with some of his Middle Eastern policies? Or his international? No, absolutely not. But I realize this, okay? I need to look at America first. All right? My, I, I, I'm with the quartering on this. I want all of our money and all of our focus. I just did my taxes this morning. And you know one of the things I noticed? The amount of refund I get from my state tax is getting smaller and smaller. Every year I get less state tax. And I got paid less this year, last year than the year before. But I still paid more state tax. F you, Phil Murphy. All right. I mean, I can't believe that you could actually be fine for not having health insurance. I mean, I have it. Don't get me wrong. I have it. But, you know, I want, I work my butt off. Yes, I absolutely, I will say, I love my job. It surprises people. I work in retail. However, I'm not a salesperson. I am an inventory person. I adore my job. I love the people I work with. I work with some of the greatest people ever. I love the people I work with, all right? Uh, 
you know, I will do anything they like if, if they call anything. I work with some of the greatest people. I love my job 100%. My boss recently bought me lunch because we did so well in our inventory thing as a reward. She bought me tacos. She knows I love the food. She got me one of my favorite foods. We had lunch together on Friday. It was um, it was wonderful. My boss, Anna, my supervisor, she brought me bought me lunch on Friday. She waited until after Ramadan was over because the inventory thing we did was in the middle of March. And so she waited until Ramadan was over and then she bought me lunch and we ate lunch together. Yes, it was it was it was, it was wonderful to have my supervisor buy me lunch because she she she's like you did a phenomenal job. I mean, at one point she she was talking she told me she was talking to someone. She's like it was the phenomenal job that I did was why we did so well. And just to, so let me be clear, I work with some of the, I know it sounds crazy, because most people don't love their job as much as they do, I do. I, like at one point, a while back, I had a doctor's appointment in January. It was the first time, and tax for every single thing you buy with the money you were taxed already, yes, and that freaking pisses me off, okay? I get taxed for the money I, get, I, 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 I paid, all right? I got income tax, then I go and I buy something, I get taxed for that too. That's why, that's why my policy, and I agree with Jeremy from the quartering on this, I don't want my money going overseas. I'm, I, you know what? I don't care. All right? Don't get me wrong. I don't like what's going on in the Middle East. You know what? But you know what? I don't want my money going over there. I don't want my money going to Ukraine or any other country. I work my butt off. I love, I said, I, I love my job. But why the hell does so much of my money go to the government? Personally, if I were made governor of New Jersey, I would turn to the federal government and be like, I'm not giving you any more of our taxes. And I'd be like, no. I do not see giving money to you. To you. Yes. And no, behemoth is right. There's always something, there's always going to be a disagreement. And that's one of the things, you see, I'm beginning to realize that growing up Muslim in America has made, changed and molded me in a certain way. For example... If I were to require everyone I interact with to agree with me, I would not be able to function in this country or anywhere. Because by just the fact that I am a Muslim, there are things that I'm going to not agree with you on. Alcohol is the most simple of them all. I agree, we shouldn't be involved. Absolutely, we shouldn't. There, but just the simple thing, the most basic and simple one, the most least controversial of all of them, I don't drink alcohol. Period. I'm never going to agree with anybody about alcohol. Alcohol is 100% haram. I'm 100% against alcohol. I work with all of the guys I drink with drink alcohol. I've even been when they invited one of the guys for uh, a birthday lunch next door. Um, we had There was alcohol there. Okay? Right? Okay? So one of the things growing up Muslim in America has made me realize is you're not going to agree with everyone. But you have to get along with people. And so you have to acknowledge that you're going to disagree, you agree to disagree, and you chill out. These minorities here and today, these, this day and age, where they're like, oh, oh my God, it wounds me. No, Habibi. Uh, I mean, I saw one guy who's a Muslim who was posting about the game, can, the GDC or whatever. And he's like, they were drinking alcohol. They should ban it. No, dude, just don't drink yourself. I, I've been to circumstances where alcohol is there. You think I'm going to harm 10 people just to make me happy? No, I don't drink because I know I don't have to drink. The other people, I'm not going to make put my happiness over the majority of the people's happiness. All right? You if, if, if you know, I've been to weddings where there's there's pork. We just didn't eat it. We didn't demand that it not be served. All right? These people are like it's like I I'm seriously considering making a series of videos on how not to be a toxic minority. And at the top is don't be a whiny bitch. It's like, oh my God, you have alcohol at this event. It's so horrible. No, it's just, I don't even complain about it. I might, we, we sometimes joke about it. Like, for example, they'd be like, you know, uh, you know how, how, what are you going to break your fast on? I'd be like, I need a bottle of vodka. Or they'd be like, how are you going to celebrate eat? Oh, we're going to break out the tequila, baby. I joke about it, but I don't whine about it. I don't go in and tell my friend, you know, if I go to an event where I'm like, no. So it's like, don't be a whiny bitch. Just, if you're not going to drink, don't drink, okay? Don't go demanding, you, you know? So, it's like, I'm seriously considering you. That's how you make people hate you. That's the thing. 
that's how you, they don't understand. This is how you make people hate you. If you are a whiny ass bitch, forgive my language, people are going to hate you. Period. You need to understand that. People people don't want to hate you. I, the, one of them is an, a YouTuber I see who's a, he calls himself the, le, the best LGBT comedian in the world. And he's like, we're doing, and he, he's saying, we're doing it to ourselves. I totally agree. If you come in and like, like with Hogwarts Legacy, okay? Everybody likes Harry Potter. Everybody likes video games. If I told you, if, if you, okay, you say the only way for you to support me is to sacrifice something you like. Well, fuck you. I'm going to buy the video game and to hell with your cause. If I were to come on here and be like, okay, if I were to come on here and be like, all right, you know, I boycott stuff. I don't tell anybody about it. But if I were to tell you, okay, you guys, I'm a Muslim, all right? And in order for you to, to support me and not hate me as a Muslim, you need to boycott blank, right? Okay? You're going to hate me. You're not even going to want to support me. So that's the thing with, you really think, you really think that if you were to give the people one, two choices, buy Hogwarts Legacy, if you don't buy, if you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you're not supporting me, I hate to break it to you, most people are going to pick Hogwarts Legacy into hell with you. <laughs> if I were to go out, I mean, I mean, you're not understanding what it means to be a, a minority in America and to not make people hate you. You are making people hate you by doing things like that, by telling people, well, if you want to support me, you need to sacrifice something you can. No, no, I don't. I don't need to support you at all then. To hell with you. I'm going to buy my video game. I don't care. On the contrary, because you think that I need to sacrifice something for you, I'm going to buy more of it just to fuck with you. When you tell me that if I don't play as a, a, if, if a, as, a, as a person of color in a video game, well, the hell with it. Like I said, every character I create from now is going to be a straight white man. Just to F with you. Just to mess with your head. If you tell me I don't use your pronouns or you're going to HR, then I'm not going to talk with you. Period. You threatened me. I mean, I, there are people who I use their pronouns, right? Who because they haven't threatened me. Alexia, I'll use her pronouns. Why? She hasn't threatened me. All right? She's nice to me. I like her. She's cool. I'll call her whatever whatever she wants. All right? But you threaten me. You call HR on people, then F you. I'll just ignore your existence. Period. You don't If you threaten people to do something, you're only building resentment. If I demanded all of, I mean, like I said, if I dem, if you demand respect, people are just going to resent you for it. They're not going to respect you. They might do what you want out of fear, but they're going to hate you and resent you. They're not going to like you. They'll do what you want, but it'll be out of hatred and resentment. And that's why I'm like, like it's like, okay, should I make a, a toxic minority video? Because how to behave as a minority without driving people to hate you? Because, like, imagine if I were to come on every single day and make YouTube videos and Twitter account, uh, tweet on uh, Twitter about, oh, the burden of being a Muslim woman. Oh, the burden of the Christian white man making it so difficult to be a Muslim woman. And can you believe they didn't give me a raise because all oh, the burden of being a Muslim woman. Yes. I use them... As I said, all right. If you don't threaten me, okay. And I'm first off, I'm not using neo pronouns, and I'm not using they them. All right, flat out, I'm not using neo pronouns, and I am not using the, they them. Period. Not using either of those. Okay, absolutely not. I'm not going to call you they them, and I'm not going to call you zizemzir or whatever the hell you want to call yourself. All right, no. Okay, flat out, not doing that, all right? Okay? I'm not doing that, okay? Period. I'm not, I'm not. Okay? On the other hand, if someone's my friend, and I don't want to hurt them, and I want, and I want, to, you know what? Why not? 
as I said, as long as you're not threatening me. And uh, like I said, there's another person on Twitter I follow, right? Um, I call him he, him. Call him him. Right? Call him sir. I'm nice. I'm polite. All right? Because you know what? You, you try to be nice to people. And if you think the person is genuine. Like, I'm not going to call bobblehead sure, she. So, for example, Alexia is she. All right? Um, Calvin, the voice of Viso. Yes, the voice of Viso is a trans man. I will call the voice of Viso he. I've tried to invite him on my YouTube channel. I'm going to try again. Because I want to be nice. Okay? I mean, but I will not call you they, them, because that's 100% haram. Like, that is above and beyond because one of the things people don't understand is you can't to say you have no gender is to say you are basically above man and you are on the level of god i'm not going to do it but you know what no loss on my part you know what be nice to people right but as i said if you threaten me if you threaten me with hr if you threaten me in any way i assure you i won't even speak to you okay because if I know that you're going to be, if I, by mistake, get it wrong, or if I, do, no. Yes, Visa is actually voiced by Calvin Joyal, who's a biological woman. Yes. I didn't expect that. Yes. Young kid, too. Very young. Like, very young. Very, very young. I think, I think 23, 24 Maybe 25 at this point. Really young. Poor kid. Yes. Very young. And it saddens me because um, I don't see the it, kids. The reason. All right. I'll tell you something. One of the other reasons is because the voice actor of Viso, his entire personality isn't built on that. This is somebody who genuinely cares about voice acting. This is someone who has the حقيقه ولا حاجه بالعربي انا متاكده ان بعد 10 سنين هيغير رايه صغير مش فاهم ايه اللي هو عملها مع واحده هو مع واحده زيه ست فاكره نفسها راجل وانا متاكده صغير قوي صغير قوي حاجه و20 سنه وعمل التغييره وهو عنده 16 17 سنه صغير قوي بس look and I've said this before I do believe people genuinely have a, I do believe it exists I think we are in a position where we have far too many look let's drop the whole thing like I said I will use pronouns to be I will only use he she and that's it I'm not going to use a they them I'm not going to call a single person they them I also will not call you if you threaten me. I also will not call you like bobblehead. That's a dude. That's a dude who's out there insulting everybody. But you know what? On a personal level, I'll be polite. Why not? Like I said, I like Alexia. All right? I'm going to call her she. Why not? Awi. <laughs> يعني حرام اللي هما بيعملوها حرام اللي هما بيعملوها وال وال والبنت اللي معاه ام يا هو يعني يعني بيعمل حاجات بي بس مش طول حياته بيلف حوالينا anyway put aside all that okay but i'm saying if you threaten people all right you're not going to get respect. You're going to get resentment. So that's why I said maybe I should make a whole toxic minority thing. All right, Be like, okay, this is not how you should behave as a minority. Because if you do, people are going to hate you. Look, there are certain things that I will not break. All right? Oh, no. I, 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 look. There are certain things I will not breach. Like, for example, if somebody told me you have to drink or else, I won't drink. If somebody told me you're not welcome if you're wearing the hijab, I won't go. 
there's certain things I would like. And if you were to tell me, for example, um, you ha there are certain things where I will tolerate it. Yeah, no, it's very fair. I will tolerate it. But that does not mean I accept it. The fair is a lone hawk. And I don't accept it. 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 And I don't انا عارفة وزي ما قلت قبل كده لأن واحدة ست مع ست مش هكذب عليكم وأقول لكم إن ده حلال حرام بس لو أنا عارفة واحدة ست مع ست اللي أنا بقوله إن ده بينكم وبين ربنا ماليش دعوة أنا ما يهمنيش أنا هكون كويس معاك أو معاكي عشان عشان إحنا في أمريكا لو احنا في بلد زي مصر او كده انا مش عايز اشوف الزبالة ده في مصر Look, let me put it this way There are lifestyles I don't agree with There are things I do not agree with That's the thing, they think acceptance is mandatory There are things I will not accept That does not mean I won't treat you like a person There are things, like I said The basic and most simple way for me to put it is this way Because, so then, because I don't want to sound controversial You want to know the most basic way The least controversial thing, alcohol. I do not drink. Absolutely, I will not drink. I don't care. I will not drink at all. On the other hand, every guy I work with drinks. And you know what? I treat every one of them with respect. I consider them my friends. Okay? I consider most of the guys I work with my friends. I will do anything. K is the basis for Jal Taro. I base Jal Taro. You want to know why I base Jal Taro on K? K is a, gay, a guy I work with, okay? Jal Taro is Tiket's father. I created Jal Taro based entirely on K, okay? Because I know that if anybody tried to come at me at work, K will break them in half. K will, uh, like, I know that if anybody came into the store to try to hurt me, K would break them in half. K I has my back, and he knows whatever I can do for him, I got his back, 100%. Nothing I wouldn't do for Kay. Unless it's haram, obviously. He drinks alcohol. I will never, never accept alcohol. Never. There's nothing, you, I will never accept it. But that does not mean, in America, I can't treat you like, you know, be nice to you, consider you a friend. You do something I disagree with. It's the same thing with Calvin, okay? The, the children is the hard line. Udali bi arafni bi ismu e. Hoa maal maal ni ti amil ayel. Fadali ana yani aiz azim wa shani kalim ala warfrim. Bas hoa muafit maya fil maya ni ti amil fil ay bil ayel. Wa fi au mautat la ma bashuf la hoa bi ktiwa ba ul ya araf. Il il yom la ayam hayigi alik in intil amal tu nafsak. Yeah, I agree. Children, absolutely. So that's the thing. That's why it's like I should should make a, a whole toxic uh, minority thing, right? You're like how how not to behave? One sec. Okay, one sec. I want to switch consoles. So, I mean, these people, like like like. Okay, let me put it another way. All right, I saw a guy posting on Twitter a while back. Oh uh, no, you would be no you. The problem is, let me put it this way. No, you would be surprised how many people don't agree with most things going on. Lonak, one of the things that you can do is that even with the people, no one is willing to be Okay? Even with the people, no one is willing to be there. I mean, I'm the one who works with them, I'm the one who works with them. Okay? And that's what I'm talking about. إن ده هيروح للرئيسين وهيقول لهم لو عملت غلطة، أوكي؟ كل اللي بشتغل معاه فاكره نكتة، كل اللي بشتغل معاه فاكرينه نكتة. أم، yeah that's why it's like I I I I don't even want to risk it because the the but you would be surprised. I am in New Jersey. And you would think that New Jersey, New Jerseyans, agree with a lot of the things. You would assume a lot of New Jerseyans agree with it. They don't. Okay? Okay? You would be surprised to you. Okay? <laughs> you would actually be surprised. 
The problem is... Say again? Oh, nothing. So... Anyway, I shouldn't keep going an hour because somebody might print right. And this? No, I don't either. This is impossible. You see? That's what soldier can do. Second rate soldier, if you truly are per But that's why it's like, it's almost like, like I said, it's almost like you are begging. You're basically begging for people to hate you. Okay. Hey, Primal One. That's why, that's why, like I said, I should make a whole video series on how you shouldn't behave. Because you're basically... I pushed the wrong. So that that's that's one of my things. I am seriously thinking of making a series where it's like, okay, this is. Bring it on! I've done this on the on. All right. Oh, shut up, Hojo. I'll kick its ass and make you wish, regret it. All right? All right, you got this, all right? Wait, no, it wasn't that one. It was... Push that. Oh my god, wrong button. B2. I still haven't finished it, but I wanted to play Crisis Core. Alright, let me just remind myself how the buttons were. Alright. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my package is delivered. Okay, that's good. All right. Oh my God! Oh my God! You're not going to believe this. You did this. We're going to blow your mind. Biden cuts his beach vacation short. Poor thing. I'm in, uh, that's because I'm playing, I'm still in Warframe mode, damn it! That's why I keep pushing. I'm wasting so much. I keep pushing right, left. This is what I get playing a different video game. I'm still in Warframe mode.
down, please. Ah, see, that's why I'm still in Warframe mode. When I do this, when I'm doing this double attack, Keep pushing my left bumper. Right, remember how to do this. No, well, it's like I said, I keep pushing. That's it. So yeah, it's Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Um, I actually really like the game because. Now, wait. Uh, you, yes, you and I. Did you? <laughs> Dude, you're creepy as hell. Um, I'm really liking this game because I like, I like how someone pointed out, they're like, you're playing from the point of view of Shinra. So it's like, it's interesting to see the world. They have a sign about here at the top. We hereby declare the end of the war with Wutai, worthy of notice Sephiroth's soldier first class, whose contributions were instrumental in the beginning, bringing about a... Wow. Well, one of the problems is, so I had to actually switch the button setup because originally B or circle was ether was using items and X was dodge. Now most games, okay, based on this controller, right? Most games, this button here is dodge and this is not. Final Fantasy Crisis Core, the original, even Final Fantasy VII remake, this is dodge, this is not. Final Fantasy Core, this was not dodge. This was dodge. So I actually had to flip the buttons. So I kept using potions repeatedly because this was potions. This was dodge. So now it's like I have to get back into it because there's a Final Fantasy set, Final Fantasy mobile game. No, I didn't even know there's a Final Fantasy mobile game. Hey, Zeph. So the war is over. That it is. I'm sure you heard. I ruled. No, I didn't hear. The company reports don't mention. Okay, while that's playing, I gotta go feed her majesty. On TV? They only talk about Sephiroth's bravery. All right, your majesty, you wanna but be fed? Sephiroth was in B unit. Well, our heroes are chosen by the media. Dreams crushed. Everybody likes to be 
Is done. All I gotta do is ship the bungee package back, and all my worries are done. Uh, so Her Majesty's been fed. Okay, right. so. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go. I mean, it's weird to, you know, you it think, you almost look up to, now you talk to Sephiroth like he's just a colleague. Oh, <gasps> yes, soldier first class. Understandable. Too much happened too fast. Now you're equal to Sephiroth. I'm afraid I need your assistance again. Bring it. Are you pushing another assignment on me? My apologies. Whatever. I'll fill you in, Zack. But before that, go to the briefing room and change into a first class uniform. XVX. Alright, I gotta look into that. So I get a different uniform now? How's it different? How's it any different? It looks exactly the same. Wait, I'm confused. I, oh, I can equip six materia. Oh, yay! Now that Zack has been promoted to first class, a combat is given for each battle. No damage without taking damage. Okay. And I can use six materia. All right. Are you Zack? In the flesh, as soldier first class. Use material Whoa. treatment. So what do I do? First, open the main menu. You should sex. now be able to select material fusion. Now, try fusing these two material. I should give you a general. That should give you a general idea of how the process works. The shoulders are different. If you have any questions. All right. So. All right. The shoulders are different. Uh, I'll take your word for it. You can fuse two materia together to make one new. That's called materia fusion. It's bizarre. But when the two of the same materia. Okay, interesting. So. We're going with the in the blizzard. Wait, they said Blizzara. Okay, let's try another one. Thunder. Wait, no, that's that's what I already did. Lizard. What happens if you mix two fire? Okay, it won't work. Um, but uh, okay. Cool. I don't remember what the shoulders look like. I don't remember! They look the same! 
What are you talking about? The soldiers look the same. Yeah, I can figure it out. The shoulders look the same. So this is again why I don't play Destiny Two. Fusion is still a new technology. Because I can play games like this. Some combinations and results have not been tried or discovered yet. That's why we want you to experiment. And if you make a new discovery, let us know. Oh, you are! So I wasn't wrong. Look, I am so oblivious to how people look that I believed you. Even though I can't tell. So he's wearing the exact same thing! That sucks. Finish changing? Yeah, and I picked up Materia Fusion too. Then return to my office. I'll brief you on the mission. I like the fact, it's kind of cool, because in, in the other game, it's like, now Sephiroth is just like a colleague, right? Okay? Now it's just like, you work with Sephiroth, you work for Shinra, it's kind of cool. Different, different kind of mood setting. See the world of Shinra from the point of view. Let's see if there are any missions I need to do. Ooh, I have a lot of new stuff. I'm like trying to do all the side missions. I want to get better at this combat, so I can do this game in hard because it's on normal right now, and I'm embarrassed. All right, I am 100% embarrassed by the fact that I'm playing this on normal instead of hard. was a piece of cake. Oh, Come on. Yeah. That was just cool. Alright. Hi, dude. Damn, that was easy. That's one of the reasons why I'm also doing these missions. Mission accomplished! And then, I do this. So which one was that? That was, um, Genesis. Try this. So, no, I mean. Activating combat mode. Out of the way.
Damn, this dude's hitting me hard. Yes. No, wait. No, you didn't go on a rant. What are you talking about? That's not a rant. You want a rant? I can give you a rant. I'm just distracted with... With uh, this fight with Bahamut. Okay, that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Ooh, I got Bahamut and Materia. Cool! I got Bahamut now. This shows. I will look into the Final Fantasy game on uh, mobile. But I'm really enjoying, like I said, um, that's one of the reasons where it's like, why should I play Final? Why should I play Destiny 2? I've been playing this all week. Look at this. Yeah, I've been playing this all week. How, how many? How long have I. Wait. Um, five hours, 39 minutes, I've been playing this game. Um. Um. True, it is easier for me to not play. Because I haven't played it in a while. And I've gotten over that FOMO. It takes a while to get, you know, that fear. Even now, I still fear that FOMO. That, you know, a part of me is like... But then I'm like, yeah, but what, what I want to play... Um, I want to play... Um, um, then it's like, okay, um, it, it is easy. It takes a while. I won't deny it. It does. It isn't easy. All right, let's see. And I think it's also the fact that I'm not good at like a game like this. Well, you can always.
always join me in D1. <laughs> Wait, the mountain top. What do you mean the mountain top? You mean the the iron temple? I can't go. I think that's the guy who's supposed to be. I think I by mistake used the phoenix down because I think that's the phoenix down feather over my head. So if I die, it'll bring me back. No, I did not, because I really, really don't care. I don't trust them. The problem is, every time we get a reveal, all right, every time, every time we get a reveal, it looks amazing and awesome, and oh my god, did you see that? And then, and then you see the real, th then, you, then it comes out, and it's like, that, that, that sucked. So it's like, I, I, I don't, it's probably all cool hype, emotional hype, right? And then when it comes out, it's gonna suck. So that's why it's like, I, I don't even look anymore. Whereas this, I'm actually trying to get better. One of the reasons I want to play this more is so I can get better at blocking. I'm very bad at blocking and dodging. Because I don't trust them. I just, I don't trust them. That's the problem. Every single time I've seen them do something, right? I've gotten excited. Every single time. It's like, I don't want to get hyped for anything anymore. So fireworks. I have this thing that makes that every attack like does silence. Yes, I know. Ooh, I got a new limit break. But I can cancel it at any time. So I'm probably going to end up canceling it. I don't know. Like you said, it, it's hard to get out of destiny. All right? I won't deny it. It's hard. A part of me really wants... You know what? I won't deny it. A part of me wants to go back and play Destiny 2. Even right now, I actually was at one point seriously considering playing Destiny 2. I haven't uninstalled it. And then I'm like, but I want to play this game. Um, a part of me misses Destiny 2, but then I remember all the downsides to the game and I'm like, okay, why am I going to do Like, th like, for example, the, the, like, for example, the problem, all the problem is I don't like what they did. Just, all right, I just got one key question. Does, does Nimbus die?
Does Nimbus die? Horribly. Humiliatingly. Miserably. Does he die and regret it? Is it a horrible death for Nimbus? Does he suffer? What was I doing? I mean, this doesn't even look like anything fancy. But I, I want to get better at this combat type. Damn it, I should have blocked that. Is it because Kate is back? Because I know Kate's back. They don't care. I, I said, why? why uh, uh, I have no confidence in them. I don't trust them anymore. I just, I don't trust them anymore. Wait, so they call him Cade 7 now? I, I, but that doesn't mean the game is gonna get better. Yeah, of course they're going to have to get Nathan Fillion to do the voice, definitely. But that doesn't mean anything. It means they're desperate. But that just tells me that they're desperate. I don't because they I don't owe them anything at this point that's the thing well, I mean yeah I have it on pre-order and you know what truthfully I'll probably end up playing it in fact like I said I am tempted to go even like I said I am tempted even right now to go back and play destiny 2 I won't deny it and then I remember for example what am I going to get out of playing destiny 2 it isn't even fun anymore that's the problem it isn't even fun anymore. It's boring. The combat isn't even fun anymore. And there's so many games with better combat. So yes, a part of me is like, I want to go back. That's what makes it even worse. Because a part of me wants to go back. And then I go, and it's boring. Okay? That's the problem, alright? The combat isn't even fun anymore. There are better first-person shooters. There's more fun first-person shooters. There's more challenging first-person shooters. What is there in Destiny 2 that makes it unique now? Nothing. There's nothing. I don't care about the reveal. I really don't. I know Kate is coming back. And you know what? I don't care. Because to me, bringing back Kate... Bringing back Kate just tells me they're desperate. Fine. God, I hate this. I, I really am tired of the game. Because it, it, it's boring. It's flat out boring. There's nothing in the combat worth playing. I used to do with Destiny 1, I would spend literally hours to master a, a, uh, when, when is it, when did it come out, because there's only the one from a while back, seven months ago. You mean the gameplay trailer? The one that came out two days ago? I, I don't... I said, I, I've lost all interest in playing. There's nothing interesting to play in this game anymore.
There's absolutely nothing for me to watch in this at this point. If I can pause it. I, I I'm tired of this game. All right. We need to go. Keep moving. Go. The witness brought darkness. I hate the witness. I think the witness was a stupid idea. Into our annihilation. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. I said it screams. Take this power, Guardian. Be Sorry, I don't care. Places. All it tells me is they're desperate. We are the, light of hope. the game is made for multiplayer. The game doesn't care. They don't care. I don't care anymore. They, they, they're just, like you said, what are they, what is it? What is it they're adding to the game? It's like every single trailer. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Only for there to be nothing. Every trailer has looked like... No, you know why? Because all you're seeing, all you're seeing is powers, right? How, what trailer has not looked there? All right? Here. All right, tell me this doesn't look cool either, all right? Yes, Primal. Trailer is one thing, gameplay is another. Trailer looks cool, gameplay sucked. Light, final shape, trailer looks cool. Tells me nothing, absolutely nothing about gameplay. Tells me absolutely nothing what they're adding to the game. Tells me absolutely nothing about, and that's why I'm, you ask why I'm showing this. I don't like it because it tells me absolutely nothing. And every time they don't add anything, it tell if we're going based on Bungie's track record, okay? We go based on Bungie's track record, all right? Lightfall. Who wasn't excited about Lightfall when they saw this trailer? And what did we get out of it? So it's the same thing. Don't get me wrong. Does it look cool? Absolutely. What does it tell me about gameplay? Nothing. That's the thing. You get hyped by these trailers only for them to do absolutely nothing. 
On top of that, the gameplay sucks. The aim assist in this game sucks. They still have the champions in the game. They still are only focused on multiplayer. It's a cheap Fortnite at this point. Destiny 2 is cheap Fortnite. It's let's get as many cosmetics and their cosmetics are garbage because you know what? I'm sorry, Bungie. You are not DE. I don't care. At the end of the day, Bungie, you can't do cosmetics like DE. You're playing a first person shooter. I don't care. Why? What does it matter? It tells me nothing about what you can do with it. That's the problem. It doesn't tell me anything, Habibi. It doesn't tell me anything at all. It doesn't tell me what you're gonna do with it. It doesn't gonna tell me what is it gonna look like. All it tells me is, hey, doesn't this cutscene look cool? That's why I brought up the Lightfall one because the Lightfall one looked really, really cool. What have they done to the game to make me want to, seriously? What have they done in this game to make me want to play? Tell me, what have they done to make me want to play? Please. I'm, I'm genuinely, I want to know because I keep getting every week people telling me, play Destiny 2. Why aren't you playing Destiny 2? And I have... Uh, okay. Oh, damn, I missed all the... I gotta do this again. So my question is, what have they done to make me want to play Destiny 2? Okay. What have they done to make me want to play it? What if, I mean, even the gameplay isn't that good anymore. Because, as I said, once you notice the aim assist, you can't not notice it anymore. Activating combat mode. They only care about multiplayer. The game is so superficial, casual, and just, it's its designed, it, it feels like Fortnite. Activating combat mode. This. I have no reason to believe them at this point. Okay? I don't believe I don't I don't I don't care. And I'm forcing myself not to care. Because I just I don't I don't want to deal with it anymore. No, there were still things you can do solo. Now it's so superficial and easy and grindy. At least last time I played it. Alright? Destiny 2, uh, Destiny has a lot of stuff you can do by yourself. There's a lot of stuff you can solo. There's not this, every new thing you're automatically dropped into a multiplayer thing. Okay? Okay? Everything you do, you dropped into multiplayer. Okay, everything is just superficial to collect. I mean, why are you doing half the stuff you're doing in the game? Again, it's to either get bright dust, so you can get more cosmetics, or so you can get reskinned guns at this point. There's nothing. Why? Just this. Why? Reskinned guns. And 
bright dust so you can get more cosmetics. The whole game is about showing off your bling, okay? At least Warframe, I get it. Warframe is very much fashion frame focused, but you still have a lot of fun playing it and doing a lot of stuff and earning new weapons and stuff in the game. You don't have to be into fashion frame to enjoy Warframe. With Destiny 2, what are you pursuing in the game at this point? There's no... I don't find it fun. When you have a game with which is so thoroughly designed for casuals. It's either ridiculously hard stuff that you need multi-people to do. I, I really, I'm, I'm t I want to get out of the game. So what? It's the old guns! But it's nothing new! That's the thing! They are so lazy, they're not adding anything! How is that something to be proud of? They're making old games more available for low-skilled weapons? Why? So what? That tells me it doesn't tell me something to be proud of! Okay? You, you're not giving me any good about that. That's not good. That's telling me they took old guns and brought them back again. They reskinned old guns. They didn't bring anything new. I, I'm, I'm getting tired of people coming here telling me how great Destiny 2 is when I'm trying to get the hell out of Destiny 2 because it's boring. Don't get me wrong. Do I miss playing Destiny 2? Yes, but you know what? I have a massive library of games that are better than Destiny 2. There's nothing that Destiny 2 offers me now that is unique, that makes me go, I want to play it. Telling me they brought back reskinned guns means absolutely nothing because it tells me one thing. Bungie was so lazy. What new enemies? According to the trailer, two new supers. Again, it's lazy. Okay? It's lazy. I mean, you keep talking about these stupid guns that they brought back. Why is that a good thing? Why is that a good thing? That tells me they are so lazy that they're bringing back old weapons. They can't do anything new because they made them obsolete themselves. They made them unobtainable. So that it's like when you make your own, when you, when you make a problem, when you make a problem, okay, and then you pay, make, the, then you create the solution to the problem you created, okay? Who cares? Who cares? I don't care because the trailer isn't telling you anything i asked you this is the one that came out two days ago okay why should i care you're telling me right now they're bringing you, you old guns that are reskins trailers are designed to get you hyped they're designed to feed off your emotion they're not going to show you gameplay the, the one i was like gameplay reveal it's a bunch of cutscenes. What is there? What what is in this other trailer that I didn't even see? Okay. I am trying to get this is gameplay trailer. The one I just showed you is called gameplay trailer, and you saw no gameplay in it. I mean. No, because the new weapons aren't new weapons. Okay? They're not even new weapons. No, I haven't played in weeks because there's no reason to play at this point. Okay? There's no reason. Every time I go in there, it's the exact same thing. So what am I going to expect? What do you expect me to think? They're risky. You literally are telling me what I said. You are telling me that they are bringing back the old weapons. I told you they were reskins. 
I said, why the hell am I going to go back to get reskins of old guns? You're literally telling me that. So that, you know what that tells me? That tells me that Bungie is so lazy that they can't even bring back new guns. So why the hell, what else did they do to make it worth it? Okay, what else have they done to make it worth it? If they can't even create new guns for the game, where all they can do is bring back guns that they made obsolete. Okay? They have not done anything to make me want to go back. Absolutely nothing. You keep talking, you have such low expectations of them, so when they actually do something, it's an amazing reveal. But when you play other video games, you look at Destiny 2, you're like, that's crap. Okay? You tell me I should be celebrating the fact that they brought back old guns and are reskinning them. That you could go around and grind for new shaders on old guns. They brought back sunset weapons. They sunset them. They should never have sunset them in the first place. They couldn't even be bothered to make new guns. What did they do? They brought back what they removed from the game. They didn't create anything new. You know what that tells me? That tells me that Bungie is so lazy that the only thing they're going to do is bring back old guns. Yes, I'm going to keep saying it. They are lazy. They need to get back to work. They're so lazy, they can't create anything new. I bet you most of the bosses are the exact same thing all over again. Like I said, how do I judge a boss fight? Based on Viso's fight. Viso's fight is simple. Very basic. But it's more creative than 90% of Destiny 2. No, because I'm telling you, and you keep telling me to come back for reskins. How many new guns are there? Why should I care? What new quests are there? I did Lightfall. I don't, I mean, seriously. Yes, I can call them lazy because they can't even change the seasonal rewards. The seasonal quests, they can't even change that. They can't even change that. Okay? Yes, I can call them lazy. The seasonal rewards? What are the rewards for that? The same exact crap. They never, you keep telling me there's new stuff. All I see is them being lazy. They recreate the same seasonal challenges with bright dust and XP. You want to impress me? Impress me by doing better rewards for the seasonal challenges. You, no, Lone Hawk, you did. And, and I'm telling you, why should I care? They don't show you anything in the trailer. They don't show you anything that every trailer before it has not shown. Every year, it's the same thing. You get all hyped and excited because they show you a cutscene. That's it. What is there to see in it? You don't learn anything about the final shape. You learn nothing. Even if they show you the new, the new, the new uh, super, it's a cutscene. You know nothing about it. We got hyped over and over and over. You got hyped for stasis, and then everybody cried about it after the fact. You got hyped for strand, then everybody cried about it. Over and over. You get caught up in the emotion of the trailer. I won't deny it, it looks exciting. You get caught up, and you know what? At this point, I've learned my lesson. You get hyped in the emotion of the trailer, And what is it? How is it any different? How is it? This is the most recent trailer. I don't care about Cade 6. I don't. Honestly, they should have kept him dead. Because nobody ever keeps a character dead. You want to know the truth? You want to know the truth? They should have kept Cade 6 dead. Why? Because every time somebody dies, they bring them back. One of the one things I have, one thing I have to applaud DE on is they kept Viso dead. Because nobody dies in video games anymore. So no, I don't applaud them for bringing back Cade 7. Personally, I think they should keep him dead. That, to me, screams desperation. And it isn't even that. Like I said, most I know people are like, I wish they would bring back Viso. No. And I like Viso more than Cade. I absolutely like Viso more than Cade. I like the fact that Viso stood up to his boss, said no, and died an actual hero who saved thousands of lives.
in the process. I have a lot. I like Viso a lot. But do I want him coming back from the dead? No, I don't. And it's the same thing with Cade. Nobody stays dead. So no, I don't think it's great that they're bringing back Cade 6. I think he died heroically and we need to move on. But they're so desperate that they need to bring Cade 6 back. So no, showing me a trailer with Cade 6, I don't care. Showing me another bunch of cutscenes that don't tell me anything about gameplay other than them getting all hyped and probably lying through half of it because again, it's the same thing. Do you not remember that? Do you not remember? Every year, it's the same thing. Everybody was hyped for Lightfall. Every year, it's the same thing. And I'm not falling victim for it again. Okay? I nearly didn't buy Lightfall. Every year. So telling me to watch a trailer, why? Because it's going to be the exact same thing. What has changed at Bungie? What? They can't even... The, fine. Uh, uh, look, I get it. Cade 6 died stupid reasons. But he died. They brought back Osiris. With that stupid ass story. Saint 14 should have stayed dead. Why did they bring back Saint 14? Alright? No, they didn't bring back Osiris. What, what's Osiris doing here? No. No. So no, Cade 6, yeah, I get it. Cheap death, but he's dead. People die. So no, I'm not gonna, why should I watch it? You make it sound like I'm missing something great and I'm telling you, why should I watch it? No, it has all the bullshit feminism too. It does have it. it, it I mean, starting with the fallen. Where they're like, oh, you oppressive guardians. Oh, you oppressive guardians. Killing, um, killing fallen. You mean the invaders? Oh, wow. I'm killing the invaders who stole to, started multiple wars. But, oh, yeah, I'm the oppressive, horrible guardian. Shut up. The moment they start, that's the moment I started to turn sour on Destiny. And I liked things in Season of the Splicer. There was creativity in Season of the Splicer. Okay? But the moment you started preaching at me that I am an oppressive, horrible guardian, shut up. How dare you? No, you had Saint-14 freaking begging like a freaking loser because he killed Fallen. You mean the goddamn invaders we had every right to go after for killing millions of humans and invading multiple times? And you want me to be like, oh, I'm an oppressive guardian, I'm sorry. Then... What? You kill Lakshmi too off screen, okay? The one person who actually had reasonable doubts about the Fallen, you turned it, okay. Then you do the whole Saint-14 and Osiris bullshit. That's what it is, because I bet you money that there's some woman on the Bungie writing team who wrote slash fanfic about Saint-14 and Osiris. Oh, they're so cute. Slash fanfic. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody, nobody liked that. Nobody who actually plays Destiny liked the teacup scene. And their whole ongoing didn't stop about their goddamn relationship for at least a year. Where you're going rescuing Osiris. God, I hate Osiris. He's a pain in the ass. Oh, he's got taken over by Sabbath. Nobody cares about Osiris anymore. Anybody likes Osiris because every person I've spoken to hates what they've done with every single character. I don't care about anybody in the tower except for the Drifter. He's the only character who's they, who they haven't destroyed. Zavala with his girlfriend going back to her grave, constantly forgiving him, begging for forgiveness over his girlfriend. Dude, she dumped your ass, got married, and hold a whole nother family, but you're going begging at her grave, begging at her children's grave, begging at their children's grave like a pathetic little loser. And a soy boy, Zavala, the great commander of the Titans, is begging at some woman's graveside, her children, her children's children, like a loser. Like he can't move on. Oh, come on. Aldrin Sob, I liked the crow. I, abs I actually liked the crow until they turned him into a pathetic emo bitch constantly
really whining about, oh, I'm older than Saul. Oh, my sister. You, do you sound like you sleep with your sister? Oh, my God, I'm older. Dude, shut up already. We get it. And then having the whole nightmares with him and his nightmares. And, oh, my God, I'm older than Saul. I wanted to smack him. The only character with any backbone was, what's her name? The daughter of the emperor. What's her name? Keitel. Because, of course, badass woman who need no man. Zavala was a bigger loser than Keitel. The only thing I liked was when they took um, Saladin and they made him part of the Cabal. The only thing I had any interest in is when they actually, when they approached the Cabal. Because they didn't turn you into oppressors of the Cabal. Okay? I mean... I liked Zavala until they turned him into a pathetic loser. Then add the gameplay, all right? 90% of the game, you have to play with other people now. Every single thing new, you're dumped in with a bunch of other people. Oh, joy, that's so much fun. You can't solo anything, okay? They still haven't removed the champions, and now you're telling me they're bringing back reskinned guns. They haven't changed the seasonal challenges. It's all about bright dust and XP. What have they done? It's literally a carbon copy from last season. Over and over, it's a carbon copy of last season. Where you do the same thing 500 times to get the seasonal challenges, and you might get a bunch of reskinned guns. So why should I care? So I can start grinding the same thing over and over and over and over. That's basically a carbon copy of the previous season with a few modifications. Oh, instead of it taking place... um in the EDZ, it's going to take place in space, or it's going to take place over here instead. And you grind it, and you do the exact same thing over and over and over, so you can get the exact same guns over and over and over. And it's not even like they're new guns. So you get 20, 30 of the same gun, because you do the same thing over and over and over again. And then you tell me that I, what, is there anything different, has they, anything wrong in what I'm saying? So you do the same thing 20, 30, 40 times. Where you're in an arena with a bunch of people fighting the same enemies over and over again. And then what, the boss. Oh, you do one third damage, you break the immunity, you do a third damage, you break the immunity, you collect something to unlock chests. Am I wrong? So you can get old guns all over again. They bring back old exotics from Destiny 1. I, I mean, what is new? What is new? You know want to know what you would have gotten me back for? If you told me there were actual rewards for the seasonal challenges. If you had told me that there were new rewards for the seasonal challenges, if you had told me that they'd gotten rid of the champions, I would have come back. No, it's not. You want to know why? Because the aim assist is so bad in Destiny 2 that if you play another first-person shooter, you can't aim. Even the gameplay is garbage compared to most FPS games. Okay? At this point, there's a ton of other first-person shooters with better gameplay than Destiny 2. Okay? Don't tell me... No. There's nothing unique and special about the gameplay in Destiny 2. Absolutely nothing. At this point, I have come to realize, alright? I used to think that same exact thing. Destiny 2 has the best first-person shooter mechanics. Until I started playing other first-person shooters. No. Absolutely not. And it's tedious and monotonous, and you're going to have to do the same thing 50, 60, 100, 200 times. And you're going to end up... You're going to end up with the same gun in your vault with slightly different rolls. I do, because I don't need it. Because when I play another video game that doesn't have the aim assist, I can't aim. So no, I do complain about the aim assist in Destiny 2. I think the aim assist is egregious. I don't need aim assist. And it ruins my aim in any other video game. I'm telling you, if I play Destiny 2, I can't aim in another video game for at least an hour. I have to go and play another video game and regain my ability to aim.
because the aim assist is so bad in Destiny 2. So yes, if I want an actual challenge, yes, I, I, don't, I don't want a garbage aim assist that aims for me. I don't, I, if I can turn off the aim assist in a video game, I turn it off. I have no aim assist in Warframe. Not Destiny. Destiny 1 does not have the same aim assist, and you can feel it. No, it's not a, a, a me problem, Habibi. Okay? It's not a me problem. I'm not the only one who has a problem with the aim assist. A lot of people wish the aim assist would turn off. This is a really good game. This is an interesting game. I'm actually really enjoying it. Borderlands, haven't beaten it yet. You can't turn off the aim assist in Destiny 2. Okay? I'm not lying to myself, Habibi. You can't turn off the aim assist in Destiny 2 when it's actually pretty bad. So, you're the one who's lying to yourself. Go look it up! You'll see a ton of people talking about the aim assist in Destiny 2. Alright? It has an aim assist. It's not as strong as Destiny 2. It does have aim assist. It's not as bad as Destiny 2. And it's based on the gun. So no, there is aim assist. But it's not like Destiny 2. Destiny 2 has really bad aim assist. So, no. I've played thousands of hours of Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. And I can tell you, beyond a doubt, and most other people will agree with me. Okay? Destiny 2 has far worse aim assist. Okay? Because I know when I play Destiny 2, then I go back to Destiny 1, you can tell it's different. The aim is off. So no. Look! This is actually a very good game. Highly recommend it. This is in first person shooter. Very good game though. Borderlands, haven't beaten it. Very good game. Destiny 1 is better by far. Okay, this is just going through this library here, alright? Evil West, loved this game. Better than Destiny, alright? High on life. Lots of fun. Alright? Great game. Great game. I haven't played this yet. No, I haven't played Call of Duty or Halo. I have a massive library as it is. Look for yourself. Alright? Haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2. Remnant 2. Remnant from the ashes. Alright? This is an interesting game, I haven't been it. Bioshock, Bioshock 2, much better games. All right? Haven't played this yet, but this is pretty good. All right? Doom, good game. Doom Eternal, good game. All right? This is an interesting game, I haven't played it yet. Control, good game. All right? I liked Immortals of Avium. All right? It's different than Destiny 2. What does Destiny 2 have that a 500 million other games doesn't have, all right? The new Dead Space game. Why not that? I've played Ghostwire Tokyo. I like Ghostwire Tokyo, all right? And it doesn't, it isn't just first person shooter. No, there is a weaker, there is a stronger, yes, there's Destiny 2 has a stronger aim assist, okay? It does have a stronger aim assist. That I have no doubt about. There is a stronger aim assist because in Destiny 1 it was different. No, there is a stronger. It's because they brought in PC players. They added more data. Yes, Destiny 2 is incredibly generous with aim assist and even allows players to spoof with that aim assist for their mouse and keys. But it was designed. Yes, Remnant 2 is a good game. Damn, Remnant 2 is another good game. Remnant is also a good game. 
So I have a massive library here, all right? Why am I gonna play this? Why? So I can do, again, the same thing over and over and over and over and over to end up Doom at the start of it. Doom Eternal, definitely, at the start of it. Borderlands, even Borderlands 3 has better gameplay than Destiny 2, okay? There are hundreds of games out there, okay? Then, there's, it doesn't have to be just FPS games. Final Fantasy Remake. Final Fa it's a third-person shooter. Why does it have to be first-person shooter? Okay? But Borderlands game, even Borderlands 3 is a better game than Destiny 2. The gameplay is better. The gunplay is better. Warframe, okay? There are so many games out there. Why? That's why it's like, why? why? I'm not even limiting myself to first-person shooters. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Final Fantasy 16. I haven't played that yet. Then, dude, you need to get a life if you've managed to play all of that. Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, wow, man. Helldivers 2. I mean, I can't even play all that stuff. I am telling you, what is there in this game to make me want to play it? Come on. Even the gameplay isn't that good. No, it's not. One dungeon. I mean, I mean, even the strikes suck. No, the gameplay isn't that good. It's absolutely not. There is nothing unique about Destiny 2. There is absolutely nothing Dude, if you have managed to beat every single one of those games, then what are you doing? <laughs> I, I mean, do you even have a... I, I mean, I'm sorry, this isn't meant to be mean. But do you have a job? <laughs> I mean... What? Why? Why? There's nothing here. You're going to end up doing the same stuff over and over. Oh, here, you want, want to know why? I'm saying it, it, I'm impressed, but at the same time, there's nothing unique about Destiny 2. There is absolutely nothing unique. Yes. There is absolutely nothing unique about Destiny 2. It is another first person shooter. That's all it is. Okay? It's just another first person shooter and there are a ton, they are a dime a dozen out there right now. To say nothing of all the games on PC. So no, there's nothing unique about Destiny 2. Absolutely nothing. Nothing unique about this game. So you can Because I'm telling you, they, who what is the new co what is different about the new content? So you can end up with your vault looking like this, okay? So you can end up with a vault that looks like this, and this is nothing compared to the stuff I already dismantled. Thir five, six, seven, eight of the exact same gun over and over and over again. Because I'm telling you, I bet you, the old content is basically the same thing as the new content. Because they don't do anything new! What is there in you? Why do you want me to play this bullshit game? There's nothing in this game worth playing! You yourself said they're reskin guns! Why is it every week somebody has to tell me how great Destiny 2 is? You're not going to convince me. Bungie's the only one who's going to convince me that this game is any good. And the fact that they can't even change the goddamn seasonal challenges tells me that they don't care. Why? 
The only way they can get you to come back to the game is to bring back, back Cade 6. That's why they brought him back, because they are so desperate to get people in that they realize the only way is to bring back Cade 6. Why? They made exotics now random. So you have to grind the gr exotics over and over again. So you do the same dungeons every week, the same raids every week, so you can possibly get a different role on your game gun. That might be better. Why should I care? Who cares about K6? They are that desperate. Look at this. Why should I care? So you can get the exact same guns. You're the ones who brought it up. Every week, somebody comes in here and starts talking about Destiny 2. And asking me why I don't want to play Destiny 2. And I have told you multiple times why I don't want to play Destiny 2. I've said it multiple times. I have said that there is nothing in this game worth coming back to. And I am trying to break the addiction to the game. And every week, every week, somebody comes in here and tells me how wonderful Destiny 2 is and how wrong I am about Destiny 2. And, oh my god, it's the greatest game. And how do you not see it's the greatest game? And I'm telling you, there is nothing to bring me back. Oh, you, you haven't played it in weeks. Because what has changed? What has changed? In the game at this point. What? No, you didn't. I haven't insulted anybody either. I did not insult you. I said every week it's the exact same thing. Every week. Last week I got into an argument with Shanderson about this stupid game. Every week somebody's telling me to go back and play Destiny 2. And there's nothing here. You haven't convinced me You every week. You've got Destiny 2 wrong. You're wrong. The game is great. You're missing out. Why should I believe you? You haven't played it in weeks. And I'm telling you. Okay? And I am telling you. Even their new content is basically all old content redone. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I am wrong. I... 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 I I didn't say you didn't have a life. I said, I mean, do you have a job to, in order to play? Yeah, because you played five, a, a, a million games. That wasn't meant to be an insult. That wasn't meant to be an all. Like, how the hell can you do that many video games? Dude, I'm impressed. But at the same time, you're not, uh, you're, you're telling me that Destiny 2 is special. There's nothing special about that. My apologies then. Fine. I didn't mean to insult you. Okay? I didn't mean to. But I'm getting fucking tired about arguing about this game. You have given me absolutely no reason to come back to Destiny 2. And I'm getting goddamn tired of you people coming in here every week. Every week. Ajit Imshi then. Okay? 99% of the time I do. But I'm getting tired every week. I just had this whole argument a few hours ago. No, I don't have guns from 2017. I have them from last year because I finished Lightfall. And I apologized. Fine. I apologized. But I'm getting goddamn tired of this argument. I am really getting tired of this. I just argued with you like two hours ago about Destiny 2. And yes, I can insult the goddamn game because they haven't done anything new. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong because it's exactly the same thing. I have guns from 2023. I have guns from 2023 because I finished Lightfall. And I tried playing when they brought back Titan. So no. You keep going on about the goddamn trailer and telling me how I'm wrong. And the other guy's telling me to, to I mean, I'm tired. Ajit, if you don't like it, leave. I genuinely don't care. Okay? Because I am fucking tired of the Destiny 2 people coming in here and telling me how wrong I am about Destiny 2. They are doing the exact same thing every season. They have not done anything new. 
And you've even admitted yourself they're reskinned weapons brought back into the game. So why should I care? Why? We just had this argument. We just had this argument like two hours ago. And I don't care about the trailer. I looked at the one they just released, the gameplay preview trailer. It's a bunch of cutscenes. Why should I care? I pointed out everyone was excited about Lightfall. And everyone saw the trailer from Lightfall, and then Lightfall sucked. Why? Why? Because they keep showing us trailers, we get excited, and then we get disappointed. Dude, get over it. I apologize. Okay? Get over it. People have said far worse to me. So, dude, get over it. I'm sorry. I apologized. Move on. Okay? Honestly, when you tell me you've played 90% of the games that I pointed out, God impre admit I'm impressed. But that takes a lot of time. So, yeah, maybe it was wrong of me to say it. I apologized. Move on. But you guys keep bringing this game up and telling me how I'm wrong. Tell me. You even admitted they're bringing back reskinned guns. So they can't even put the effort to make new guns in. You tell me they you're grinding for the guns with the special shaders. Ooh. Why am I going to do all of this all over again? What have they done that is new? I bet you, you have to grind the same thing 20, 30, 40, 50 times. So you can get seasonal challenges for what? At least when I'm grinding something in Warframe, I'm getting something new out of it. At the very least. Instead of doing the same thing 30, 40 times. Getting the same guns with slightly different roles. And ooh, now they're gonna have different shaders. I mean, dude, it just... I, I mean, I, I can predict exactly what it is. It's another group thing, with group thing, with mobs, that you're killing mobs, that you're collecting some kind of currency to unlock chests, to get new, to get reskinned guns with slightly different roles. And I bet you, you get the same gun. I'm just bad at games. No, actually, I have a, a exhausting full-time job, okay? Then when I come home, half the time, I can barely do anything else because I'm on my feet for eight to ten hours a day. So now, I, I look, dude, I already told you, I apologize. Get over it. Now you want to come and insult me? Fine, I don't care. Your opinion, I suck? Whatever. Maybe it's because I suck at this game because it's a sucky game. I am genuinely tired of this discussion. I don't care. I don't, I, I don't, I don't care. He can see whatever the hell he wants. I don't care. Okay? You're gonna tell me. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I am wrong about it. That the new, the quote unquote new content isn't anything more than some kind of mob thing in a different location where you have to kill a lot of enemies, then you have a boss, then you get currency to unlock a chest. I haven't even seen it. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Same public events, all over again. Same bounties, same seasonal quests, again. You want to... All right. As I said, why should I care? If you wanted to impress me, you would have changed the seasonal challenges. Uh-huh. So me telling you so me telling you you don't have a life is an opinion then because if all you do is play video games then that's an opinion too. And yeah, that's an insult.
Would you like me to tell you you suck at video games? Would you like me to tell you that? No, you wouldn't like it either. You'd tell me I insulted you and I hurt your fifis. So no, it's the same thing. All right? It's the exact same thing. The only difference is I don't care. I don't need to prove anything to you. All right? Same thing. Same exact thing. Tell me someone who's live streaming has been live streaming for five and a half hours that they suck at video games. All right? Yeah, that's an insult. Dude, I apologized. Okay? What do you think my response is when I bring up, like, and every game is like, wow, that's impressive, but how do you have the time to do all of that? I didn't mean to insult you, but move on. I mean, if you're Rogel, Rogel, Andu, you, you'd move on. But you are acting like a butt her child. And all of you keep coming in here and telling me, well, it sounds like I did because you did sound a little butt hurt. No, you want to know why? Because I want the game to get better. I actually do care about the game. But you tell me I'm, I mean, am I wrong? You haven't told me that I'm wrong. All right? I care because I miss the old Destiny too. That's why it angers me even more. Because I liked the original game. I liked it. Now I hate it because of the state it's in. And it breaks my heart to see the game in the state that it's in. But you haven't told me I'm wrong. Am I wrong about the latest content? Am I wrong? Tell me, am I wrong? You can tell me I'm wrong. I haven't even seen it. And I know what it is. You don't understand. It breaks my heart to see the game in this state. Okay? And that's why I'm so angry. And then you come in here and you tell me it's so great and wonderful. And that I should go back and play what? You're so happy because they gave you crumbs. They gave you crumbs and you're so happy about it. That's why the game doesn't get any better. Because you're willing to take their crumbs. And that's the problem. They make minor ch They bring back... I mean, how are you not pissed? Honestly, how are you not angry that all they did was bring back guns they sunset? How does that not anger you? Instead of doing something new, all they can do is sunset... Bring back... All they do is bring back, because what's his name? Because it's two of you talking about the game, Habibi. Two of you. I care because I loved this game. No, and I'm not sober, my dilwati. Mushkiltik e. Il mushkila. E mushkiltak. I'm telling you. I don't want them to shut down Destiny 2. I actually want them to go back to when they actually cared about the game. That's what you don't understand. You think I'm hating on the game because I'm a mean person or I hate the game. No, because I genuinely, I'm one of the few people who loved the game from launch. Okay? I enjoyed Destiny 2 from launch while all of you guys were screaming and crying about how horrible Destiny 2 was at launch, I actually enjoyed it. While all of you were going on about while all of you were screaming about boycott Eververse because they added a few purchases I didn't have a problem with it. I actually defended Bungie because I said they need to make some purchases in game. But now you have no problem with them turning the game into a store. You have no problem with the seasonal card. You have no problem that they give you the, the second rate currency, the bright dust, so you can get the second rate stuff from the store. You have no problem that they that, that you you accept their crumbs. Whereas I remember when they made new content. When they when they actually put passion into the game. When they had good writers on the game instead of copying Warframe. 
The gameplay is not king. The gameplay sucks. Okay? The gameplay sucks. There is nothing unique about Destiny 2's gameplay. No, because I'm not the only one who hates on the aim assist. It's not crazy. Go watch videos of people who point out that the, the weapons... No, a lot of people I know are like, get rid of the aim assist. Give me the option to turn it off. It ruins the gameplay. No, they're not minuscule problems. They are huge problems because what about the seasonal challenges, all right? What is one of the biggest things... What is the, one of the big things you do every season? What? Seasonal challenges. I used to do these religiously. I haven't done them in a year. I used to do, I used to do as many of these as possible. I used to try and get all of them. You can't see last year's. Last year's were almost complete. Okay? Before Lightfall from Witch Queen? Yes. Until I realized, what's the point? The entire thing, you're re rotating the season around. The key feature of the season. The seasonal challenges. Okay? What is the... And I don't want aim assist in PvE. I don't need aim assist in PvE. Because unlike the idiot, other idiots who play PvE, I'm not a casual. Okay? Most of the people, I've said this, Destiny 2 is designed for casuals. Unless you're doing PvP. Or some of the, like, just the handful of small, of limited hard challenging stuff. The majority of Destiny 2 has no challenge to it. So yes, the PvE people aren't complaining about the aim assist because they're people, they're casuals. Dude, get over it! Dude, my god, get over it! My god! Jesus, man! If, uh, uh, clearly, you are really butthurt about that. Wow! Wow, dude, I apologized ages ago. Habibi. Wow. I clearly hurt your fifis then. Uh, get over it. Move on. You didn't need to just move on. I've been trying to move on from it for the last 10 minutes. I didn't, I don't need you to tell me you accept my apology. Dude, move on. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow! You are so sensitive! Most people would have moved on by now! I apologized ages ago and you keep bringing it up! Dude! Forget it! Wow! You are more sensitive than me! And I'm the woman here! You're telling me that I am complaining about minor things, right? One of the biggest things every season is the seasonal challenges. Okay? One of the biggest things every season no, I'm not! You keep bringing it up! You just gave me a whole paragraph about it! I accept your apology. Don't be respectful to your view. Dude! Drop it! Yonhar Obiud! You're the one who's still bitching about it! I thought you dropped it ages ago! Wow! You're the one who's still bitching about it! I didn't bring it up again! You did! You just wrote a whole paragraph about it. Shut up and move on. I mean, am I wrong, people? He keeps bringing it up. Annie, wow. I didn't mean to, but he keeps bringing it up. I've gotten far worse, and you know what? You just move on. You just move on. You notice I didn't go on about asking you for an apology to tell me because you said I suck, because I don't care. 
all right? I don't need it, all right? Bringing that up now, okay? Because you don't want to drop it. Dude, move on, all right? Chalas, enough. I get it, I hurt your fifis. Move on. You keep telling me, what's his name? The other guy. I didn't say it was, pr what is wrong? Oh yeah, okay. Better than Destiny 2 at this point. And it has a higher player base than Destiny 2, so whatever. I mean, I mean, let's see, let's see. You want, you want, you want, okay, fine. And I never said, unlike you, that there's something completely unique and different about the gameplay in Warframe. Yes, the movement is actually pretty good in Warframe. Okay? But even I acknowledge flaws in Warframe. I don't think Warframe is unique and alone in what it provides. Okay? You think Destiny 2 is the height of first-person shooters. No, it's not. There's nothing unique or golden about Destiny 2. Because, yeah, for a while, Destiny 2 had a lower player base than Warframe. Now, with the this, it might not be. Let's see. At one point... Let's see, what are we at? All right. Warframe has 50,000 players right now. All right? Fine. But you can look at my tw Twitter account where I have, on multiple occasions, Okay, that's impressive then. Finally, they beat Warframe. Very good. They finally beat it. Then fine. Habibi, I don't care. You don't like Warframe. Big whoop. Why should I care? Why am I going to take it? What, you think you're attacking me because I think because you don't like Warframe? I don't care. Each person has the type of game they like. Honestly, I'm impressed. This is one of the first times I've seen Destiny 2 have a higher player count than Warframe. For the last couple of months, Warframe's been beating Destiny 2. You can look at the history. But I don't care. All right? For a while now, Warframe has beaten Destiny 2. It's only recently, clearly, in the what? April 9th, something happened. I bet you something happened on April 9th that brought the player count up. Okay? Yeah, what happened on April 9th? Because before April 9th, they were going at below 50,000. Something happened on April 9th that brought their player count up. Before April 9th. No, they're not. What are you talking about? Dude, just because I like a game and you don't like it means nothing. I don't like RTS games. Shadow likes RTS games. I think they suck. He doesn't get butt hurt because I don't like games he likes to play. And I don't get butt hurt. You don't like Warframe. <laughs> ah, PSN Free Weekend. Okay, that explains it. So, PSN Free, free, free Weekend. Okay, that explains it then. Because, yeah, something happened in the last couple of days to bring the player base up. But before that, they were below um, 50,000. So, yeah, that explains it. Okay. No, I don't. You notice... Here's one example. Muggsy played a lot of Warframe. Okay? Muggsy played a lot of Warframe. Eventually, she stopped playing it. You notice something. I don't care. I like playing with Muggsykins. I think it's a lot of fun playing with Muggsykins. Dude, I clearly hurt your Fifi's if you're going to keep attacking me like this. I don't sound like I'm going to cry. All right? I genuinely don't give a shit what you think about Warframe. I didn't ask you to play Warframe with me. I don't care. You want to know the example? Like I said, Muggsy played Warframe for weeks, then stopped playing. You don't see me crying that Muggsy doesn't like Warframe anymore. So, dude, what's your problem? I looked at Steam charts. And as of May 9th, April 9th, something happened to double the player base. Before May 9th, they were not breaking 50,000. No, before April 9th, they were not breaking 50,000. 
you know what? Lo inta masu ma 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 batoltish hatrodak, and I am I have no patience to deal with you right now. So yeah, I can see steam charts, Destiny Two. Yeah, I know. And then after April 9th, you could see a jump in the player base. So that has me curious. It's probably the inter into, into the light thing. That would make it, that would explain it. Because that's impressive. I'm surprised, but I'm impressed. Good on them. Finally. Maybe they actually did something to at least get people back in. But no. Again. Okay. You pointed out. You said. Okay. But up until then, yeah, Warframe did have a higher player base. Okay. But why should, again, why should I care? All right. Now, you said that I am nitpicking at little details. All right. Again, seasonal challenges. One of the primary things. Good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Habibi. You said I am nitpicking on little details. All right. The seasonal challenges is what rotates the season is one of the key things in the season. They haven't changed it. Haven't changed it at all. Okay? This one, I remember this one being in every season. Okay? Nothing has changed. And the rewards. No, I'm not saying it's good content. I'm saying, you want to know what I'm saying? They brought a bunch of gullible idiots who went, oh my god, new content. Let me go play it. And I bet you in a month it's going to be back down to 50,000. Dude, I get it. You don't like Warframe. Fine. Move on. Nobody cares. You don't like Warframe. Good on you. And I'm telling you, the only reason Destiny 2's doubled its player base is because a bunch of gullible idiots went, Oh, gee, new content, and it's already dropping again. So I bet you, in a couple weeks, it'll be back down to 40, 50,000. Because again, what did they add that's new? I mean, you guys act like your entire personality revolves around Destiny 2. Whereas I don't give a shit. You don't like Warframe? Good on you. Call it doo-doo? I don't care. You're probably thinking I'm going to go home and cry about it because you don't like Warframe. Habibi, did I ever ask you? Yes, it does. There's actually a lot of war. The reason I don't talk a lot about it is because I don't want to spoil it. Okay? No, I don't shut up about Viso because I happen to like the corpus. And Viso is corpus. But there is a lot of lore in Warframe. A lot of lore. All right? So, what? You're going to come here and start telling me how Warframe sucks. I told you, there are disadvantages. It, it doesn't have raids. It actually used to have them. But then what? You want me to tell you, well, Warframe, well, uh, Destiny 2 doesn't have this and that. Doesn't have mods. Doesn't have Warframe. Has, oh, wow, three classes. Warframe has 55. Dude. No, I'm not. Dude. Oh my god. What is your problem? Habibi, if I gave a shit what you think about Warframe, do you think I would have invited you by now to play? Do you think I would have asked you to play Warframe? Do you think I would have tried to... You told me a couple weeks ago you didn't play for war, play, care for Warframe. Have I told you to come play Warframe a single time? No. So if I care what you thought about Warframe, do you not think I would have tried to convince you to play? No. And you, what do you know about the Warframe lore? Dude, go away. You know what? You're now being a troll trying to anger me with your stupidity. And you know what? I genuinely don't care. You got a problem with Warframe? That's not my problem, all right? There are games I don't like that a lot of other people like, okay? I like Helldivers too. But I, do I think it's as great as everybody makes it out to be? No. Honestly, I found it kind of disappointing. Okay? You think I'm crying over the fact that I don't think Helldivers 2 is as great as everybody else's? No. It's subjective. No, I don't. I'm, I'm just like, dude. 
No, he hasn't gotten me pissed off. I don't give a shit what he thinks about Warframe. All right? Like I said, if I cared, I would have invited him. God damn. You people are sad. You're sad, dude. Is it because I hurt your fifis earlier, so now you feel the need to constantly attack me now? And Ajit, what the hell do you want? You keep... Again, you don't like the lore. Good. Go away. Fine! I don't care. You don't have to play them. That may come as a shock, but you don't have to play them. Big surprise. Because actually, I just tend to be like that. My family can tell you themselves. They find it very annoying. I tend to be pretty loud. I often yell even when I don't have to. Because that's just who I am. Okay? So, I tend to yell a lot. Not even when I'm angry. That's just how I am. I have a loud voice. And, I t and my family gets fed up with it. Alright? So, Zellner. And I didn't, I, I'm impressed by the numbers. Does that mean they brought good content? No, on the contrary. Every time Bungie brings out new content, people go flocking to it. All right? On the other hand, that, that's, that's not a really good peak for them anyway. So, you told me I'm nitpicking. All right? You told me I'm nitpicking. All right? As I said, seasonal challenges, one of the most important things in the season. Have they changed anything in it? This alone is enough to turn me off. Because you want to grind. Some of this stuff has to be grind over and over and over. Wow. I'm sorry I hurt your fifis, Habibi. Then maybe it's good you have a job. I'm proud of you. Good job, Habibi. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I know, found don'ts. I'm so sorry, he's so mean to you. That's so mean, behemoth. Don't cry, behemoth. What? Zellner, how am I wrong? If you haven't played it, how am I wrong? How am I wrong? This is the exact same thing as the last season. My criticism of the seasonal challenge has nothing to do with gameplay. Oh, I definitely hurt his fifis because he's not stopping. Oh, yeah. I definitely hurt his fifis. <laughs> this has nothing to do with gameplay. All right? Seasonal challenges are one of the key things you do every season, right? It's called the seasonal challenges. Every week, they give you new seasonal challenges, right? Have they changed anything? What is the goal of the seasonal challenges? I've said this before. Look at it. What are the rewards for the seasonal challenges? Bright dust and XP. And I asked you, and you have not told me otherwise. Okay, then good. Does your, do you even see her? Dude, I'm not in the mood. I clearly hurt your feelings. Are you playing all these video games to hide from your wife? You haven't told me I am wrong. I said, is the new content a horde mode where you then kill a boss, collect some kind of currency, then trade it in for chests? So that you can get the same guns over and over again with slightly different rolls or shaders. It's the exact same thing as every season. And you need to do it, like I said, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. You do the exact same horde modes over and over again to get slightly different rolls. Okay? To get slightly different rolls of the same guns over and over again. And not only are they the exact same guns over and over again, they are the same guns they sunset several seasons ago. So it's not like I... Okay? So... I'm not wrong. And, as I said, you want to impress me, first thing you rework is the seasonal challenges. 
you make them more interesting. You actually give worthwhile rewards. What are you grinding towards? One of the main things you are grinding towards Okay, I used to do the seasonal challenges every season until I realized you're not getting anything special. Look, the season, if you complete it, what are you getting? You're not getting a, a, a god roll gun. You're not getting an armor set. You're not getting a special armor. You want to know what you should have done for the seasonal reward? You get all the seasonal challenges. You want to know what you should have done? You want to know what they should have done? Given you a special set of armor to show that you completed the seasonal challenges. Imagine if they had done that instead. Just pause and think about it. If, if you finished a wish fulfilled, instead of giving you a large bright dust pile, you got a special set of armor that shows you completed the seasonal challenge. Tell me, how much better would that have been? Eh? Come on. Come on. How hard? I, I'm not even a video game developer. Okay? I'm not even a video game developer. Tell me. How much more would you have liked to grind for that? Instead of a large bright dust pile. How about every time you complete these, if you do all of them for the week, what? They give you a, a god roll gun. A shader. Something. Every time you complete a week. No. Because the seasonal challenges are free. This is free. If you own the season, this is part of it. It's not pay to win. And it's after final shape drops. Yeah, because they're bringing episodes. I know. No. No, but it, no. Fine. Yes. The battle pass. But how much better would it have been than bright dust? How much better would it have been than bright dust? Every one of the rewards is bright dust. So you can get the second rate stuff. Yes. And the ones that aren't bright dust are just XP. No, but you get a lot of other rewards in the season anyway. And it doesn't have to be a max level set of armor. It could just be, uh, you have to mer you have to fuse it. Like how when you got armor for, for, for holiday events. Okay? So what? You pay for the season. Why is it wrong not to get an armor set? Okay? You get here, what? A nightfall weapon. You're doing the nightfall anyway. How is that special? Why don't you have a special reward for every week to give people an incentive? Instead, look at it. You don't even get, in fact, people. I used to do raids with Lord Tachi Me, and I got bored after a while of doing the same raid every week. Okay? I got bored of hearing somebody say they tried 30 times for the exotic gun. Why the hell am I want to going to do the same raid 30 times for an exotic gun? I don't care. Only for the, that exotic gun next season to be replaced by a better exotic gun. So no, the, what turned me off of raids was hearing people talk about how they've done it 15, 16. One guy was like, I did it 30 times for some exotic gun. Okay? So no, I used to do raids. I got tired and bored of doing the same raid over and over again, hoping to get an exotic weapon. Tell me, would not it be more encouraging to do this if you got better? Am I wrong about this? That the seasonal rewards are boring. The seasonal challenges have boring rewards. You do the dungeon. Why? So that every time you do the dungeon, you get a different roll on an exotic gun. 
Oh boy. You do the challenge. I think one of the big differences is this has been around longer. It's three times a year. Destiny 1 was around for a lot less. And you did get unique rewards for doing things. No, I didn't. I did not do it a million times for Gallahorn, actually. I did not. I got Iron Gallahorn, and then there's a mission you did, and you got Gallahorn after the mission. So, no, I didn't do that for Gallahorn. And honestly, I didn't do it a million times to get the raid weapons I got. And, um, 30 times? So no, I didn't do the raids nearly as many times in Destiny 1 because I didn't have a lot of people to do them with. But I got bored with Destiny 2's raids. I didn't realize that this, if, if, if it was the same grind in Destiny 1 for the raid weapons, then yeah, I would have agreed. Yeah. And I never got that opportunity. On the other hand, there are weapons that I got from a single attempt. For example, the, uh, what's a, no time to explain? You do a uh, Vault of Glass once and you get it. I got the Outbreak Prime from doing Wrath of the Machine twice. So no, may that, I did not have a lot of experience doing raids in Destiny, which maybe I'm lucky that I didn't do the same ride, raid 30, 40 times, okay? So in that case, you're right. Yes, they're both looter shooters at their core. I agree. I agree. Maybe it's because Destiny 1 had a shorter shelf life. So you didn't end up with as many duplicates and repeats. On top of that, again, you have not answered my question, okay? Seasonal challenges. You're telling me I'm nitpicking. And I'm telling you, the seasonal challenges are the heart of the season, right? Why is the reward so garbage? You're going on about Destiny 1 and raids. You asked me about raids. I'm telling you right now. Imagine if every week you got a better reward than this. You do all six, and on the sixth one, because that's how it used to be. You used to have one last one every week that if you did all of them for the week, you got a reward for it. I'm pretty sure. I remember because if you did all of them. Now, you're, tell, t am I wrong? Tell me, am I wrong? about the seasonal challenges, because this is the heart of the season. Separate it from the season, from the, from the, the leveling up. Forget about the leveling up. You could do, you could level up for, ev for that with everything. All right. I'm telling you, why can't you have an additional challenge where if you complete all the challenges, you get a specific reward. Eh? And I am comparing it to other looter shooters. The division, the division two are looter shooters. No, this is what you're grinding towards. This is the heart of the season. No, it isn't. This is, this is the seasonal challenges. Actually, I haven't finished it yet because I was so busy playing Destiny 2. Why? See, you just proved my point. You said the seasonal challenges are dog shit. Yes, they brought... Yes, I remember that. But one of the things you have to keep in mind is I started playing Destiny 1 a year before Destiny 2 dropped. So no, you're right. In this case, you're right. I never had the experience of doing the same raid 30, 40 times. I started Destiny 2, Destiny about a month before Rise of Iron launched. So I had a different experience of Destiny 1. I didn't... Do No, no, because no, 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 no. The seasonal challenges are the heart of the season. Okay, think about it. You have one for every, these are your goals for the week. Every week you have goals that you're supposed to be working here towards, okay? And yes, I remember, but they also brought them back with, uh, you're talking about the adept weapons. Yes, I know the adept weapons. I have a couple of them. The adept weapons actually were something to grind for, though, because they gave you elemental damage, which they didn't have before. So, yes, they did at the very least. All right. You're talking to me about reskins. I agree. They were reskins, but they made one key difference. 
okay? They made one key difference. They gave them elemental burn. Okay? At the very least, I agree with you. They brought back the old weapons as reskins for this, the raids when they redid the raids in, in, in Age of Triumph. But, okay, and I don't agree because the seasonal challenges, you give one every week. These are what you're grinding towards every week. All right, this is a very important, if it's not the heart, no, it is because every week you are given challenges to do. Why would they put them otherwise? It is a very important part of it. Okay? It's, it's, it's important. Yes. Maybe they don't promote it. But it's every week you have new challenges. Make them have better rewards. The reason you don't care about them is because the rewards suck. That's their problem. Imagine if the rewards were better. Imagine that. You would actually want to do them. You guys proved my point. You don't care about the seasonal challenges because they're dog shit. And I'm telling you, how much better would it be if they gave you better rewards? Okay? How much better? Because I'm pretty sure they did give you better rewards a couple years back. You would actually care about them. You're proving my point. You don't care about the seasonal challenges because they suck. Now imagine if every week you actually got a legit reward for doing the seasonal challenges and at the end of the seasonal you got a set of armor proving you did it. You'd be talking more about the seasonal challenges then. You wouldn't be calling it dog shit. You're calling it dog shit because it's dog shit and they didn't put any intention into it. And I'm telling you, you just proved my point. Okay? People would care more if you gave it better rewards. All right? That's one strike against the game, because now nobody cares. Oh, yeah, you don't have to do the seasonal challenges to level up the battle pass. They are important. It is important. It's literally called the seasonal challenges, and they give you one every week. It's a smaller battle pass. It is a very important, if it's not the heart of the season, it's a very important part of the season. It's literally called the seasonal challenge. So it, it is legit a part of the season and an important part of the season because it's literally the seasonal challenges. They want you to do them, but because they don't give you decent rewards. Again, how much better would that be? How much better? Instead of giving you reskinned guns, how about give you new weapons? Why did they sunset stuff? How about the ability like in Destiny 1, all right? How about the ability in Destiny 1? No, it's not. Yes, and I'm telling you again, you are proving my point by telling me you don't care. So that's a part of the game. If they put a little more attention into it, it would make the game better. I'm telling you, they are lazy and they're not putting attention into the game. They're not trying to make it better. You want to make it better, all right? I'm telling you how you can make it better. Improve the seasonal challenges. Okay? You're, the fact that you don't care about them tells me that, 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 that imagine if they were good. You would actually enjoy it more, would you not? And I've seen the seasonal pass. I have it. There's nothing special about that either. Every now and then, you get something every like 10 levels. That's about it. Again, you're getting the exact same stuff you grind in the game. And activity. You said activity. The, uh, the challenges are activity. My God. I, I mean, seriously, dude. It's something you are striving towards in the game. You are grinding towards completing the seasonal challenges. It's something to work towards. So no, it, it, it's, it's part of the activity. It's something to grind towards. It's something to work for. And again, it proves my point. 
They gave it half-hearted attention. All right? No, he's not right. No, it's not a small part of the season. No. Dude, I know the rewards in this, all right? I know what they are. It's not special. The gameplay is not special. I know what all of this stuff is. So no, you're not making a valid point. I am telling you the game is half-assed. I'm telling you that they are lazy. Why not make the seasonal challenges better? You are coping. You are telling yourself, I don't buy it for the seasonal challenges. I don't care about the seasonal challenges. You pay for the season, Habibi. It's part of what you pay for. And the gameplay isn't special. There is nothing special about Destiny 2's gameplay. There's nothing special. There's nothing special. And you, you, you played all those games. There's nothing special about it. There's so many, and not just first-person shooters to play. Over it. There's nothing special. People play it, you want to know why? For FOMO. Their fear of missing out. They're addicted. I'm drawn back to the game. And I think the gameplay is mediocre. So no, they, they, people come back to it because one, they're hoping it will get better, which is one of the reasons why I keep coming back. One of the reasons, unlike you, I actually have Final Shape pre-ordered. Why? I'm hoping it'll get better. Do I think it will? No, but deep down, I still, no, I, I think, I, I agree with Foundains. The, the, the gameplay in D1 was so much better. I still hope it'll get better. People play Destiny 2 for that. Because it still gives you... No! You're not getting it! I'm not contradicting my argument! No! Because at this point, the market is saturated. Okay? You can have fun with Destiny 2, but don't tell me Destiny 2 has something that no other game has. And the problem is you expect... Have, have you played other games that have uh, gameplay with flow of abilities? Have you? There's nothing special about Destiny 2. Is the gameplay good? Yes, I won't deny it. The gunplay is good. Is it one of the best ever made? No. It's good gunplay. I won't deny it. That's one of the reasons why I used to love playing it so much. Gunplay is good. Movement is good. Abilities are good. Won't deny it. But it's nothing special. The market is so saturated with video games, there's nothing special about it at this point. So no, unless the only thing was, the reason was, I didn't realize there was such a big market of games. As for no, I'm not contradicting myself. I'm saying you should improve it. You are the ones who are proving my point because you don't care about the seasonal challenges and you're dismissing what is literally called the seasonal challenges. And why? Every week do you give, they give you a set of challenges. It's something to work towards. You are in such a denial that you can't even see that. Who cares if it's locked at 30 FPS? Yes. I'm telling you, it, it is literally called the seasonal challenges. Imagine every week your boss gives you a list of things to do and then it contributes towards your overall score. It has nothing to do with the, the gameplay. Yeah. No. Nostalgia is a drug, and that's why people keep playing Destiny 2. Now, me, I still like to challenge myself with Destiny 1. Solo challenge of the elders. I, I don't know. It's not a tiny aspect of the game. It's not a tiny aspect. It is literally every week they give you something to grind towards. This is not a tiny aspect of the game. You have a weekly list of challenges. This is a big part of the game. It's actually one of the things you're working towards. The fact that you can't even see that. It's literally called seasonal challenges. It is literally called the seasonal challenges. The challenges you should be completing for the season. Okay? It is literally the seasonal challenges. No, if a game is good, the FP
PS doesn't matter. Don't tell me you don't play any older games from the PS4 era. And then tell me, what, you're gonna tell me Gears of War sucks. Because what, didn't have 60 FPS? You're gonna tell me, yeah. So don't tell me no. It's, it, if there, it's a good enough game, it, it, depends, it depends on the game. FPS shouldn't be a primary factor. Is 60 better? In a new game, yes, I expect 60 FPS in a new game. But you're saying, dude, there are good games with 30 FPS. The fact that you won't play a game with 30 FPS just tells me that about you. You're going to next time you want, you don't play Super Mario Brothers? Wow. All of a sudden, 30 FPS isn't good? You can have a sucky game at 60 FPS. Making it 60 FPS doesn't make it automatically good. Just as adding a gay character to a story doesn't make a shitty story any better. A shitty gameplay at 60 FPS is still shitty gameplay. Good gameplay at 30 FPS is still good gameplay. You still have good games at 30 FPS. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you you can't play any 30 FPS games anymore then. Everything before. Yes. It's casual now. It's, 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 like I said, you're literally proving my point. I said it is to, it is designed for casuals. It is designed for casual. But it doesn't mean that Destiny 1 sucks because it doesn't have 60 FPS. You're saying Destiny 1 sucks because it doesn't have 60 FPS. Oh my god, automatically Destiny 2 is better because it has 60 FPS. No! No! You're saying that Destiny 2 is better than Destiny 1 because it has 60 FPS is stupid. It has a different... Okay, fine. Don't play any FPS games with 30 FPS. Because I bet you there's a lot of good 30 first person shooters that didn't even have 30 FPS that you probably played and you liked. All right? So, no. Again, you can have. Yeah, so did I. So, telling me that a game automatically sucks because it has 30 FPS is stupid. That's your problem then. You can't play a game at 30 FPS? Not my problem. Doesn't mean there aren't good games at 30, at 30 FPS. It just means you, I've played games at 60 FPS. I've played games at 30 FPS. I don't have a problem. Maybe you suck. And I took majority of Destiny 2 is designed for casuals. Okay? Majority of Destiny 2 is for casuals, with a few things designed to be hard. But the majority of the grind is for casuals. No, actually, you'd be surprised. No, uh, again, you'd be surprised. Because every single time I go into the tower in Destiny 1, there are new people. It is very much a casual game. No, you said that Destiny 1 isn't as good because it's at 30 FPS. Okay? And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you, you basically said Destiny 1 isn't as good because it's at 30 FPS. Okay? And some games were designed with 30 FPS in mind. All right? Let's get over the FPS. And don't tell me that there are no people playing Destiny 1. Because unlike you, I still play it and I see new people every time I go in the tower. There are new people. I'm back. There are new people every time I go in the tower. So again, have you played Destiny 1? Have you? Yes. Recently. Because I can tell you there are new people every time I go in the tower. Every single time. No, because nostalgia doesn't account for the new people. Nostalgia is for the people with 3,000 and 4,000 grimoire score. Okay? You said it was nostalgia. And I'm telling you, there are new people 
in Destiny. It's not nostalgia. There's new people going back to play Destiny. Okay. So no, I agree with you. There are a lot of people playing D1 for nostalgia. There are people playing because they enjoy it. Yes, and that's one of the constant things I hear from people. Destiny 2 is fun because of the people you play with. And that isn't a good enough reason for me. Telling me that a game is gun fun because you have friends who enjoy and you enjoy playing it with your friends. Yeah. I'm sure if you all sit around toilets and sh have take shits together and have fun laughing about it, ton of fun. And I agree, there are some challenging things, but the majority of Destiny 2 is a grind, and it's very casual and easy. Th he's literally proving my point. He's a casual player. You can't check because it's not on steam destiny one is only on console so you can't check that's the difference destiny one isn't on steam i can also tell you You haven't even proven my point. It is literally called Seasonal Challenge. Yes, it is a casual game. It is very much a casual game. It is primarily designed for casuals. It is primarily designed for casuals with a few little extra things for people who aren't casuals. Again, oh my God, Habibi, fuck you! What part did I not, did you not get? Okay, it is primarily designed for casuals with a few things for hardcore people, but it is primarily designed for casuals. Why the fuck do I want to do a goddamn grind master at this point? You can't even get me to do the easy crap. Why the hell am I going to do a grand master so I could get the goddamn same guns all over again? Why do I care? I told you, I don't care. You people are so goddamn annoying! This game absolutely sucks! Again, oh my god! Did you not hear what I just said? And they are easy as shit! You grind easy, casual stuff over and over so you can get the same guns with the same shaders and then you can then go and like I said there are a few things designed for hardcore people but the majority of it because the majority of the game is designed for casuals you are really yeah, honestly I am genuinely tired of this whole argument you haven't proven to me anything every time have I got no why why Getting the new guns means absolutely nothing. Because you guys don't shut the fuck up about this goddamn game. You keep coming every week telling me to play Destiny 2. I go play Destiny 1. Why aren't you playing Destiny 2? This is why Destiny 2 is so great. This is why you're so wrong about Destiny 2. Every week you give me the same exact arguments. And they are all the same thing every week and I'm getting sick and tired of having this same goddamn argument with the same people your entire personality revolves around destiny 2 you have no life but destiny 2 and if I don't like it it must be hurting your goddamn feelings because I'm not playing your fucking game and then you come the next week why aren't you playing Destiny? Did I not tell you why last week? No. Then you come the following week. Why aren't you playing Destiny 2? Did I not tell you weeks ago why I'm not playing Destiny 2? It's like your entire personality revolves around this game. You can tell me Warframe is shit. I don't care. No, I have reasons to criticize it. I have every right to criticize it because they haven't done anything different. You can't even defend it. 
You tell me the seasonal challenges are no big deal. Why? Because they suck. If they actually mattered, it would make the game better. You haven't proven any point. I'm... Oh my God, dude. Get over it. Get over it, dude. You really are crying about that in that. Wow, dude. I really must have hurt your poor Fifi's. I hate to break you. I'm not sleeping with you. All right? Get over it. Wow. My God. And no. All right? Dear God. And all you can tell me is you don't know anything about Destiny 2 because you don't got any of the new guns. And I am pointing out how they have done the exact same thing over and over again. There's nothing new. So how am I, how is it any different? Criticizing this season is exactly like criticizing last season. It's like criticizing the season before. I mean, seriously, dude, you can't get over that? Oh, poor baby. I told you, you don't have a life. Okay? Why? What is so special? Is it any different than overload? Is it any different than anything else? No, you can't even tell me I'm wrong. You can't even tell me I am wrong. What is Onslaught? I haven't even done it. I bet you, you know what I bet you it is? Because you haven't even said I'm wrong. I have repeatedly told you. I bet you the newest content is a horde mode with a boss. It's a horde mode with a boss. Fine. Am I wrong? Horde mode with a boss. Oh, wow. It's horde mode with a boss. How do... You don't know what overload is, Mr. Destiny. Defend the advanced unit. Okay. Wow. So, wow, big surprise, horde mode with a boss. Oh my God. Big whoop, exactly the same thing. So, was I wrong? Because I don't, because you know what something? Here's something that may come as a surprise. People telling me to do something, I never do it. Yeah, I'm just sitting in orbit, I don't care. I'm, I'm, Genuinely tired. All right, and this is what I am genuinely tired. Okay? And that's the only criticism you have. Your power level is 1761. Okay? Power level 61. Am I wrong? Dude, you can't even tell me I'm wrong. You only attack is to attack. That's called an ad hominem attack, dude. There's a new level of grinding. Oh, gee, golly, gee. You're doing ad hominem attacks. You can't even prove me wrong. Uh, what can't be proven wrong? I'm get, I am getting, every week, these idiots come in here telling me I have to play Destiny 2 and how wrong I am about Destiny 2. How am I wrong? Hey, hey Zeron. Uh, okay. And I'm telling you, am I wrong? I'm not gonna lie, I had I had someone fucking text me something completely different. I was like worried you were gonna get your channel deleted. <laughs> no, no, because I'm, and look, between Lone Hawk, who can't drop the fact that I told him I, he doesn't have a life, so every couple minutes he's like going on about that, dude, get a life. Just, just get a life at this point. And the people who keep telling me, Sanderson here is like, Oh, you're 1761, you don't know anything about Destiny 2. Dude, it's the exact same thing every season. It's like you telling me I can't criticize the exact same thing over and over again. Why? It's not new! You, there's nothing, I... There's nothing new! Dude! Stop, Zeron, stop. Zellner, Zellner, you, Zellner. All you can say, Shadow, stop. Okay. It's not Destiny 1 nostalgia. It is me literally criticizing, comparing every season and telling you it's the exact same thing. And I'm telling you, not you, the other guy. 
Hold on, I need to pull. I, you are throwing, you are throwing ad hominem attacks at me. You're saying you don't have, I am telling you, this season, no I'm not. Because Shanderson, you're not the only one I'm talking to. Dude, it's not just you. I'm just not specifying names. So you're telling me I'm making things up. I'm not talking to you then. If it's not something you said, I'm not talking to you, dude. There's like three other people here. I didn't say your name. I never said your name. I barely say your name. Right now I did because you keep telling me I called you a liar. There's like three other people here talking about this game. All right? So if it's not something you said, it isn't you. I have barely calling. Not you. I didn't say that. She said Anderson. She said Anderson, not Shanderson. I did not say your name. Yeah, uh, Shanderson. She said someone different. Yes. I, I heard I heard Anderson. And I no, I said you said, you said. No, I didn't even say a name. I said you said I have 1761. I did not say a name. Okay, well, I. All right, whatever. Look. And Lone Hawk. Oh my God, dude. Move on. Grow up. Wow, dude! Yeah, I mean, dude, Lone Hawk, get over it! That's the person I was texted about. Lone Hawk? Dude is crying his eyes out because I told him a while back he needs to get a life. And now he keeps bringing it up. It's like, dude, get over it. My God, oh my if you're actually, are you, in the wrong way, you're going to get a light. As an older sibling, as someone who has younger siblings, do you know what the sibling is like? Like a bunch of <laughs> trolls who want, I'm just, I'm genuinely tired. They're, they're looking for attention. Yeah, they're a bunch of kids. Whether it's good attention or bad attention, no. they're looking for attention. Yeah, and I'm honestly getting tired of it. Because, to them, what are you giving them? Shadow, they're not now. Asking. Shadow. Yeah. Because they can't even argue with what I'm pointing out. When I say... Exactly. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Dude, you just said something about me going on about you not needing a life. Again. Okay? So, okay, if they're being annoying, it's like, it's... You can ignore them, and they'll go away because they're not getting any sort of feedback. They're not getting any sort of attention. They'll go bother someone else. Or, you've got mods. Shadow. Or, er, when you don't have mods, the reason I know. know is because they cannot even respond to what I am saying. Okay? When I say I am criticizing this season, oh my god, you don't have the newest guns, you don't have a high light level. This season is identical to the season before, to the season before, to the season before. So when I criticize this season, it's because I've seen the exact same thing over and over and over again. Okay? When I criticize Shadow, Seasonal challenges. Every week they drop seasonal challenges. I'm told they're dog shit. They don't matter. It's literally called seasonal challenges. Oh, I'm being nitpicky by pointing out something called seasonal challenges isn't important. All right? Yeah, I know. And you cannot actually respond to any of my criticisms. You don't. All you do is say you have a 1761 light level. You don't have the newest guns. What has changed? You can't even tell me what has changed. You tell me to play Onslaught. I just looked it up. It's exactly what I said it is. Another horde mode. Yeah. Dude, yeah, 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 not even standing. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, seriously. You're not even responding to any of my criticism. Not in a way that makes sense. Shadow, you're unbiased here. Every week, they have, se every season, right? They have a season, right? They have three seasons a year, right? Okay? Season yes, two. All of them involve content that you must pay for in order to feel the full no. experience. And yes. Paying yes. Full experience. No, no, no. But they what, what part of... The content. Okay. Yes, I'm familiar. So, my question is, all right? Every week, they give you five or six, seven challenges, right? They're telling me they don't mean anything. If you're playing a game, and you have every week... A bunch of seasonal challenges. Call me stupid, but that seems kind of important in the game. I And I'm telling you, my criticisms are the fact that everything is exactly the same. The criticisms I had for last season are the same from the season before. Because they haven't changed anything. So it doesn't matter 
what my light level is because this season is exactly the same as the season before. At least yeah, see, the, the difference is, all right, I would listen to your criticisms and point out that uh, actually you haven't played a lot of Warframe. Okay, again, Pat. Because they delayed. First off, don't tell me they don't overcharge. Yes, I can complain because Room War was free. All right? All of the content in Warframe is free. And you know what? Apparently, Lone Hawk thinks, oh, well, he can criticize it all he wants. It absolutely sucks. It's free. So basically, what you're saying is that I should tell Lone Hawk, well, Warframe is free, so you shouldn't criticize it. Warframe is free, Lone Hawk. You shouldn't think it's doo doo. Warframe okay. is free. Cat. 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 Why? No, no, Cat, you've established that when you make a point, there is no proper refutation because, of points, correct? Yes. Like, like okay. Onslaught. So they keep telling the me. No, 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 Cat, Cat. What is the point in continuing arguing? Because I'm, I, I look, uh, because I, 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 I mean, I'm giving them the chance. All right, tell me I'm wrong about Onslaught. You keep telling me to play okay, it. it, does, it Shadow, matter. Shadow, it, tell me, tell me, hey, Shadow, one sec. Tell me I'm wrong about Onslaught. Okay, I tell me. It. I don't Not you, I them. Because I have repeatedly asked them, am I wrong about Onslaught? Am I wrong? It's just another horde mode where you're going to play it 50 or 60 times. No, because the current state of the game is exactly like the state of last season. Okay? It's exactly the same. Oh, uh, uh, is Onslaught a horde mode? And again, okay. Warframe is free. I still okay, criticize I'm gonna, it. I, I'm going to, as a neutral party, I'm going to step in and I'm going to break down the different points. Chat, from what I'm looking at, seems to be articulating that because, be, like, I, I, no, I can articulate. I'm saying that every season has been the same. So if I criticize this season, it's because I'm seeing the exact same things as last season, as the season before. So it doesn't matter if I've played it or not. I see right okay. in front of me, without even playing it, like the seasonal challenges, exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's free. You haven't been a never there's never been a tower defense with based horde mode. Okay, it's a horde mode. And yes, how many times have you had to defend a point in a horde mode? Consistently, cat. Again. Yes. This, you've said you've said this you've said this at least three so times. So basically you proved my point. It's a horde mode. You cat, couldn't even you said, cat. You've said this at least three times since I've been here. They've been making the same point at least yes. three times since I've been here. Yes. Uh, is this high? Is this gonna, uh, Battle defense. A off. horde mode. Is this high? Is this gonna go my volume? Okay. Cat. You're not going to change their mind. Cat. Shadow, enough. Cat. Shadow, shadow, enough. Enough. Because I've seen the exact same thing over and over again. Right. And you've expressed and, that. And, and they started. keep and telling me, how point. can you criticize something I haven't seen? Because I have seen it. I have okay. seen it. I have seen it. Because it's the exact same thing. You can't tell me it's any different. It's another horde mode. Even the battle defense. Yes. Okay, look, I've got, I've got some... No, you. because the difference is telling me, okay, all right, I play mission one in Elden Ring. And then I tell you, yeah, I'm not interested in mission two of Elden Ring because it looks like the same as mission one. That's what I'm saying. Okay? So I'm telling you. I've got, I've got so to be. I've, I've got somewhere to be. I jumped in to give my two cents on what's going on. Um, Kat, have a good rest of your night. My Saturday, next Saturday, I will, I, I don't have work next Saturday, so I'll be hopping in. Um, uh, you, you have hell divers, right? Because it's, you haven't even given me a reason to want to play it. All you're doing is attacking my light level, my weapons. And when I tell you it's a horde mode, you admitted it finally. It's another horde mode with the exact same enemies. You literally proved my point. You don't even need to play it. Hey, Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I'm gonna head out. I got somewhere to be. Uh, Cat, I'm I'm free next Saturday. You've got Hell Divers too, right? And what is? I'm not playing Hell Divers too. Okay, I 
I remembered you saying you bought it. I, I don't, because you haven't proven your point to me. It is literally a horde mode. What, it's a, it's a horde like mode. Me or them? They haven't proven anything to me. Okay, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm heading out. I'm no, I haven't. Asking. And I am just tired. Right, I'm go I've got somewhere to be. I'm going to go. Uh, Night Cat, Night Zeron. No, I don't like Helldivers too because you have to play it with other people. Right. I, I also I don't like the combat. I don't like, not you, them. I don't yeah, like the combat in Helldivers 2. I don't I like that system where you have to throw and create that. I don't like it. It isn't because it isn't Warframe. Yes, I like Warframe more than Helldivers 2. But I don't like the combat in Helldivers 2. I don't like the fact that you have to run all over the place finding mission objectives. I don't like the fact that you have to play with other people. And I don't like the, the what is it, the system? I can't even remember what it's called. To get other weapons. I don't like it. So what's wrong with that? I don't like it. No. And yes, there's been a million bajillion horde modes in Destiny 2. What are you talking about? My god. 90% of it is horde mode. Clearly, you guys then aren't the ones who are playing it. I mean, I, I, I am genuinely tired. I am so tired. Because I, I, you can't even prove my points wrong. Seasonal challenges obviously are an important part of the season. No, they're dog shit. You're wrong. Nobody buys it for season. Seasonal challenges are an important part of the game. Yeah, because it's hard to play while I'm arguing with you morons. Okay? No! It's not... Oh, come on. You... Really? Let's start with... This is a horde mode. Don't tell me that's not a horde mode. All right? How many times have you had the same exact thing? You kill a bunch of enemies, you collect something, the boss is immune. I mean, dude. Dude, get over Warframe. Oh, I can't even do it anyway. I gotta do a bunch of other stuff. Well, then I'm impressed. P not Pit of Heresy. Not Pit of Heresy. This. Not the Pit of Heresy. I know what the Pit of Heresy is. I did the Pit of Heresy. I'm talking about this when you're fighting against the, with the, oh god. can't even remember what it's called. So it's, it's basically. Again, you're, it's literally the exact same thing. And you keep making it sound like Destiny's. Um, play, gameplay is so great. It's not. It's not great. I mean, I am genuinely tired of you guys. And that's because they're lazy. No, it, but it's still a horde mode public event. You are defending against bosses. It is a horde mode. Yes, it is. 
I don't give a shit about the goddamn cars. Because they're lazy. Because they don't care. Because the seasonal challenges used to have better rewards. What are you talking about? They actually had better rewards. They even dropped in that amount of bright dust because they're true. And you know what, Habibi? Warframe, it doesn't suck because it's free. I am genuinely tired. If this turns out to be the exact same crap that every other season is, you're not even arguing with me, I'm pointing out my points. You're accepting that seasonal challenges are garbage because you can't think of anything else. Instead of going... Home and stop calling me bro! Why are you calling? I mean, I can understand people who can't see me. Why are you calling me bro? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I'm just confused. Why are you calling me bro? Dude, why are you calling me bro? Oh, wow. So basically, yes, it's exactly what I said. Get a whole bunch of chests from going up in rank for this shit. You keep calling me bro. Alright? You keep... I'm annoyed at you guys! You can't make this game sound like it's the greatest thing ever made, and it's not! You make it sound like it's... Have you... I mean, seriously... No, but I'm just saying... Uh, dude, why are you calling me bro? I mean, I understand. I don't have a problem. Go right ahead. It's just I'm confused. Why are you calling me bro? I don't have a problem. I don't care. I'm just confused. I mean, I'm just genuinely confused. Why are you calling me? I don't care. I'm just a little confused. Why? <laughs> I mean, fine. I haven't finished that stupid thing because I didn't want to listen to him. I can't do it. So I guess you were wrong. I gotta raise my light level to 1810 anyway, so what's the point? No, it's not. Destiny 2 is definitely not. Th I wouldn't even put Destiny in one of the greatest... I don't care. I'm just a little confused why you're calling me bro. I've been called bro. I don't care. I'm just a little confused by it since you literally are looking at me. Why are you calling me bro? Go ahead and call me bro behind my back. Call me bitch behind my back. I don't care. People have called me far worse behind my back. Okay? I don't care. I had my doctor. Oh, no you didn't. Now you're telling me that. You didn't tell me. Oh my God. Now you're telling me that. Oh wow, so I should have known that magically. Okay. Dude, why do I want to play this then if you're going to be a bunch of jackasses? All right, I didn't know that. So you're going to make fun of me for not something, not knowing something. Dude, why do I want to play then with you guys around? If you're going to be a bunch of jerks about it, why am I going to? Dude, you didn't notice the armor next to the Origin 810. Oh, you're so stupid. Dude, why then do I want to play it? No, you didn't. And five hours ago, okay, fine. Five hours ago, five hours ago. That's a while ago. I didn't read what he said, okay? I didn't read it. You can tell for yourself, I obviously didn't read it. Why? Because I immediately closed it. So no, I didn't notice. You could have been nice about it and said, hey, no, you're being a bunch of jerks about it. How many people actually read that stuff, all right? 
and you're being a bunch of jerks. You could have said, hey, you could have checked and the chest behind him. No, you're being a bunch of jerks about it. Why again do I want to play this with you guys if you're going to be a bunch of jerks? I mean, seriously, fine, I'm trying it. You don't have to be jerks to me about it. Who reads it? Legit, who reads it? Who reads, sits there and reads it? I could have just left and signed off. Fine, I'm giving you a chance and trying it. But at the same time, again, you don't have to be a bunch of jerks. No! No, because you were being jerks to me. You're going on about, why didn't you take the chest next to him and laughing and making it into a joke? Okay? So no, don't be jerks about it then. Nobody reads that shit anymore. Does anybody actually read that? No. Does anybody actually read the paragraphs of data? No. Oh, joy, what a... No, they are just here to get a rise out of me. And at this point, I'm genuinely tired of it. You know, at the very least, Lone Rock and the figure and the Inta had to be wrong with Kwai Ismaia. Okay? And the figure Inta, Allah El had to be able to talk Arab. انت اللي متضايقني اكتر من كل التانيين انك كنت فاكر ان انت هتبقى كويس معايا بس لا انت حمار الطريقه اللي انت بتعاملني فيها انا غلطت مره وقلت حاجه ما ما عجبتكش وانت فاكر نفسك ان تقعد تشتم فيا وتضحك عليا وبعدين وتقعد تلعب وبعدين تقول لي ايه فلا انت اللي مزعلني اكتر من كل التانيين ان اخيرا حد بيتكلم عربي كنت فاكرة هيبقى كويس معايا بالف... وواحد مسلم كمان واحد مسلم بيكلم عربي بيعملني بالطريقة دي فلا انت اللي بتزعلني اكتر واحد اوكي يا حمار ولما بطلتش هتردك اوكي ان انت ولا حتى بترد على انا بقولها بتقعد تشتم فيا وتضحك عليا عشان انا غلطت مرة وقلت انت ما عندكش حياة وبالحقيقه ما كنتش حتى قصدي ان اشتم فيك فانت اللي عامل لي زي الطفل وعملت زعق فيا فقلت حاجه واحده غلط فيك قلت حاجه واحده و و و ايه اي ابولوجايز وانت كل خمس دقائق في الاخير انا زهقت منك تقعد تشتم فيا وبعدين وبعدين تقول لي اه انت تعيطتي عشان انا مش عارف جاني وورفن اتفلي انا ما يهمنيش انت ما بتحبش وورفن طيب انت سالتك
No, my microphone just broke. My microphone won't unmute. No, I know you're not trolling because the microphone isn't working. So I had to switch out microphones. Now it should probably start working again. No, the microphone legit stopped working because I hit it with my chin. All right, there. Now it should be working perfectly fine as before. So no, I don't think you're trolling about the microphone, okay? So no. زي ما قلت إذا زعلني إن أنت على الأقل في حد مسلم زيي وحد بيكلم عربي وأنت يعني أفهم لو قلت حاجة يعني وحش يعني شتمت فيك بالحقيقة بس أنا مش قلت حاجة يعني واحد ممكن يأخذها كنقطة it was meant as a joke كنقطة يعني نقطة وأنت ما وقفتش فيه وبعدين تبتدي تشتم فيا أنا والحقيقة ما ما تفرش معي بتحب وورفين ولا لا وفاكرني حراها عيط عشان واحد ما عرفوش من م م يعني I barely know ما بيلعبش وورفين مجزي صاحبتي فوق كلكم مجزي كينز above everyone else مجزي كينز ما بتلعبش وورفين شايفني بعيط ان هي ما بتلعبش وورفين لا اوكي ف يعني إيه اللي هياخدها منك إن I'm not even talking about destiny alright والسبب إن أنا حاسة إن أنا عايزة أعيط مش منكم أنتم من شكل ال ال destiny too إن كل مرة بلعب destiny too أنا عايزة أعيط ليه؟ عشان أنا كنت حقيقا بحب اللعبة دي أوي بطريقة ما قبل كده ما شفتش كنت بلعب بس داستري تو دالي عايزة اعيط مش منكم انتم ما يجينيش اي حاجة منكم انتم انتم بتفكروا ما تفرش معايا انا كنت مسلم في امريكا بعد 9-11 وكان الناس بيشتموا فيا اوكي فاي حاجة انتو تقولهولي ما يجيش جنب اللي كانوا بيعملوا فيا اوكي يعني ولا حاجة من اللي انتوا بتقولوها تقولهولي ما يجيش you wanna know what I said about Destiny 2? fine I'll tell you what I said about Destiny 2 playing Destiny 2 brings me close to tears because I legit loved the game and to see it in this state makes me want to cry fine you heard it there are times when I play Destiny 2 and I'm fighting tears because I genuinely loved the game Okay, I'm not arguing against you. I'm talking to to Hawk. I'm not talking about any of you. I'm talking to Hawk. Okay? I'm not saying anything against you. I'm talking to him. How many of you, how many of you legit, okay, have every single Destiny soundtrack on their iTunes? Okay? How many of you? How many of you? All right. Destiny. How many of you? Huh? How many of you have them? Tell me. All right. How many of you have the Destiny soundtracks on your phone? Every single one of them. Okay. How many of you have every, the only collector's edition I don't have is Lightfall. How many of you have the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition? The Shadow Keep, the Forsaken, the Beyond Light. How many of you? Nothing, Lone didn't do anything. Okay? All right? How many of you are wearing a Destiny 2 hat? How many of you have Destiny 2 socks? All right? I have, no, I'm not talking one, I'm talking every single one okay every single one how many of you to have destiny socks
then I'm impressed. Most people don't. Destiny 2 socks. So don't tell me, okay? I don't care about the game. And yeah, fine. You wanted to know what I said when I said Destiny 2? No, I haven't played it in a while because nothing has changed. Okay? You're telling me Onslaught is so great. Why? So that even if I play it once and like it, you're going to expect me, you're expected to do it 20, 30, 40 times. Even at my most grindy with Warframe, I'm not doing the same thing 20, 30 times. 40, 50 times. Okay? For what? And again, you're wrong about the seasonal challenges. If they actually legit cared, they would make good rewards for the seasonal challenges. Not only do I have socks, I have the shirts. I have journals. I have every ghost. Every one of these vinyl ghosts. I have like seven of the, I have like seven of the big ones. I have the goddamn stationary set. Because I used to I haven't bought anything in the last year. Okay? But I used to love the game. So don't tell me that it's because it's because nothing has changed. It's the same boring tedium. Okay? So even if So you وليه أنا مش بصلي إن أنا ما بصليش دلوقتي؟ أوكي؟ ما تقولهمش حاجة على ليه أنا ما بصليش؟ عشان ما تقعدش تقول لي ليه ما صليتيش العصر ولا الظهر ولا كده؟ لا. Oh, because I need the weapons. I gotta go back. I didn't think of that. You need to be 1810. Yes, I did. And I'm returning it. Because it's so cheap. And so bad that it's not worth it. But yes, I bought it. I have, I mean, Habibi, I, I have pre ordered Final Shape. Because we need, why aren't they, you want to know why? Because even, you can even tell they don't care. You can tell when you play a game, someone legit cares versus somebody coming in. That's the difference between me. A while back, I applied for a position at my job, okay? Now, at the first time, now I have that position, but the first time I applied, right, I didn't get it. And I remember someone telling me the reason they should have given it to me is because I have legit passion for the position. Whereas the person who got it would have put the minimum in. Whereas me, I have a legit passion for what I do. Any, uh, I have to say this in Arabic because I can't post it publicly. Any lone hawk. And if you work on the job, you work from 7 to 3. If you work on the job, you work on the job. I sign out. I work from 3 to 5 and you don't get money. And the job is important to me in this way. You can tell someone who legit has passion and cares for what they're putting. Which is why, for example, Pal World. You can tell that people genuinely care about Pal World, right? You can tell. I cannot deny it. I'm not a big fan of Helldivers. I think it's a cool game. It's not because it's not Warframe. Because you would then say, oh, well, why do you like um, Final Fantasy? Why? It's not Warframe. I like it. It's very different combat than... than um, than uh, Warframe, but I like it. Okay? So... Live in here. Yeah. I'm happy for my rocket launcher. And that's the thing. 
you can tell they don't care. And that's sad. You can tell they don't care anymore. And I mean, they even admitted it themselves. They admit it. They're going to give you the minimum because they don't want to raise your expectations. Okay? They even admitted they don't care themselves. So why should we care? That's one of the problems. All right? As I said, you want me to actually show any confidence in the game, show me that they care. The fact that you can look at the seasonal challenges, the fact that every one of you doesn't care about the seasonal challenges, you should care. You absolutely should care about the seasonal challenges. They should make them better. They make them every week. Give you a good reward for it. Why not? That's one simple, very simple thing they could make it better. One very simple thing. And I tell you, you do that and more people would be invested. Give it better rewards. Why not? Why not? It's not even like it will take a lot of programming to do, to give the rewards for the seasonal challenges. Okay. Oh, come on. Now you I mean, I, I get it. It's, it's just Destiny. And like I said, I'm not going to say that Destiny doesn't have good gameplay. I'm only saying it's nothing special. Okay? I'm not saying they don't have. it doesn't have good gameplay. I've never said it doesn't have good gameplay. All I'm saying is it's nothing special. It's good gameplay. One of the reasons I used to play it so much was I enjoy the combat. One of the reasons it breaks my heart so much to see the state of the game, okay, is because they do have good gameplay. Again, to say it's the greatest ever, no game is perfect and no game has the best gameplay. But I'm, I, I have never said it has garbage gameplay. I've said I think the, uh, the aim assist is a bit over the top. Why can't you bring something new to the season? Why can't you do something creative? Why are we fighting Fallen again? <laughs> I mean, legit. Why are we, wh wh why? What, 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 what is so special about this? I'm not seeing it. It's what? Control with enemies? PvP control? No, it won't, but it will make it better. Okay? It will make it legit better and will make people want to play. You want people to want to play. Okay? You want to play. If you give better seasonal challenges, it will give people reason to want to come back. But you're not giving people reasons to come back. That would have been... I mean, as I said, the fact that you can't even do something that simple tells me.
Yes. I'm just saying, okay? This is something they should have shot, thought of ages ago. All right? Why not? It's something that even me, someone who isn't a video game developer, can see. So, again, you're not getting... You're showing me people who don't care. And they even admitted it. That's the sad thing. They admitted they will give you the minimum. They're realizing that they are at a desperation. They have to get Destiny 2 to work. Why is this immune? Aren't you supposed to be teaching? I am so confused. I get it, the seasonal model is good, but why didn't they change it ages ago? Why didn't they change it last year? Instead, they were so cheap and, and lazy about it that they did the same thing over and over. And that's what I'm saying. So you're telling me I can't complain because I haven't played anything new, right? I'm telling you, I'm seeing the exact same. I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, so. I don't know why it failed. So, I mean, and you can't say it's just me because I was, I'm the newest person there. So all the other people didn't know what they were doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay? I don't know what I'm doing. So I get it. It wasn't even the real thing. Don't make fun of me because I don't know what I'm doing. All right? At the very least, tell me what I'm doing wrong. They, they haven't done any changes. There isn't a change. This isn't anything new. There is no change. And I'm saying, why didn't they do it years ago? Make something new. Be, as I said, there is no passion in the game. No, but they haven't changed anything. You keep trying to... You keep telling... I'm criticizing the fact that nothing creative... They don't care. They even admitted it. They're only going to put the minimal effort into it. They admitted they're only going to put the minimal effort. So again, how is it our fault? Okay? I mean, the fact that I can look at the seasonal challenges, okay? And say, why not fix that up? Why not? It is too easy. I didn't fail because it was hard. I failed because I don't know what I'm doing. It's, I don't, you really think if I knew what I was supposed to do, I would have failed. No, you're telling me, yeah, it's easy. This is easy, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I knew what I was supposed to do, yeah, this is legit easy. Now you can tell me, oh, it's the beginning, but again, it isn't anything new. This isn't anything new. Again, it's another horde mode. Blind well? The, the altars? It's, it's just the same exact thing again! Okay? What is so special about this? Blind well? Because, dude! What part of, I don't know what you're supposed to do, do you not understand? Yeah, it's easy, but at the same time, I'm shooting at stuff and it's immune. Oh my god, you idiot! What part do you not understand of I don't know what it's supposed to be done? I need to look it up and figure out what are you doing in this? It has nothing to do with it being difficult. It's I'm literally shooting at stuff and it was not doing any damage because I don't know what you're doing! It has nothing to do with skill and I don't know what I'm doing!
okay? Maybe if you actually explained what's going on. So no. You 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 tell me. You tell me. Oh, you poor idiot. You don't you, you yeah. What? It hasn't told me. What? What? It's, you know what? Legit, it's boring. It's boring. Yes. But no, apparently I suck because I have no idea what to do. But apparently I can't make it to level 50. But legit, I, I, I'm finding it's boring. So don't tell me. Because I'm also arguing with you guys. And no. Yes, it's boring. I, oh my God, what part of, I don't know what to do. Do you not understand? My God. You idiots! No, they clearly are just trolling at this point. And honestly, why? I legit, all right? I came into this legit, all right? You are trolling me. Oh my God, she failed it. Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, apparently I suck because I don't know what you're supposed to do. Okay? You're just doing this to troll with me now. Instead of telling me, oh, well, you're supposed to do this. No. You're, you're trolling with me now. On top of that, I'm not the only one on the team doing this. Okay? Oh, wow. Uh, how many times have I died so far? No, it's boring. What has the game told me? It hasn't told me. Why are there cannons over there? What? Why? Game hasn't told me why. Why are there cannons? From what I can tell, you're supposed to defend this thing. That's all I know. No, it hasn't told me. On top of that, I'm arguing with you guys. I didn't die to an ad. I can tell you this, all right? One, fine. From my guessing, you're killing enemies. I've noticed they're dropping something. I guess is they're throwing them at this to build scrap. Oh wow, so I should magically still be able to guess what this is, right? Okay, from what I can tell, you are defending this thing. You're collecting scrap from something. I've noticed something is dropping and they've been throwing it at this. So my guess is it's like the moats from the, um, from Gambit, okay? No, you, you're blaming me. You're telling me I absolutely, uh, yeah. What are those? Enter the pyramid ship. Make sure you're still standing when the no. Oh, because I'm the only one. No, it doesn't. On top of that, what part of I'm arguing with you guys at the same time? And then you're telling me, oh, wow, I died once last time. But apparently we failed because of me. Because nobody else died. Nobody else died. Uh, no, you are. Everyone else has died. Honestly, you're doing this. You got, you know what? Fuck this. Why am I going to play if you're going to be such jerks? Why am I going to do this if you're going to be actual jerks to me for doing this? Okay? Why? Why do I want to do this if you're going to be jerks? You are trolling me now because of it. You did! You did! You actually are making fun of me and telling
telling me it's my fault we failed at wave two. So yes, you did. You're telling me an idiot. No, you actually said that. Okay, you legit said, oh, you suck, you, you failed at level two. How are you gonna do level 50 if you can't even do level two? What am I doing over here? No, you're not. You are absolutely no help at all. You are making fun of me the whole time. You legit have been telling me the reason that I failed the first time was because of me. Go back up and look for yourself. You literally said, all right, you died at wave two. How are you gonna survive at wave 50? Then don't say the game is too easy and cater to casuals. Then when you fail, say, I don't know what I'm doing, don't laugh at me, all right? So you said, yeah, game is ca yeah the game is catered to casuals. And then you fail at wave two. Change. You keep moaning there's no change. No, you literally told me, look up. You literally told me that, oh, you suck because you failed at level two. It's all your fault, you failed at level two. You actually said that. And again, I'm not getting, go scroll up. So why the hell do I want to do this? Why? I didn't have to do this. I came in here and you're being a bunch of jerks. Yes, you did. It's implied. You don't have to know the mechanics if you're dying to an ad. So apparently I'm the only one who died. I died once, but apparently I suck because I died once. Oh, how people you died from an ad. Oh, you suck. Oh, you're terrible. Oh no, because, okay. On top of that, how am I paying attention when I'm arguing with you guys? Okay, if you looked, you would know what to do. You shot at the immune shield 50, because I don't know how to get rid of the immune shield. All right, you didn't tell me how not to. Oh, so no, why? Why do I want to do this? The only one who stopped was Lone Hawk. I am doing something I've never done before. All right, I'm arguing with you guys. You have an instinct for all right, I have no idea what's going on. And you're making it, why, why would I want to play this then? If you're gonna be a bunch of jerks. Because it's a new mode, you fucking moron! What the hell? Oh wow, I guess I'm, a leg I'm an experienced player. Doesn't mean I know a new mechanic. I have no idea what an ADU battery is. Oh wow, so I do something completely new. You literally said, all right, Go back and scroll. Go back and uh, I'm literally reading what you guys said. Okay. Then don't say the game is too easy and catered to cows when you fail. When you fail, say, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Because... It's catered to casuals. It's not hard if you know what you're doing, okay? Nah, failing the mission is crazy. The season mode is so, dude, you're, you're actually making fun of me. Yes, you did. I don't know which one of you did. Go back and scroll up. Like I said, I'm arguing with multiple K people here. Bruh, she's, I mean, the only one who defended me is Foundains. Bruh, she's new to this event. Okay? You died at wave two? Zellner, how are you going to survive at wave 50? Basically implying I suck. So no, why am I going to do this if all you're going to do is argue with me, insult me, and just be nasty about it? I don't like any of you guys anymore. I 
I'm genuinely tired of you guys. You, you, you're not, you, you, you're, you're misinterpreting my arguments if I don't dupe. Because the person who said it, I am already trying to play a freaking video game. Because I'm arguing with you guys because you're like, oh, you never said that. So I was scrolling up. Oh, wow. It is easy, dude. It is easy. It absolutely is easy. All right? If you know what you're doing, then yeah, it's easy. And it's boring and it's tedious. Oh, wow. What is new about it? You make it sound like something great. It's not. It's not a thing new. Okay, why? You told me this was the great, special, amazing thing. It's okay. It's the same thing as every other season. Again, it's okay. It's fine. Yes, it's already hard enough as it is and I actually legit try to respond to everyone. Most people, they ignore the chat. I legit try. I did, duh. I mean, I did this. All right. You want to? Fine. It's fine. I said it's fine. I said it's nothing new. It's tedious. I can see doing it every now and then. Fine. It's fine. It's the exact same thing. It's fine. It's nothing special. It's exactly like every other season. The it's always the same thing. There's nothing unique or new about it. Okay. It's not overwhelming. It's not terrible. It's a little tedious and boring, honestly. All you're doing is killing Fallen. But honestly, you guys being a bunch of jerks about it just made it even worse. I mean, what? So, it's a tutorial. So basically, it's the same thing. Fine. There's nothing special about it. Okay? And I bet you, you have to grind it for hours. So again, for what? I mean, look, again, not, it's fine. But it's exactly what I said it was, another horde mode. <laughs> You're making it sound like it's something new. It's not, okay? It reminded me of the 35th anniversary thing. It reminded me of the altars for on the moon. It reminded me of the overload missions with um in season of the splicer it reminded me of the leviathan when we used to go after the bosses on the leviathan which actually that was actually pretty cool that was actually slightly different the leviathan thing all right so yeah no it's nothing special so we could get the same so what so we could get the exact same guns over and over and over again Okay, fine. What do you want me to say? It's nothing special. And then if you tell me it's free, and I can't criticize it, then my response would be, well, Warframe is free, you can't criticize it. All right? And what? What do you want me to say? It's the same thing as every season. Some, some new horde mode where you're getting attacked by a bunch of enemies. It doesn't. Dude, I don't know what to do, but it's still the basic concept, okay? It's still the same basic concept, all right? There are minor details here and there that I don't know about, but it's the same legit, the same concept. You're not seeing it because you're so caught up in it. It's another onslaught, okay? 
Big whoop. It's again, there my you 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 are misinterpreting what I'm saying. Yes, there are minor differences. Same with the the um the altars on the moon. Minor differences, still the same basic concept. Just as the 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 thing, the horde mode on the Leviathan. That was actually pretty creative compared to this. All right. It doesn't change. Oh my, it is the same thing. Dude, you are completely, you know what? At this point, you guys are trolling me because there's no way you're this stupid. There is no way you're this stupid. You are, no way you are legit this stupid at this point. You are legit. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't even play Destiny 2 anymore and you're just trolling me at this point because there's no way you are this dense at this point. You know what I'm saying. But no, you are so dense that I, at this point, I have to say, you are trolling me. Flat out, you guys are trolling me, and I am tired of this, and you know what? I don't play games anymore. You are legit at this point, and you can uh, deny it all you want, but you know exactly what I mean. You are absolutely trolling me at this point. No, they aren't. I am coming at it honestly. No, my arguments aren't flawed. Again, you are trolling me. At this point, there is no way you have not understood what I am saying and to respond in such a stupid, dense way. No. As Behemoth said, you are coming at this in good faith. I am trying to come at this in good faith. You are not. Both of you are just here to argue with me and troll me, and you are on purposely being dense. No. It's obvious at this point. Shadow is right. Even Shadow saw it. And Shadow's just a kid. And even he saw it. You are not coming at this in good faith. You are trolling me. You know what I'm saying. And you are arguing for the sake of argument. You are coming here for attention. Because, oh my God, finally a girl is paying attention to you. That's about it. All right? Half your arguments, there's no way. And when, the more I think about it, the more I see that you are legit from the beginning arguing with me for the sake of arguing with me. You want to make me mad on purpose. And you're having fun knowing that you managed to make me mad. That's why you're here. You know that you can get me mad. You're saying dumb shit on purpose to get me mad. And I'm not having any more of it. All right? Finally, looking back, I didn't argue at you. And this is proof to me that you are not being legit. No. I am. I was talking, and even Lone Hawk can tell you, I was talking to Lone Hawk. Okay? I flat out said I wasn't talking to you guys. All right? So no, that further proves to me my point. You are trolling me. You're not here in good faith. You want to make me angry. Yes. And he said that before. When you got pissed about me sp speaking to him in our me speaking to him in Arabic, he told you I was talking to him. Okay? Because it was something between me and him. It was not something I would get me banned for. It was something between me and him. Okay? So no, at this point, I have no doubt about it. The two of you are here. I didn't ban anybody's message. I didn't ban Carrie's message. What the hell are you talking about? The last person on the planet I would ban is Thug McCoy. Above all of you, the last person I would ever ban, which proves to me even more, you're not here in good faith. Thug McCoy is one of the top people I would never ban. Thug McCoy above everyone else. All right? So, again, I didn't ban Thug McCoy. I didn't block anything that Thug McCoy said. You are not here in good faith. You are here to get me angry and fight with me. You will contradict everything I say because you want to get me mad and I was an idiot to not have noticed it because you re-brought up the whole Destiny 2 thing all over again. The only one who I have even a slight hint that he's not here in bad faith is Lone Hawk because after I spoke to him in Arabic he said things that no he's the only one here and maybe Foundains I don't know you very well but honestly Shanderson and whatever your name is Okay? No, I did not remove Carrie's message. I did not remove it. 
So I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe YouTube automatically removed it, but I did not. Okay? I never removed Carrie's message. I've never removed anybody's message. You know, okay, no. The only time I've ever is when somebody's come here and started tower spelling inappropriate comments. So no, I've never removed anybody's comments. Even when people have come here and started insulting me, I've never removed comments. So no, you're assuming that. I never removed anybody, okay? No, no one did. YouTube did. YouTube sometimes does, okay? Again, proving to me, yes. So yes. I never remove comments, okay? Because I believe in freedom of speech. Even when people, and I've had people come in here and shit talk me. It's been a while, but I've had people. Never had a problem. Don't care, okay? No, I'm not. I, 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 again, thank you for proving again my point. You are here to bully me, troll me, and get me angry. Flat out. And honestly, if, if I, you know what? That's it. I can tell. At this point, I'm the idiot. I didn't notice it sooner. Shadow is right. Okay? Doesn't matter. You have proven to me beyond a doubt that the two of you are here to get me angry. You want attention. Bravo, Alec. Good job. You gotta rise out of me. Now I know better. Next time I see you, I'm not wasting my time arguing with you. Because you legit brought up the whole Destiny 2. We literally had the same argument. What, last week again? You brought it up again. Okay? At this point, like I said. So now, you've proven to me, okay? I don't, you're not here in good faith. You absolutely aren't here in good faith. And I, I, I. You literally are here to just start arguing with me about this. And if I say anything, you're going to say the opposite. So, no, I'm, I'm just. And then when you bring up Destiny 2, no, this time, all right. At this point, I have my doubts. I'm having my, especially when it comes to, I have my doubts. Because you legit aren't even hearing what I'm saying. And there's no way you are this dense when it comes to, I make my points pretty clear. Okay? There's no way you are this dense that you're not getting what I'm saying at this point. Okay? There's no way. So no, you are arguing. Okay? You are arguing with me for the sake of arguing. You are disagreeing with me. For the sake of disagreeing. Flat out. At this point. No, I don't think that either. Again, I want Destiny 2 to get better. I do. I, I don't, I've I had, had enough. I did not put things into your mouth. I already repeatedly told you I'm talking to multiple people. So again, you know that. All right? If it doesn't apply to you, why are you responding? Okay? I didn't put words into your... Uh, one time I did by mistake. Okay? Yes. I thought I didn't say your name when I said 1761. So, right. But most of the time... Okay? So, no. Because it's pretty clear you've been trolling me for the last couple of hours. All right, I've, I've I finally figured it out. All right. And I told you, I got it. No, you don't have the clip, okay? Because I made it so you can't clip my channel. Big whoop, I told you. But half the time, you're going, you put words in my mouth. Most of the time, I haven't said anybody's name. Again, I am playing video games while trying to chat. It is hard for me to do both at the same time. So yes, I did a mistake once. 
I don't want your fucking clip, dude. God. What? Again, proof you're trolling me. I already said I made a mistake and said that. Dude, again, you're trying to get me worked up again. Clearly, that's all you're here for. And honestly, at this point... What are you, like 10? No, you can't. You can't clip my YouTube channel. You probably recorded it or something, but you can't clip my YouTube channel. Because I made it so you can't clip it. So no, you can't do clips. I made it so, unless YouTube changed it, the settings are you can't clip. So you probably recorded it, went back, and recorded it. All right? And again, because at this point, you're definitely trolling. At this point, you cannot tell me after multiple that you are not trolling. You are on purposely arguing for the sake of arguing. And I am, I'm, 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 you are at this point, as I said, there's no way at some point you are this dense to not get it. Because I'm making it clear now. You are a troll. You're here to troll me. You want to get a rise out of me. And you got it. Congratulations. Good job. You got a rise out of me. I'm going to be a more careful in the future. But yeah, good congrats on you, Habibi. Because uh, at this point, yeah, I figured it out. You are a... You're so obsessed with this game that... Yeah, Higher personality revolves around it at this point. I don't want to talk to this. No, it's called Geometry Wars. Yeah, Resogun is dope. I absolutely love Resogun. No, this is a different game. I do have Resogun, but it's on uh, it's only on PlayStation. That I agree.
social justice warrior. It's what we used to use on Wokies before we called them Wokies. Before they call it, we called them Wokies, we called them SJWs. That's why you know I'm legit. I was going after these people long before you guys were calling them Wokies, we were calling them SJWs. Social justice warriors. Nobody uses to, uh, uh, SJW anymore, now it's just Wokies. But yeah, we used to call them Wokies all the time. We used to call them SJWs. As where I got it from like Carl Benjamin, you used to call them Wokies. Everyone, not Wokies, SJWs. Big SJWs. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Shoot. So close. Yeah, um. So that's why people are like, oh, you joined on the, the whole anti-woke bandwagon long... No, I was calling them Wokies. Uh, 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 the whole, you were anti-woke, be you know, it's a new thing. No, I was calling them Wokies. We're like, oh, you're only like that because of Jeremy from Geese. No. Well, I wasn't involved in Gamergate 1. I did know about this, the SJWs long before. I don't remember. I didn't get very far because I got caught up in Destiny 2 again. And that's why I don't want to get into it. But that's why I didn't get very far. Because I started playing Destiny 2 again when it came out. I did. So much of my time was wasted on that. I mean, I could have been playing so many better games. And let me be clear, I come home from work exhausted. I'm on my feet, running from one side. I legit walk 16 to 10 to 16 hours a day. And that's why I like it. Another game. No, I know it's a legit hard game, yes. Now that sounds cool. Ah, focus. Damn it. No, 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 no. Yes! Yes! Yeah, I know it's like... Uh, hey, Johnny, how is Japan? No, the music is awesome. That's I love the music. No, I want to play it. That's why it's like I want to play other games. I really legit want to play other games because I know I'm not as good in other games as I would like to be. Which is why I like Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I plan on playing it again on hard mode after I finish it on normal. Final Fantasy Remake. I want to replay it once again. I'm playing it on normal and I'm going to play it on hard.
I hit the side. Of the thingy. I knew I was too close. The gate. I hate those gates. You can't shoot them. You gotta go through them. Please. Here. I gotta... Damn, what hit me? Oh, it's the shooters. Oh, I got hit by them. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, my aid gift from one of my brothers. I haven't even opened it yet because I got to figure out how to upgrade the, the hard drive on my PS5 and add more memory because I, I can't fit everything on it. And I don't want to remove any of the Final Fantasy, VII, Final Fantasy games. Because I want to platinum those games. Dragon's Dogma 2? I, I can't. This I cannot look at the chat for. I, I can't. This one I cannot do at all. I cannot look away. Did I hit? I think I hit the bar, the gate. Wait. I have. So Dragon Stomma is supposed to be very good. Okay. Dragon's Dogma is really good. Have you played it? I have not seen it. I've seen Oxhorn's opinion on it. He likes it, but he has issues with one of the dates. For some reason, Archcast hates it, but everyone else seems it's really good. Honestly, I will admit there is a bias. I have a bias at just wanting to see the world of Fallout come to life. So even if even if it were a garbage story. Just seeing the world of Fallout, seeing Nuka Cola, seeing, you know, Mr. Handies and all that stuff, seeing vaults, it would be really, really cool. I'm not too. Like, I'm not Oxhorn, who's so caught up on the lore that he knows everything. He knows the dates and everything, legit. Which is why I felt like they should have hired Oxhorn. Is a consultant. I think the one that's breaking that I really am not. Ha I really want. 
But if you're saying it's good, I am curious. Yeah. That was god awful. That was awful. That was just awful. I said, I can't, I have to pause every now and then to see what everyone is saying. What is Fallout 2238? Uh, I, I guess I, I don't know them, so... Um, okay, wait. I think it's better than Halo. Anything is better than Halo. Absolutely anything is better than Halo. What is Fallout 2238? And I said, I don't know anybody else other than Axel, so I'm going to believe you on that. Um... Um... As I said, I don't know them, so I... I... I um. By the way, yeah, anything is better than that. Um, so I, I, like I said, he's the best I know. So if there are people better than Oxhorn, that's legit cool. I, I mean, I would like, I mean, seriously. I said, the, the one I know who knows the most is Oxhorn. But I'm no expert. I'm not, like, I don't deep dive. I'm not like you, Carrie. You, you Thug McCoy. Um, you know more about Fallout than I could possibly ever know. So if you say that he's not very good, then I'll have to take your word for it, because you know more about it than I do. All right? This is Geometry Wars. This is one of those games you play when you want to stress. All right, when you de-stress, or you just want to be like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't. When you, or you just don't want to deal with a game that's controversial, because there's nothing controversial about this game. Nobody, most of you haven't even heard this game. So you'd be like, oh, well, it sucks, cat, you suck. No, as far as you know, or most of you, I'm pretty good at this game, all right? So I could be like, yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the master at this game. And most of you gonna have to take my word for it. Actually, I'm not that bad at it, all right? I have almost the entire map. Damn it. Well, you still know more than I do, all right? I still haven't played the first game. So, nah. The thing, the thing I've heard about Halo is the only people who like it, like my brother, right? My brother, my brother was like, my brother, he likes the Halo show. Then I asked him, have you played Halo? He's like, no. That's why. If you played Halo, you're not going to like it. Same with someone I spoke with from Microsoft. I spoke with somebody from Microsoft. They're like, you will like it if you don't, if you separate it. I've heard that, Johnny. I've heard that uh, overseas makes sense. Well, I know in Egypt it tastes better, too. It's a legit sit-down restaurant experience. I appreciate that, Lone Hawk. I I'm pre... Wait, I know Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe. Oh, oh, I see. Don't quote the law to me, which I was there when. That's, um, um, that's, that, that is Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe. Wait, what about Half-Life or Elder Scrolls? I have Elder Scrolls online. I haven't played it much, but I did start it. Um... All right, focus. I'm genuinely tired. 
look, can we just celebrate? I finished my taxes. I've been dreading doing my taxes. I did my taxes. I got a whole $20 dividend from Nintendo. All right, can I celebrate that? Please, can I celebrate? I got a $20 dividend from Nintendo. Not a financial advisor, all right? Let's just go with that. But I got a dividend on my shares from Nintendo. All right, yes, I have Nintendo stock. And I feel like it's going to go up in 2025 when they open their new park. They're also coming out with new movies. So the only stock, that, oh, I have a couple shares of Rumble. I got a couple shares of GoPro because I won them for free. All right. Oh, damn it, I pushed the button twice. This is called Geometry Wars. It is a very simple, basic, well, Geometry Wars 3. I used to play it on the PS Vita. Then Every now and then I stop playing it and then I go back to it because it's one of those games where it just doesn't require much brain. It does require skill. I tend to lose track of where I'm at, which is a problem at times. Because you need to remember where you're at, what direction you're shooting in. You can also... I think there's even a multiplayer. And that's why I like it. Wait a minute, I made it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I'm close. I always make it when I'm not paying attention to the score. So you see, I need to get a minimum of 10 million to get one star to complete the level at the lowest difficulty, like the lowest skill. Then there's two and three. I, my goal is always to get everything three eventually, so. Yes, Rumble actually does have stock. Okay. The reason I have stock in Nintendo, all right, um, is because I feel like Nintendo is a good long-term investment. Um, Nintendo is releasing another Mario movie. Um, see, there's multiple modes. So this is the ultimate mode, but then there's the adventure mode, which I've made it. I got to go back now and finish all of the levels now with three stars. So I haven't done the final boss, but like some of them I have them at three stars, some of them I don't. So I usually go back because I played this on PlayStation. I went back and I filled in all of the stars to three stars. So like, for example, here, right, deadline, all right, beginning. I only got two stars because when you first start, because you unlock a whole bunch of stuff, right? So you see, you can unlock all of these, right, as you gradually, see, unlock at level 70. So this one, then you can max them out. So this is maxed out. This is my favorite. And um, now that when you first start, you don't have all of this stuff. So now this should be a piece of cake to get the max, to get three stars.
Now the green dots are multipliers. The more you collect, then every time you kill one of these guys, you get more points. So you need to collect the greens as much as possible because the more of those you pick up, you, the more multiplier you get. So you can see my multiplier in the corner under my name in the la on the left top, that's my multiplier. My multiplier is at 94. So every one of these I kill, now I get 94 times the points. And it keeps going up. It's at 118, right? And then there's different game modes. So this mode is timed. timed. Your goal is to get a certain score. So now I need to get 200,000 to get two stars. I made it to 272,000 the first time I did this. Now, I'm not gonna make it to 500,000. I should change my collector. You know what, I should probably go with a, you know what, I should go with this. Well, that's a very smart investment. Velocity 2X sounds vaguely familiar. Well, if I told you, um, I don't know. I don't know if I can tell you. Um, so that's a better score. But what I really should use, actually, is, so I need the, the collect one. So the collect one, magnetism, will uh, pick up, will increase the magnetic power of, so it will give me better multipliers. It will give me more m m multipliers. So it will make my score go up higher. So instead of getting the attack one, this will pick up for me. The C is picking it up for me. So increase my multiplier faster will increase my score faster. Because I missed a lot of them. But you notice now I only have two shots. I don't have a drone following me around. And now my score is going to go up much faster because he's collecting the multipliers for me faster. Now, he's not collecting them all because it's based on distance, but he's collecting more of them than I could by myself. So you have a little drone that either shoots for you, collects for you, does different things for you. So I'm at 200,000 and I still have 20 seconds. So now let's see if I can get the 500,000 I need to get three stars. No, I'm not going to make it. That's not good enough. I'm close. Oh, yes, I did it. I did it. There we go. Max stars. No, well, this is Geometry Wars actually three. This isn't the first one. So there were other games like this before this. This is the third one. So this is the only other person who plays on, who's on my friend list. So I'm like number 14,000 in the world, all right? So this one I need to get 2 million because I only got, so let me see, let me go with my favorite, which is attack, just to see. Um, now I probably want to go with the, the, if it's a timed one again, I should have noticed is that. Every, is everything okay now? I'm too tired. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> I I have some news on the Middle East. Uh, what? Iran has begun to attack uh, Israel. You know what? I don't want to put it on po uh, on the, on the chat. I don't want to put it anything in the live stream. Right, it's good oh, to know. Okay. No, I don't want my response. Oh, okay. But thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Um, Akhiran Amalu Haga. That Haga, why did that? Uh, no, that's that for Lone Hawk. 
No. As long as we don't get involved, which we... Well, uh, uh, d so far from what I know is that all the countries surrounding Egypt, uh, Jordan, uh, not Jordan, uh, Egypt, a few other countries, is uh, closed down their airspace. Uh, uh, in some parts of Iraq, I believe... Uh, what is Egypt yes, doing? Uh, as yes, it's far here. as I know that they're not doing anything, they just closed down their airspace. Uh, Jordan has allowed Israel to use their airspace. Uh, oh, so by Israel's closing down by closing down their airspace, they're saying nobody's allowed to fly over the U.S. or anyone yeah, else. Yeah, yes. And uh, Israel's air force is compared to ours, but on a smaller scale, they could still do uh, combat operations uh, against... Uh, Iran, most of their hardware is from the 60s. Uh, not only that, but uh, 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 there was apparently there was Israel shot down 100 uh, missiles and drones coming into Israel. And uh, uh, from what I can tell, uh, there was also reports that Russia was was giving uh, Iran weapons, but that's only hearsay. This is for for Lone Hawk. I mean, you stick, you stick, you stick. I might just be able to hang it. I shall not. It's after me now. In the village, the whole thing, the Muslim, free to do what I want. I shall not. I mean, America, America, America. The Muslim are free to do what they want. وبلاد التلين المسلمين اللي يقولوا على نفسهم إنهم مسلمين ما بيعملوش حاجة عشان يساعدوا المسلمين. زهقت زهقت بطريقة عام. والسعودية ما عملش حاجة ما عملش حاجة خالص عشان. Let me get Saudi Arabia isn't getting involved. Yeah. Uh... So far, Iran isn't using any of its proxies uh, anymore. Uh, there's also been a report that one missile actually hit inside Israel. It was a air base uh, or a military base. Yeah. Is, yeah, Israel can do the, can fight uh, by themselves. Uh, I have to be very, very careful what I say. I have to be, maybe you have to keep in mind, I said, I've said this before, I don't, this isn't meant to be a pity party or a sympathy for me, but I lived, survived after 9-11. So keep in mind, one of the things I find funny are all the people who talk about, you know, oh my God, they're shutting down banks on conservatives and all that. It's like, y you know what the Patriot Act did, right? So, yes, I, I know. It's, yeah. it's an awful act. So, um, but it's hilarious to hear people complaining about stuff that was done to Muslims. Uh, it, it's ironic, let's just say, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's <laughs> very, very ironic. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's right, I don't like it, and I will fight, like I said, I will fight on this, I, I will fight for everyone. That's one of the reasons why I'm very, 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 very... Okay, very against when they, for example, blame all white men. Oh, we hate all white men. Do you want to know why? Because unlike all these other vindictive little bitches who think, oh, well, a white, one white man was mean to me, so I'm going to blame all of them. Uh, this whole thing yeah. disgusts me. My attitude is, you did it to me. All right? You legit, you, they did it to us, to, to me, right? They did it to Muslims. They said all Muslims are horrible terrorists. And most Muslims are not. So when you tell me all white men yeah, it's, it's... are bad, I'm not gonna, I am never, 
ever going to do to any group what was done to me because I didn't like it. I absolutely did not like being told that all Muslims are terrorists. So why the hell am I going to sit around and say, agree when people say all white men are toxic? Okay. Why is it when people tell me, because it always surprises people when I tell them I don't hate all Jews. Because not all Jews are bad people. And to, to call all Jews bad is again exactly like what they did to me. There's another video I've been seriously oh, yeah. thinking of thinking of making is one about how being a Muslim growing up in America has made me want to appreciate being American more and how it has kind of altered I, my, my view. Like I said, you, when, you, you should totally do a video on that. Yeah. Because like I said, the reason I will never, I will fight with white men, straight white men against them being treated unfairly because it was done to me and I didn't like it. So why is it fair to do it to all straight white men? Are there toxic straight white men? Absolutely. Are there toxic black gamers? Black female gamers? Yes. Yes. There are very toxic black women. So you can't say each, one. I'm going to say this. Each, each race has their own, uh, you know. Bad. And that's what you're saying. Yeah, bad apples. But that doesn't spoil yes. the rest. Uh, yes. And that's why. And that's one of the things, another thing I learned was what I talked about earlier, which is the fact that you will never fully agree with any, everybody and you have to be able to, like it's, uh, all the guys I work with, they're some of my favorite people in the world. And I will do anything for them. Well, that's halal. Don't get, I mean, let's be clear. But there are some things that I will never accept. So I'm, I'm actually thinking, I was actually at one point thinking of making a video. It's like how being a Muslim in America has made me appreciate everything that makes America what is America. Like that guy Hamza Yusuf in Scotland pisses me off because he legit does not understand how he, what he's doing will do more harm to Muslims than good. By all this hate speech and all that. Dude, this is going to bite you in the ass. One of the greatest things that any minority has is freedom of speech. Because you're going to have very unpopular opinions. By definition. And you sit here telling me that banning hate speech is a good thing? Just grow a bigger spine. I hope not. All right, look, I got, look, all right, you want World War III? Fine. Wait until after my vacation is over, all right? My vacation is up from the 19th for a week, all right? Can we please, 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 all right? Wait until my vacation is over and then start World War III. Okay? I highly doubt World War III will start to... On the other hand, I did tell somebody that it would start on April 18th, the day before my vacation starts. And he's like, no, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm tempted to, to post this and at him and be like, I told ya, I told ya. Okay. But... Uh, yes look 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 I said all right you want to know how often I take vacation time never the first time I took vacation time in over a year was in January for a doctor's appointment I'm not going anywhere special I'm not doing anything special in fact honestly I'll probably end up sneaking into work during that week but you know what it's my first vacation in year in like of any significance since I went to Egypt like four years ago. All right? Of course, I did say I thought Putin was gonna nuke us on April 18th, so maybe I'm wrong. Someone else will. On the other hand, it would be kind of 
Well, Russia did test one of their nuclear uh, missiles recently. It was actually spotted uh, in the Middle East. That's how far it went to. Okay, the only thing I did... Right. Yeah, but he hasn't bombed us. All right. Now, as I said... And no, I'm he hasn't, but he's yes. been threatening to. And the more you threaten, the more it loses validity. I said, with my luck, it'll be April 18th. On the other hand, I gotta admit, a part of me would just really enjoy being... I told you, sir. I told you, man. I told you. April 18th. He's like, no, no, it's not going to happen. Yes, I told you. People don't believe me. I'm telling you. April 18th. All right, fine. I, I, I'm off from work, but honestly, I'm thinking of just sneak. I... I I shouldn't have taken the time off. I already feel guilty, and I'll probably end up sneaking into work. I love my job. Yes, I'm a freak. I love my job. I work in retail, and I love my job. I 100% love my job, all right? And you know what? There's that legit, oh, come, come on. That's one of the reasons why, as crazy as it sounds, like, uh, you know, I'm not a big super chat person. Why? Be, be, because I don't feel like I've earned it. I've done anything for it, right? Whereas at work, look, I want to get paid, which is why I'd be a lousy corpus, all right? But I want to earn what I get paid for, all right? I want to feel like I earned it, all right? This is terrible. Um, that's, that's so lucky of you, though. Though everyone said you couldn't see it from New Jersey, and someone put a pair of glasses on. I tried on a pair of someone's glasses. I could see it. But no, I, I want to, I love, I, I like coming home from work exhausted, knowing I worked my butt off. And I earned my pay for that day. I love knowing that I saved in potential loss thousands of dollars and be like, yeah, I did that. I did that. I am not a diversity hire because... My, my, my results speak for themselves, right? I was a state employee for a while. I worked at a public library. I hated it. Honestly, all right, I'm going to say something, all right? I don't like nonprofit anymore. When I first started working in the world of work, all right, I was like, I want to... All right. I wanted, I, I wanted to be involved. I liked the idea of nonprofit, all right? And then I realized something after I stopped working in nonprofit that nonprofit are actually scummier than for profit. Not all of them, but the majority of them. Why? Because th they're all about getting the money, too. The majority of the money they get is to pay their salaries. At least when you walk into a store, right? All right? You know they want money. You walk into a GameStop, all right? They aren't a charity. They're not pretending to be a charity. You go to a, 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 a Target. They're not trying to be a, they're not telling you they're a charity. They're a store. They exist for one reason only, to make money. You go to Best Buy to buy a computer. You know they are definitely gonna hike up the price. Why? Because Best Buy exists for one reason, to make the big monies. All right? Oh no, I didn't get fired, I left. I was going to start a grad program that didn't work out. Long, 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 horrible, terrible story, let's just say. Um, I'm one of the few people who genuinely legit should have their student loans forgiven because I got treated like garbage. I can't go into it because I don't share my personal stuff online. Just as I don't share my health information, I don't share my mental, other than the ADHD, because it's a joke, honestly. I don't share my mental health. I don't share my health. 
I might say something like I had an EKG and it was kick ass because that's something to boast about. But But if I had any illnesses or anything, you think I want to share them online? Absolutely not. Why the hell would I do that? It's personal. I mean, for all you know. Yeah, so the Ferengi, thank you. I mean, for all you know. I thought you said I I'm thought you didn't like the Ferengis. Well, the, the Corpus aren't exactly the Ferengi, but you know what? I consider it a compliment. I'm sure any Corpus who was told that they are legit like, would be like, that's a compliment. I mean, for all you know, I'm getting massive liposuction during my week off. And that's why I'm defending plastic surgeons. <laughs> yeah, that would not make it. I mean, okay, fine. I agree. That makes absolutely no sense. I... I oh, could you tell you tell Lain. Yeah, I know Lain. But I mean, for all you know, like I said, I could be getting lipo next week on my week off. A gift to myself. You know? I mean it was against the religion to do any <laughs> body alterations. Okay. Uh, so, for example, when I got plastic surgery on my chin, when I got the stitches done, that was not haram because that is... But yeah, if you get nose job or any of that stuff, yeah, that's, that's technically haram. Uh, lipo, suction. I don't know if liposuction would be considered haram. I, I don't know. Because I Ask never... Ask Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why I... That's not one of those things that I ever... I mean, I did not think I would be defending plastic surgeons multiple times so plastic surgeons i'm sending you my bill yeah also uh the other thing is that two major powers have been trying to dominate the middle east for say better half of a three decade both the Saudis and iranians uh, were both trying to vie for power or Ooh. influence within the middle east uh, all right so one big problem that has happened with the middle east and one of my, so you know how everybody loves Lawrence of Arabia? My family legit hates him. Because one of the problems is when they divided the countries in the Middle East into the way they are, they knew nothing about the cultures and people that they were dividing them into. So in a way, they actually British made- British Empire? Yes. They made things so much worse. So while some people are like, oh, but they, 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 no, they made it. Yeah. Um, because that's how God created you. So, it's not just Islam. I'm sure there's some Christians who do not believe in plastic surgery. However, again, I'm not saying all plastic surgery. All right, for example, if you break your nose, right, I have little doubt that a plastic surgeon will be involved in that. When I got stitches, if you get your arm caught in a automatic rice picker, like, or your head, so there is, that's why at first I was like, are, are plastic surgeons like haram, haram? And then I'm like, no, because there's, again, there's some aspects to plastic surgery that are not cosmetic and freaky deaky. I am again defending plastic surgeons. Seriously, I got to charge these guys. Like. I, I, I cannot believe how many times I have defended plastic surgeons. It's weird how much attention they're getting to. I guess it's because there's the, 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 the cosmetic surgery craze that's been going on. Where it's like every other day I get a tweet from somebody where it's like, and it's like, uh, that's just, just freaky deaky. I seriously, though, do not want to be a plastic surgeon. I will say it again, the most based of surgeons, the coolest of surgeons, the by far most awesome of surgeons are trauma surgeons. And I wanted to be a trauma surgeon. All right? You know, the guy in the ER is like, you got shot in the lung. I'm going to take that bullet out. Oh. 
Well, speaking of uh, certain and everything, uh, <clears throat> I'd, uh, I think about, say about, yeah, it's the start of last year. Uh, there was an anime that came out about being a doctor. Well, Michael Crichton was a doctor, an actual medical doctor. That's how he would. My uncle is a doctor. He's an eye surgeon. And by far the best one in all of Egypt. So there, because reasons. We'll call you ugly guy, calls you be Oh, here it is. Lone Hawk gives the answer. Absolutely, Alexia. You never have to ask. The reason for this is because although humans will call you ugly, God calls you beautiful because he made you exactly the way he wanted to. So it's disrespectful to God for changing it yourself. That makes sense. Um, plus, like, for example, you know, God, I have managed to do more good as a woman. No, I'm not, but I'm getting tired. But Alexia's here. I just, I'm surprised by the number of times I've had to defend plastic surgeons, and I'm starting to think I need to start charging them. So, anyone knows any plastic surgeons, tell them that you owe the hijabi gamer a minimum of $500 an hour for all the uh, times she has defended your profession. Because I bet you there's probably people who hear this whose opinions have changed on plastic surgeons. They're all not creepy, freaky, creepy, creepy dudes, all right? Though I still stand by my argument that they look like serial killers and they know it. Okay? Hello, Hello Alexa. Welcome to the chat or the Discord. Or who knows what at this point. I am so tired. I, yeah, I should log out in another. I'm going to give myself a half an hour and then I'm heading out because I'm caught up. This game is addictive. Not all cra plastic surgeons are creepy deaky. That's, that doesn't make it. Creepy freaky deaky. I don't know. Okay? funny with the whole argument of like like with plastic surgery and all that a lot of times with the argument of like god made you this way well how dare you kind of like spend this space kind of like for like changing yourself what about people with glasses god you're gave us a bad vision you're not making permanent <laughs> changes on yourself with glasses and again, I uh, like I said, there's a surgery. again, and uh, it's how the the appearance of how God made you, what you look like. And I mean, and I I also don't think I'm not as strict about it as you might think. For example, like f the whole cleft something or other where kids are damaged, you know. Yeah, I do think. I think it's what they what in general what they mean is the over the top, you know, like where it's like change your nose. Well, your nose is fine the way it is. God made it for you this way. Um, kind of thing. It's not the same thing, though. It's about changing your appearance, which is how God made you. But, I said, it, 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 it's not for vanity purposes. Lone Hawk is talking about it. It's for, not for vanity purposes. You can't just change your appearance for vanity purposes. Um, you never know. Also, like, don't pick out the type of glasses that we like, how it looks. We don't go for like a specific type of glasses that feel like it enhances how we look. Well, that would be then, then it would be saying the same thing about clothing. <laughs> it's no, it's Fair your enough. physical body. Your glasses are not made by God. Your physical appearance, I, no, though. No, it's not a one to one. I was no, it's out yeah. Some, something yeah. I always found funny with it. Cause it's like it, it's like you're, you're saying like we're not like it's wrong for us to change something about ourselves because we are no longer how God made us. Our appearance. The thing is, one of the other things I've noticed is, for example, like when I was younger, I hated being female because you know it's not easy being a Muslim woman, right? But now I realize that I have made a lot of difference because of the hijab and being a Muslim woman and standing out as a Muslim woman. Oh no, Islam doesn't even allow tattoos. The, I, I, I mean, I, I, Islam does not even allow tattoos. I have no tattoos, not a single one. 
I've used henna. That's not a permanent change, but I don't have any tattoos. None of my family have tattoos. Because it's the same thing. You can't do permanent changes like that. I'm doing terrible. I believe that your body is temporary. The way you look and what you do with you is already ordained for the rest of life. Yeah. And that's one of the hardest things. That's one of the things that the Lone Hawk, a lot, and, and I'll just say, a lot of people have a little different. You see, one of the problems I have found in trying to explain Islam to people is you need to understand a kind of almost perspective shift. Like a whole kind of like shift in understanding how we view the world versus other people view the world. A lot of the things that people criticize and try to defend, they only defend like one part of it. And in order for you to understand, for example, why um, certain things are haram, I have not... And yeah, for medical reasons, yes. Islam allows things for medical reasons. For example, um, if I have a, if I'm unable to find a female doctor and I end up with a male doctor, and let's say, okay, um, he, okay, yes. So, oh god, I gotta go into a couple things. For example, medical things. Okay, um, I had I had an EKG recently, right? And the doctor was a guy. I needed to go to this doctor in particular, and it was a guy. And yeah, I had to take off my hijab and it's okay. I, I told him don't go around telling everybody, you know, this sexy hot woman, right? But sometimes you have to go to a male doctor. You're allowed to take the hijab off in front of them for medical reasons. It's not, you know, it's prefer preferable for a Muslim woman to go to a female doctor. But if you're stuck going to a male doctor and you have to take off your hijab, you can do it. God will forgive you. If you do something harm, so if you get a tattoo and then you realize that you did something harm, you ask for forgiveness, like Lone Hawk says, he will always forgive you. But then it's like, oh God, I've, and then you go and do another tattoo. It's like, well, wait a minute. You can't keep being like, okay, well, I do this, then ask for forgiveness and do it again, and ask for forgiveness and do it again, and ask for forgiveness. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed is a perspective shift about Islam. You need to understand how we view the world is differently. Then, and I know because I look at how other people, and I can see why people view the world in a different way. People view Some people view the world as life is temporary, you die, and that's it. So you want to get as much joy out of life as possible because you think there's nothing beyond life, right? So I understand why people will want to do things, right? Because they see this is my only chance to do this, so I might as well do it because I'm going to die. Islam, on the other hand, as he said, it's temporary. Um, you notice we... Um, so the I whole goal of life, it's like a test. So it's going to be unpleasant. You have unpleasant challenges. You're going to have, you're going to be born with challenges. How you ever, um, no, no. And Islam, uh, legit, if, like I said, I had a, I recently needed an EKG for something. And the doctor was a guy. And the first time I did it, it was wrong. They they thought I had an issue with my heart. And then he's like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. So the doctor, so the woman who, did, so a woman did the initial EKG and I didn't even take off my hijab for the first time. The second time I did and the doctor came in and he's looking at the EKG and stuff. Um, so no, is, is the thing is, it's, God is forgiving. God forgives, but to be honest, it's between you and God. You can't, that's why, like I said, I don't, I don't judge people. I don't know what's in your heart. God has given us challenges, but at the same time, he doesn't want to, like, my father was giving, like, for example, when I make my prayer at work, right, I make my wudu over my socks. There's better ways of doing it, but if you, it's not meant to make things unbearably difficult as well. Um, as I said, the medical thing, uh, you know, if I have, a, if I have to go to a male doctor, because legit, I have to go to a male doctor, um, I can take my hijab off in front of them. And I have in front of, and it's, I, like I said, I always joke with them, like, all right, just don't go around telling people you saw this, you know, hot, sexy Muslim woman, all right? Because I know I'm, I'm, I'm like barely resistible without my hijab, all right? But you have to understand that to us, this life is temporary. So 
while people will think, why why is this person born blind? It's not fair. It's like God gave that challenge to that person. They give different challenges to different people. Um, and we view life as temporary because eventually we see that there's something better in the life after. So you're making a lot of sacrifices in this life for the for the life after. You're expected to make sacrifices. You're meant to make self-control. Um, so when people are like, well, if somebody's born this way, but they can't do this, how is that fair? It's like, yeah, well, I have noticed, like, other people have different challenges where I'm looking, I'm like, how's that a challenge? That's easy. And then I have my own personal challenges. So is it easy? The temptation of evil. And that's one of the other things that people don't understand about Islam. Because everybody, one of the big things people don't understand about Islam is that we don't like the haram. The haram is wanted. It's tempted. You want to do it. You are tempted. And you have to resist that temptation. The best way to put it is um, when you fast, right? When I was fasting during Ramadan, right? I could easily have broken my fast. No one at home would have known. My whole family would not have known. I could have eaten in secret at work. I could have eaten in secret while I'm downstairs in my room by myself. But you are, and, and, and you, there's no challenge. It's not like there's no food. You are resisting something that you could easily give into. So it's, the whole point is you are being tempted. You have desires. You need to control them. If you are being tested, you will be tested. And how well you do on the test, this life is meant to be a test. Now, you can come up with all these other arguments. That is basically what, how Islam is viewed. It's, that's why a lot of the things where people are like, well, how can you condone that? Um, be, because it's a test. I mean, uh, uh, all right, fine. That's why the whole homosexuality argument doesn't make sense when all you do is you say, oh, it's unnatural or whatever. All those other reasons they give because they only focus on that one aspect. But when you take into account the whole perspective of the religion, it makes more sense. We, first of all, Islam does not acknowledge, does not deny the existence of, home, of people who are interested in the same sex. We do not, we say they exist, all right? But you, ha you cannot engage in that activity. And you can be like, well, how is that fair? A man and a woman can have a relationship, but two men cannot. Well, that is God's test for you. God gave you that desire, and you have to control it. A man, on the other hand, cannot legit sleep around with 50 different women. God said, okay, I acknowledge that uh, you, have only, you only go with your partner, all right? And you can say that's not fair. But again, like I said, you don't know other people, their challenges, what is in their heart. Like, I think everything I have, I've got a lot of stuff going on that sucks, right? I've got a lot of challenges that suck. And I'm like, okay, well, how's this fair and this fair and this fair? And then I look at someone else and I go, damn, I got it easy compared to you. So, and then I'm pretty sure the other people look at me and they're like, how are you going through that? So we each have our own personal challenges and tests from God. And you'll notice you get a lot of challenge. And then he'll ease off on you, which, yeah, after my one month. But that's why I say you need to view the entire religion as a whole. Because then you understand, for example, the story of the woman who committed adultery and went to the prophet wanting to be punished for it. And he told her, you're pregnant, the baby is innocent. All right? have the baby yeah sleeping around is, and, and 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 i think one of the other things that i found hilarious all right so i was listening to a documentary about trans maxing right apparently there's a guy who wants to transition to be a woman but not for any real legit reasons he doesn't have gender dysphoria or any of that he says it's easier to be a woman and the, fu the funniest moment in this short documentary, right, was when the guy who has transitioning to be a woman who has no gender dysphoria. I mean, that, that's, that's that to anyone who actually has gender dysphoria, that's kind of insulting, all right? And he's having a conversation with a woman. And the woman is telling him that women are oppressed by men. And the man is saying, and the trans woman is saying it's easier to be a woman. And the woman is telling him it's easier to be a man. And so it's hilarious because that's the whole nature of a compromise. That's one of the most opening, th eye-opening th experiences for me was my father telling me that when you make a compromise, both sides aren't happy. And that's how you know both sides are being treated equally because both sides think the other side is getting it better. 
So you ask a woman, do men have it better? The woman's going to tell you, yeah, men have it better. You ask a man, do women have it better? The man's going to say, women have it better. So you know now, both of them suck. Both of them have their disadvantages. Both of them have their advantages. I got into an argument with a guy once who said, you don't understand how oppressed you are as a Muslim woman. And I told him, so what are the responsibilities of a Muslim man in religion, right? Okay, he, told, he didn't know. I said, the problem is the hijab is obvious, okay? You see it. So it's obvious to you. You think women are being oppressed, right? Men are responsible for the house, okay? My dad, yeah, life is hard, okay? Submission, discipline, and control. Lone Hawk always puts it perfectly. Bottom line is life is hard. You aren't supposed to be happy. Happy is a side effect of your submission to God. Islam is about submission, discipline, and control. And control is a big part of it. But I was arguing with the guy, right? Because he's like, you're a woman, you're oppressed, blah, blah, blah. And it was a man. Oh, man, I'm like looking. I'm like, dude, okay, you need to, you, I need you to tell me I'm oppressed. I'm like, what are the responsibilities of a Muslim man? He has no idea. I'm like, you know that a Muslim man is responsible for paying for the whole house. My mom and my dad both work. Every cent that my mom makes is hers. Oh, she can contribute to the house if she wants to. She doesn't have to. Every cent she makes is hers. My father, on the other hand, is responsible for the house. He has to pay for the house, everything in the house, okay? He support the kids, everything. My father is responsible, okay? Because he's the man of the house, right? Women does not have to. If she doesn't want to work, it's fine. Raise the kids. Have a good one, Ziron. So the guy looked at me and goes, damn, men are oppressed. Yes. I mean, my dad is working up until now. He should have retired, okay? But he hasn't. Why? Because he's responsible, okay? Man and woman get married. The man is responsible for the house, for food, for everything. Woman gets a job. She doesn't have to contribute anything. If she can, she doesn't have to. That's the man's responsibility. So when people are like, um... You know, it's not fair to women. Well, you could argue the same thing for men. It's not fair to men. It's difficult for men too. So, but I like, I think the best way I describe Islam is like you're on a diet, All right? If I could eat whatever the hell I wanted, right? I'd probably weigh legit 500 pounds, all right? I would eat nonstop everything. I love cupcakes, all right? I love ice cream, all right? Legit, I would just eat everything. I realize I can't. Now, that's why it also shows you what our, the state of our society, right? You have so many people who are obese because they have no sense of self-control. Is to treat your wife with lots of love. Don't question if... Oh, he definitely was. But to me, the best way, when people ask me, the best way to put Islam is it's a diet. All right. And that's why it also shows me what uh, the state of our society, where we have so much obesity at this point, is because people have no self-control, so they eat whatever they want. Okay, It's like if uh, you cannot eat whatever you want. It's the same thing with being a Muslim. You, there's a lot of stuff you want to do, but you can't do it. All right, It's not good for you. Like When I go to the doctor, it's awesome. It's always legit awesome. When I go to a doctor, right? Doctor, you know, they look at the paperwork, right? They're like, all right, all right. Do you drink? No. Smoke? No. Drugs? No. Tattoos? No. It's like just nonstop down the line. No, 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 no. Because, yes. And I, isn't like promiscuity a sign of the end of an empire? Because I'm looking at America now, I think. And stuff like that. But. That's, that's how I view it. And Christians have added a lot, and Christians have done a lot, and ev ev I mean, even Muslims have done a lot, and when you put responsibility, I guess. reminded of with all this talking. Eh? Well, uh, my apologies. The story of Job. Oh, yes, the story.
still remains faithful to God. And it's not easy. It is not easy. I have questioned things at times. Where I'm like, why? And then I look at and I'm like, but after the fact, you're like, okay, that actually does it is it always easy? No. And have I gotten angry at God? Multiple times. I'm also not a spiritual person like other people. So I don't have that that one on one relationship with God. Do I feel like sometimes but but then I look at the person who has no who has cerebral palsy and I go um wow I have it so much better I actually probably am one of the healthiest members of my family Should use the collection one. Oh wait, I am using this one. Everyone thinks as well. Everyone thinks that the failing. And and that's one of the things that people forget. You're right, Lone Hawk. You're absolutely right. And one of the problems that people forget is that your beauty doesn't last. You're going to get older and you're not going to be as beautiful. Like, one legit, one of the things that, that makes me feel so guilty is looking at the world around us and uh, it's like all the people who don't have I mean, we, one of the comparisons I cannot help but make is I feel like we are the capital city in the Hunger Games, where here we are, okay, arguing and debating over some of the dumbest stuff ever, all right? There are literally people, like, starving to death. There are people, John, I, Johnny, I am so happy you are enjoying the trip. I've seen your pictures. They are awesome. Keep sharing them. Enjoy your trip. I am so jealous. Enjoy it. It sounds awesome. Get all the gaming stuff you need. Have fun. Share more pictures. Let me know more about it. And hopefully next time I will not be arguing with people so we can find out. You can tell us more about your trip. All right? Because that is really cool and I'm really, really jealous. So really enjoy it. I think that's awesome. Um, it's... We are arguing and debating and getting so caught up in such silly, selfish, petty things. And there are people who don't even have the, like, the basic medical care. And we have liposuction. And cosmetic surgery that makes you look ridiculously ugly but then you have people who can't even get the bare basics yes and, and the thing is you don't even need to go overseas to see it okay in America I mean, the one thing I cannot get over is the fact that I work with a guy who's over 70, works very hard, and our health insurance does not cover getting him a decent hearing aid. Okay? I'm not talking about some guy who's sitting on his couch, watching television, and retired. I'm talking about a man who legit works his butt off. Okay? needs a hearing aid to do his job and he has to keep buying new ones i mean put aside the rest of the world i mean the rest of the world is horrible what's happening in the rest of the world but just legit in america alone we have people who can they don't like their 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 lips so they get it filled with filler 
And then and 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 then you have um like so yeah. and so it, it it is frustrating and it's not like And I hate the idea. Uh, the reason I don't post about it is because I hate the whole uh, keyboard warriors who sit around screaming about stuff online and don't do anything. It's like, well, I want to do something. I said, I, I hate it. I hate it. I feel like we are living on a city like the capital of the Hunger Games. And we are arguing and debating some of the silliest stuff in the world. When all of that energy can be put to better things. And that's why I can't even look at it. Because what can I do? No, he's telling about the ki kids in Gaza who are literally trying to get flour off the floor. They're starving. Something like what you said. <laughs> about what are we eating to do. I know. That's a what? good question. Yeah. We have so much. That was awesome, though, that, uh... Oh, wait, no, it's because I have immunity. I just forced myself to watch the... Same. ...one, um, trailer thing for Destiny 2's, um... Uh, final shape video where they also tease like into the light at the end, like the 19 minute video. Oh, I haven't seen that, I don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. I honestly want to play other stuff. I've been playing Final Fantasy Crisis Core, Final Fantasy Remake, and Final Fantasy Rebirth. And for Eid, I got Dragon's Dogma 2, but I need to upgrade my hard drive on my PS5 um, so I can I fix Final Fantasy 14 I need to get back into that too I really like Final Fantasy 14 there's an event going on for um, a crossover with Final Fantasy 16 I haven't finished that one either damn it <laughs> oh. do you want like a, a like the know what you can get from the um, event no, do not spoil it for me. Do not spoil it. Do not spoil it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I have a week off, but we all know, all, all right. right. Look, everyone, I just want to say it right now, all right? World War III is break outbreaking, all right? April 18th. All right? Okay. World War III is starting April 18th, the day before my vacation starts, okay? I get to tell you all, I told you so, if the internet is still available on April 19th after World War. But at the very least, all right, look. If there's no internet after April 18th, I want you all to hit picture in your head me saying, I told you so, all right? Specifically like this. <laughs> I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, exactly like this. So when the nukes fall on April 18th, if you somehow survive it, Picture me in your head going, I told you so, okay? I told you so, okay? Because my vacation starts on the 18th. So absolutely, the world is going to end before that happens. All right? Uh, uh, 
can't and it's gonna end because Cam's taking a vacation. Yes. Just, just, all right. I am not allowed to. I haven't taken this long a vacation in years. So you know, it's, it, we are not going to survive it, all right? So everyone, remember that. April 19th, the world ends on April 18th or before. I, I get to just picture me dancing in your head going, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, okay? Because if there's no internet, if there is internet, you can count on it. I will spend the I will spend hours live streaming just going. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Okay, good. We understand each other. All right. All right. Focus. Focus. I want to get three stars, but this one. These guys are a pain in the butt. fear death. I'm not scared of it. On the contrary. That's one of the things that I have come to find, like, I used to be so scared of airplanes. I used to be, now the only thing I fear is a painful death. Um, you know, it's like, okay, you cannot escape it. You, when you are meant to die, you are meant to die. So you might as well accept it. All right. So it's like, if I'm meant to die in a plane crash, because I used to be so scared of flying, then nothing I do, no matter how scared I get, no matter how nervous I get, no matter what, it's going to happen. All right? So I might as well just embrace the moment. All right? Because um, no matter what, because it, one of the, the most amazing things is if God wants you to live, you're going to live. Like there's a story of an airplane crash in Japan years ago, right? Where like over 500 people died, but one kid survived. They found the kid in the back of the plane. All right, that kid, God did not want that kid to die. All right, one kid. On the other hand, if you are meant to die, something ridiculous can happen that will result in you. You, you can be sitting, all right, on a park bench, and you know what? And a meteor, a tiny meteor can fall from the sky and hit you on the head. And be like, what are the chances of that? Well, God meant for you to die at that moment. And, uh, yeah. So I've come to the whole, all right, you know what? God wants me to die, it's going to happen. And hopefully it will be when I do, it's when I am, when the doors of paradise, the gates of paradise are open to me. So I'm like, okay, God, so I'm, if you're going to kill me, then let me die when I have done enough good deeds to enter paradise. That's all I ask. And make it not painful. Preferably, like, uh, in my sleep with my cat suffocating me as she dies as well. But who knows? Maybe under general anesthesia? That doesn't sound that bad. I mean. Oh, because I have vacation on April 19th. So that, 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 that's, that's why. There's no way I'm going to go on vacation. That, that is a curse. All right? Because I don't take time off. World's gonna end because you're going on vacation. Yes, yeah? yes. That, that's the whole reason. Yes. I should never have taken time off. Anyway. I'm sorry to all the world. If we all. On the other hand, legit, it would be kind of cool to be like, I told you so. Especially when nobody believes you me. See, you say you fear a painful death. Yes. Cancer. Dear God, cancer. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, I was going to ask. Do you think it hurts when your body has, like, the sudden realization the moment that you die? All right. No. Well, no. I mean, so, according to us... When the disbeliever dies, 
right? They fear death so much that it is painful as they die. For the believer when they die, because they know that they are going to God, they are not in pain. I don't, I mean, we, no one has come back from death, so who knows. Um, when I mean painful death, I just don't mean like I saw someone who was dying from cancer and that legit was horrible. Huh? I said no one's come back from permanent death. Yeah. There have been moments where people have come back on the operating table. Well, and people who like, you know, went into cardia. Yeah. All right, fine. You know, I don't know. I recently discovered something. Those nose rings, they cause mental retardation. They legit bits of rust and, and particles from nose rings get inhaled through your nose and um, that causes mental retardation. All right, spread it around. Those nose rings are legit dangerous. Am I not the- huh? <laughs> With like a signal being sent out by e, the chip that Elon Musk is trying to install on the people's heads. No, well- Trying to like convert others. No, 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 this is the nose rings, all right? Look, I, I, we need to spread, I, I, I hate those things. I think they look ugly. So, all right. So we are going with, all right, everyone. Tell everyone you do not want a nose ring. It causes mental retardation. You said people are paranoid, right? So I want them to be paranoid about nose rings. They are bad for you. Do not. All right, let's see if I'm actually getting better. Oh my god, they are literally coming from every angle. They disbelieve and ignore. Yeah, it's like uh, nails being ripped out or something. I remember my mom describing it to me and being like, legit, like, terrified. Um. Um. Legit being, like, terrified of how my mom described it. Um. But, so everyone, I, I want this rumor to spread. Nose rings cause mental retardation and increase the risk for cancer. You do not want a nose ring in your nose, all right? That explains so much because so many of the Wokies have nose rings. That's why they act so weird. It's because the nose ring has caused their mental facilities, fac faculties to decrease, all right? See, I have proof. And who are you to doubt me? Did I not just argue in defense of plastic surgeons? Clearly, I know my medical stuff. Right? All right. She's an expert. It's not the nose rings. They're putting in, they're putting shit in the um, hair color dye. Well, that too. But the nose rings contribute <laughs> to it. It's a chemical reaction between the hair dye and the nose rings. All right? And who are you to doubt me? Did I not just defend plastic surgeons? All right? Which, again, there, there's still some, I mean, I won't deny it. I, there's some fascinating stuff in plastic surgery. I will not deny it. The, the nerve preservation stuff and the microsurgery, fascinating. Fascinating. But I don't want to be, I want to be a trauma surgeon. Trauma. The most based of surgeons. There are trauma surgeons, and then there's everybody else. They probably walk into the hospital to cheers and like people be like, I want to be just like him. Don't worry, little Timmy. You won't be a, an orthopedic surgeon forever. You one day too can be a trauma surgeon. Oh, Bobby, don't worry. You too can graduate from plastic surgery to be a trauma surgeon. The legit badasses of the hospital.
No, no, you don't because you don't have a nose ring. It's the combination of nose ring and hair dye that affects the brain. All right. It, it, it. It, it, it's a combination chemical reaction. As long as you don't have the nose ring, you're good, all right? Is it, is it just like the permanent like nose ring kind of thing where you have to pierce it in? Or is it also clip-on? Clip-ons too, it's the metal in them. Or whatever okay, contaminants, fair. yes. It's the contaminants, and so you can't escape the fact that the contaminants are still there. What if it's plastic? Plastic have their own different types of contaminants, so it causes different kinds of mental degradation. Regard, taking into account whichever type of nose ring you have. So the effects of a plastic one is different than a metal one. The metal ones are more damaging, though, clearly, because most people have the metal ones. So clearly, it's affecting their brains even more. But like different materials that could be used to make like a nose ring, and then all of a sudden one came to mind that it's like, oh god, that would be even worse. What? Well, mm -hmm. Imagine a nose ring made out of hemp. Uh, no, that's 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 definitely way worse. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. <laughs> As Ab I said, way worse. Way worse. Well, oh, if you want, I mean, for in your case, maybe you're a unique case. Yeah, maybe maybe you're a unique case, and for some reason, the hair dye is affecting your brain, and you need to stop it immediately. Am I not the most skilled medically person in this chat? I mean, there are no doctors here. I was pre-med. That means I almost made it to medical school. What color are you dyeing your hair? Because that could also be a factor. That too, yes, you're right. You're very right, thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, there's no doctors here. And I was pre-med, which means, technically, I almost made it to medical school, okay? You know, I, at least I made it a step closer to medical school than everyone else, okay? I just thought of another one that I'm now curious about your thoughts. Okay. Do you think the chemical seeps into the brain if a person dyes their hair for a frosted tip? Wait, wait, what? Wait, so let's go back again. Say it again. I can, I missed it. Okay. Do you think the chemicals get to the person's brain if they dye their hair through frosted tips? If they give themselves frosted tips, is how they dye their hair? Yes. It, it, it gets absorbed through the hair. All the way up into the brain. Yeah. All hair dye have bad chemicals. It's that way because it's more condensed. Yes, yes, absolutely. Very good. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Again, again, as I said, I was pre-med. I have medical textbooks in my room right now, all right? I just picked up a book that's coming in the mail about the operating room because surgery's cool, okay? See, see, I got already somebody here who he said he said bio, he studied biomedical science and he agrees with me, all right? After all, I mean, you have to be a real medical person to defend plastic surgeons, all right? It's just, I'm just gonna, just, yeah. I'm gonna charge them all for it. By the way, Gary, dyeing your hair brown is perfectly fine. It's not, that's not the chemical that, like, your but he, color doesn't have the chemical that's supposed to make you, like, terrible. It's more going unnatural, like, insane colors and such that it does it. But I he's... Can't. So he seems to feel like it's affecting him, so maybe he has some kind of allergic reaction to it. Because he doesn't yeah, want to... Placebo effect. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Placebo effect. Placebo effect. Which I actually have a crazy idea on how to solve a lot of the mental health problems in this country. All right? Because a lot of the mental health problems are not legit. They're just people who are diagnosing themselves. For example, a lot of the people with, with multiple personality disorder, right? Or Tourette's. So my theory is, you first give them a placebo. Welcome to personality. Hmm? I understand how a person can self-diagnose multiple personality. Most, a lot of psychiatrists don't even believe it exists. So my theory is this, all right? Okay, it's not, it's, it's, um, all right? Placebo. 
You give them a placebo for a couple of weeks and tell them this will cure fill in the blank. And tell them, yes, I'm a legit doctor. And if it doesn't cure them, then you know they legit have a problem. Real quick. Huh? Gary, did you just call me Zyron? Zyron think... left a while ago. It's Alexia, not Zyron. <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm confused. Look, look, I'm dealing with medical matters here, all right? Important, legit medical matters. Okay? And there's, there's no doctors behind me holding me hostage, making me say things. And then, like, it's been a while since Zeron had left. Or Zyron, sorry. I don't remember how it's pronounced. But it's like, Gary suggests, like, oh, just you wait, Zyron. Just you wait. It's like, uh, Zyron's been gone for a while. Zyron hasn't even said anything in the chat. In the I am. Um... All right, what the... Oh, shoot. It's almost 10 o'clock. All right, that's it. I'm heading out soon. Damn it, you guys are mean to me. So, so mean. All right. Just... How are we mean? We're helping distract you ooh, until, like, you, you need to go. All right. Yeah, well, it's almost 10 oh, o'clock. Yeah, no, no, no problem, Gary, no problem. I, again, I fully understand. Plus, besides, whoa, 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 besides, you keep calling him Carry. This is not Carry. This is Thug McCoy, the cool-ass dude with the, th the amazing glasses. Um, I never watched Star Trek. <gasps> you don't know who McCoy is! I know who McCoy is, isn't he the doctor? Yes. Yes, yeah. he is. Like, I know, uh, like, osmosis of Star Trek through, like, pop culture, referencing it and all that, but for the most part, I've never actually watched, like, Star Trek itself. I know a lot of, like, from, like, other stuff. Alright, that's it. I'm going to bed. It's been cool. Glad okay. to see you around. Alright, I'm going to bed. Dr. Hums- I'm Do DM you a question later on. Alright. Feel, feel free to say no, by the way. With the DM. Okay. Just one, just one to point that out. Don't worry about it. Chill, relax. I, I, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm just not smart enough in medical school. The problem is, acclimation. I, I, I gotta go right now. All right, it's, it's a good one, but I gotta go. All right, Doctor Cat is leaving for the day. Pre-med. All right, like I said, unlike all of you, all right. Now, I'm not letting I'm not letting you postpone further. You need to go to bed now. All right, all right. Good night, everyone. Good night. And you too, forgive me. And um, again, good to be naked. Good sizes out.